Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? Oh, hello you. Hello you. Are we in for an absolutely fantastic day? I hope you're up bright, early and ready and raring to go because it literally starts from now. Now, we have a very, very, very exciting launch happening here on Jewellery Maker, one I'm incredibly excited to bring to you. I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Jake Thompson for the first time, actually, in, gosh, it's got to be months, hasn't it? Got to be months and months and months. Jake is stepping into the studio from 10 o'clock. Um, is it the first time this year? I think it is, isn't it? I know he's, you know, he's, he's super, super busy, um, but you know what? Busy doing wonderful things, and he is launching his amazing cut now if you haven't seen this cut i know some of our audience also um shop on our sister channel uh jewelry uh, gemporia sorry um so you might have actually seen it It was launched not that long ago um over on our sister channel well we are bringing you those loose stones that you lovely jewelry makers can incorporate into your fine jewelry jake is launching the crown of light and i have to tell you what it does to light it's so perfectly named is absolutely miraculous it literally dances inside your beautiful stone you know whether you're visualizing it in an amazing ring um if you're imagining it in a beautiful pendant whichever it might be or maybe you're just going to keep it as a wonderful wonderful treasure an area a piece of jewelry or, or gemstone rather that you can pass on to future generations these are nothing short of spectacular and it's funny because last night i was sat with my husband and we were talking about different cuts of diamonds and gemstones etc and i was telling him about the asher cut i was talking to him about the princess cut i was talking about the pear cut and what they actually do with light you've got to know that you know jake's amazing uh, uh, breadth of knowledge he's incorporated that into his own amazing design and i've never seen mm. stones produce so much brilliance and fire check these out they're absolutely beautiful now what what this is a paparaccia court so many of you have been asking for this stone did you imagine that it was going to be in the circle of light well we have the paparaccia courts today other stones that we have um, are amethyst we've got beautiful sky blue topaz you've got colorless topaz you've got moroccan um, amethyst and you've got the most amazing citrine so these are all coming up at 10 o'clock today. You don't want to miss it, lovely jewelry makers. This is a really once in a lifetime opportunity. They are exclusive today, obviously, because they've never, um, never been on our screens and only, I believe, once on our sister channel anyway. So um, very, very, very exclusive opportunity. So that's happening at 10 o'clock today. We also have the beautiful Hannah Osborne, who is literally setting up in the, in the wings. I can see you there, lovely Hannah, um, because we had a very busy, a wonderful morning 
short. She's not late, by the way, but because our um, amazing sister channel, Hobby Maker, had the gorgeous Sarah Davis on this morning with a, a very exciting launch as well. Um, yes, we're just kind of setting up around the, um, around the studio. So I'll make my way over to Hannah shortly. Um, you've got, can we just show you these? Seriously, the most unbelievable pills. Those of you that know me know how much how much I rave about the quality of Jewelry Maker pills. I do genuinely believe they're second to none. These are available in this hour, so you can shop ahead and secure yours. How many times have you heard me say this? Not them, put them on an 18 karat gold class. That's what my preference would be anyway. Um, you've got literally legacy jewelry just there. The quality of these pills are unbelievable. These are the uber rare drop shapes, you know, La Peregrina-esque drop shapes. So very, very, very sought after and you normally pay a high premium for them. But again, I've seen some, I've seen other pills in today's show. Um, you've got beautiful sterling silver components. I know we've got some wonderful carvings coming up. You've got some lovely and I'm just going to give you a little sneaky peek. Some lovely strands which include, which include gold stone. Here you go. Drilled gold stone though. I mean, how amazing are they to incorporate in your jewellery? And I can see in my peripheral um, that Hannah has made some stunning jewellery as per usual, of course. We've got rose quartz in this shape as well. Honestly, it's an absolutely jam-packed show. Um, yeah. Where do we start? Honestly, where do we start? i tell you where we'll start directing you to the website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com sorry i have yeah you want me to show those now ross is saying i'm going to stop you there al because the early bird this morning are these hang on a second they're in item number one on the website as we speak. Sorry, I had to move that because it was just caught up. Now, these are made up by our lovely Anne and Sue. Um, they come as separate components, so you get the sterling silver shepherd hook. You get that beautiful... I, I'm seeing, personally, um, a starfish. Do you see that? That lovely movement um, that cradles the most beautiful natural pearls. How amazing are they? Now, they're in at 90, item number... Sorry, one on the website. Um, and on the website... They are currently priced at its launch price, which is just $39.99. Now, when you consider that these are natural colored cultured pills, and that's all sterling silver with white topaz, forget that launch price tag. We are going to bring you a brand new low closeout deal, manager's special, early bird, all the big auction opportunity titles that I can possibly um, throw at it. So all I'm going to say is shop ahead. Yeah, Wayne's words, and you've heard these words before, and you know what happens when Wayne says these words. Get it gone. Get it gone. We've got 177 of those this morning. Shop ahead. Trust us, they are going significantly, yeah, significantly lower than the launch. So, um, yeah, if you, I mean, they're perfect, aren't they? They're perfect, luxurious pieces, earrings. And it takes seconds, if you like, seconds for you to make them. By the way, update, yes? The, these are on the website currently at 1,499, which is obviously not where they are closing. One is already confirmed. How many do we have, Ross? nine there's only nine of those available so yeah do um shop ahead on these because oh they're absolutely beautiful aren't they gigantic in their size you're right dan <laughs> he doesn't know his own strength our, our gorgeous dan there he is just given uh, oh he has he's been hitting the gym that's what it is he's pay, uh, he's, he's got a personal trainer <laughs> yeah he's got a personal trainer you watch you're gonna dance buff no, I did notice. You you were saying you were talking to me about how you uh, you were you were hurting in areas that you've yeah. you've never experienced before. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I only have to go for say a long stroll and I start hurting. Listen, listen. When it when you get to a, when you get to my age, Dan, everything hurts. Yeah, seriously, doesn't it? It all hurts. Um, <laughs> Right then, pop along to the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, and if you scroll down, click watch live, then scroll down, you can see all of the items because remember, this is lounge hour. Some of the items are at their, um, at their uh, set price, some will be going even lower. They all will disappear off the website at nine o'clock. Um, some will be low in stock, some will be a bit more 
um, um, higher in their quantity. What's that, sorry? Yes, the... No. Sorry, this is good TV, isn't it? No, I don't see that. But we do have, you know, um, the auction, collect, auction house collection that Dave brought to you. We also do have, when we brought it back, by the way, there was only, um, yeah, there was only limited quantities and Dave did take it to a brand new low price tag. We've got the final 11 this morning and we have had special permission from Dave Troth himself. He said, replay it, match that closeout prize for the final 11. That's happening at nine o'clock today as your early bird. So, um, yeah, I mean, look at the quality of those rubellites. Look at the quality of those. That's as close to imperial green, I think, we're ever going to see on our screens here at Jewelry Maker. The quality, and they are natural, by the way. The lavender's totally natural. Dave will actually say that this is probably the most most high-end strand of jade you'll ever see. So yeah, we've got the final 11 opportunities. You can't get it yet, it's happening at nine o'clock. Um, okay, let's get cracking with your amazing Tuesday morning show. How about a bit of inspiration in the Wall of Fame? Okay, starting us off this morning, number 324 is from Sue. Good morning, Sue. Oh, very beautiful. A bit of kiss cross there, I see. Uh, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a kiss cross slider bracelet using crackled quartz and seed beads, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the draw. And to you, Sue, that's absolutely beautiful. Loving that. Well done, you. Uh, number 325 is from Trisha. Oh, beautiful, Tricia, loving that. Uh, dear jewellery maker, please find, uh, attach my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A bracelet using dendritic agate nuggets and two-tone barrel weave chainmail units. I hope you like it. Kind regards. We certainly do. Love a bit of dendritic agate. Beautiful. It reminds me of somewhere like the Alps, you know, where the freshly fallen snow. Uh, number 326 is from Jane. Morning, Jane. Lovely combination there. This week's Wall of Fame is an amethyst bracelet. Made it a bit too big, though, she says. I, d I don't know. I think, Jane, I quite like that. The way it kind of falls ever so slightly over the hand. I tend to wear my jewellery a little bit larger on the wrist line. I think that's beautiful. Uh, number 327 is from Rose. Morning, Rose. Beautiful slider bracelet. Dear jewellery maker, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. The sapphire and, uh, sorry, these are sapphire and sterling silver beads, all from jewellery maker. Well, good luck to you, Rose. That's absolutely beautiful. Very high end. Number 328 is from Margaret. Wow, Margaret, that's incredible. Amazing. Margaret's saying this week's entry is a uh, cabochon made by beading two uh, of the pieces of fused glass from last week's project. Um, then I threaded sea beads, faceted black agates and uh, silver plated jump rings um, in a matching necklace. I've been away for a few days, but now I'm back and I'm looking forward to playing catch up um, on my PC. Ah, the wonders of technology. We don't have to miss anything these days. Good luck to everybody in this week's draw. Margaret, absolutely amazing and it's lovely to see you back my, my lovely this is absolutely beautiful last but by no means least we've got number 329 oh they're so sweet how beautiful are they um this is from melanie hello to you melanie hi jewelry maker and everybody uh my entry this week is a couple of scarf pins i made using sea beads and glass pearls one looks like a daisy and the other is meant to be a bee i definitely saw a bee that's absolutely beautiful um the sea beads are my yuki from jewelry maker the rest is from my stash i hope you like them we love them well done everybody and good luck in the draw um that happens tomorrow morning so you can tune into our gorgeous carol who'll hopefully make you a little bit jewellery maker richer. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? You might Winner receives £100 credited to their jewellery maker account. Runner-up will see, receive 50 Amazing. Win-win scenario. Remember your amazing early bird this morning, jewellery makers, because this is quite literally an unbeatable deal. Unbelievable at 39 99 which is where they launched. Um, they are going significantly lower. If Wayne gives us the instructions, Wayne is our sales manager, by the way. Um, if he gives us the instruction, get them gone then that's exactly what we will do. Exactly what we will do. And they are naturally coloured, by the way. Um, OK, let's get cracking, shall we? Do I have 
Some golden rutile cabochons. Yes, I do. We don't see it very often, though, do we? Um, I'm just going to steal this board for a second. One minute. Here we are. Um, we don't see it very often. Golden rutile quartz. You literally have these wonderful rutilations that form naturally within the gemstone, often referred to as uh, angel's hair or cupid's arrows. Really beautiful. Um, quite challenging to facet in actual fact because that's why you very seldom actually see this gemstone on our screens. Um, yeah, it's quite challenging because uh, the tendency is that the gem stone can potentially fracture along the rutilation but you can see them there beautiful shards of natural rutilations that occur within your gem it's absolutely fascinating um, we're at 14 pounds and 99 pence you don't just get the one though you are for golden rutile as well they, that does tend to come at a premium um, you're getting 175 carats a mixture of shapes I've got some pairs here I've got some more elongated ovals here I've got some rounds who wants these under 10 pounds if you do a bit of wire work or a bit shibori throwing the shibori in there um, or maybe a bit of bead embroidery or um, CB be bezeling all of those amazing techniques you could do alongside these nine pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of these true amazing well, what, what, yeah, it did sound a bit like that, didn't it? Um, that's how we like to start our Tuesday morning show. Fabulous, under £10 deals. Shop ahead, though. There is absolutely loads on our website that some very limited in stock. If you're after your high-end pills, then I cannot recommend more highly those beautiful drop pills. They are natural in their colour. Um, they are going lower than the website price point as well. Ooh, there's some of the jadeite, uh, um, the orange jadeite carvings how amazing is that you've got some of your sapphires in there there's some malachite oh there's amylite there you've got some uh beautiful cut stone sterling silver uh, it's a great collector's selection items selling out already the pearl bundle has gone well done to the, those of you that got that the nephrite's already sold out amazing worthwhile taking a little look oh the elephant sold out the butterflies sold out yeah i'm not surprised so do shop ahead well done amazing and congratulations to everybody that got hold of that let's bring you some more cabbage on, shall we? Cabochon. Oh, look at this one. Look. It's huge. Absolutely huge. Ah. Oh. Amazing labradorite. A member of the Feldspar family that has microscopic platelets within that produce this amazing optical effect. It is totally and utterly natural. Um, yeah, the Aurora Borealis, which is what they believed when they first discovered um, this gemstone. It was the Aurora Borealis literally trapped within a stone. There has been, I've noticed that, you've, you've seen the northern sky um, um, above the UK. A friend of mine who lives in Wales took a photograph um, and he was, he'd gone for an evening, um, an evening walk or, it was, or, or maybe it was early morning, I don't know, anyway. He'd gone for a walk up to, at the top of the, his local mountain, which you do a lot, by the way, where I grew up. Lots of people go for nice walks in the morning. Um, and you could literally see the Aura Borealis, um, literally, um, ac across, across the mountain top. Absolutely beautiful. Imagine having that literally captured within a gemstone. I mean, we're already at two, uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence. I'm holding this one because it's the biggest. Let's show you some of the other stones because they are all oh, of amazing quality. It's not just that, you know, a percentage, a small percentage, which gives that phenomenal effect. You've got the entire coverage and it just moves and migrates as you, you know, turn it towards the light. Um, now, in 10 seconds, we are going even lower. One of our firm favourites, isn't it, lovely jewellery makers? This beautiful Labradorite. We're going to bring you an amazing early bird price point as well. Do pop along and say hello to Hannah and I and the crew, of course. We would love to hear from you. Tell us what you're up to this Tuesday morning. Are you making? Are you looking for something in particular? Are you shopping for something in particular? We're at 9 99 for 270 carats. But I agree, Ross has just said that's got to be some of the best Labradorite I've seen. I know it's amazing because look, you've got, you've got it even on the curvature um, of the cabochon itself. How many have we got though, Roscoe? 16 remaining. I've got Isabel there, West Midlands there, Susan there, Debbie there, South Yorkshire as well. Multi buyers. Good morning to you, West Midlands. Nice to see you. Susan in my home county of Monmouthshire. Nice to see you. Uh, Denise in Yorkshire. Lovely to have your company. Lovely jewellery makers. I hope you're all well. Spring's coming, isn't it? Guess what I saw this morning? No, only noticed it this morning. A little daft poking its head out. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Yes. It is a bit early. But isn't it in a joyous moment when you just see them like, woo? I'm back. You got one daff? Just one. 
Just one. That's all good. Yeah. You've still got one. Yeah. That's all good. You only need one little smiley face. It's on its way. It's, it's on, its, on way. its way. It's on its way. Nine ninety nine only to get hold of these. Make sure you're quick though, because there's a lot of you there. Cheryl, hello to you. Sarah in Hampshire, hello to you, my lovely County Tyrone. Nice to see your company as well. Single figure price tag. I remember go, you know, go and cast your mind back. Goodness me, it's twenty past eight already. Sorry, that was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> where she talking what she's talking about next um but i remember when parcels like this would have been best part of 20 pounds hannah wouldn't they when we first started parcels of cabochons like this would have been 19.99 or 17 uh, yeah easily easily, easily. Yeah. easily. Not 9.99. No. <laughs> How beautiful. Um, good morning to you, Kerry in Staffordshire. Morning, Ellen Crew. Been at work since 5.30, but it doesn't stop me from tuning in. Shh, don't tell the boss. Not a word, Kerry. Not a word. 5.30, goodness me. Yeah. It's a, I, I mean, I am an, I'm, I'm, I'm an early bird. I prefer to get up early in the mornings than I do. I can't do late nights. <laughs> Which is funny because I used to do yeah. the late nights, didn't I, on our sister channel? Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, can't do that now. I, I much prefer get up early. You're on the fence, Hannah, by that reaction there. Yeah, no, I'm on the other end. I'm night owl. I'm oh, yeah. really not good at mornings. <laughs> you, well, you always seem very cheerful I try, when I see. I try. I'm mostly sponsored by coffee. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm, Kerry, are you sponsored by coffee? <laughs> I think so. It's a must, isn't it? Um, okay, let's stick with the cabochons. Let's bring you some beautiful aquamarines. Again, a wonderful parcel that you're sourcing here. Oh, loving this. I mean, look how beautiful that is. And I'm thinking back to, was it Melanie with your lovely sea beading? You did those lovely brooches or pins rather. Um, you know, where you had the kind of like, uh, like quite bridal-esque colours. Imagine those kind of cuddling, I suppose, cuddling around these beautiful cabochons of aquamarine. Um, aquamarine, of course, the wonderful azure blues, um, a member of the Beryl family. Um, you can often get aquamarine in completely eye clean brilliance, which is absolutely beautiful. Many of us, though, actually do prefer aquamarine to have a level of opacity to it. I think it holds on more colour and it's a little bit more opaque. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Look at those. Got that sort of like um, kind of milky almost texture. Oh uh, yeah, it, it's quite comforting. I think you know it reminds it conjures up images of beautiful sort of floaty chiffons, pastel palettes, real summertime vibe. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Remember, jewelry makers, all of these items in this hour are only available until nine o'clock, and then they will disappear. Um, hello, Kerry. Lol. Four coffees in. Love it. I I can understand that at 5.30 start, though. Yeah, hang on yeah. a minute. I'm on number three. Is I'm my on... first one? But... I, I, this is why I'm nearly awake. So you're not powered by <laughs> coffee at all. I've had three already. My own life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheers, Carrie. <laughs> You've got to have a bit of coffee first thing in the morning, haven't you? Or tea, whatever, whatever, or a glass of water, whatever you wish. I need caffeine. Um, 6 99 goodness me, that's amazingly low. Um, you, even if you're, if you're thinking, I'm not a wire worker, Elle, I'm not a sea beader, um, you can do things like bead embroidery. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of glue. I mean... Why not? Yeah, why not? We've know? seen some lovely metalsmithing techniques recently, haven't we, with Claire and Alison and yeah. um, Debbie, who've done some amazing metalsmithing work. You could use these six ninety nine. Is it me or who's? Is it just me that's thinking that's an absolute giveaway $6 deal? Six ninety nine. I know. Maybe for one. That seems. Uh, it seems all right for just one of the cabochons, but look at the quantity. You're actually getting between three and seven, totaling uh, uh, 170 carats. How amazing is that? 6 99 Morning, Vera. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Susan, Catherine, Cheryl. Hello to you, London. Isabel, Highland. Nice to see you. Lots of multi-buyers getting involved as well. I'll leave that there. Well done. Um, I do have some of the ammonites. I say that. Do I? Do I? I feel really low down here. I haven't got it here. Sorry, I saw it on the website, um, Ammonites, which flew when we launched them. Um, I've got a six-year-old daughter who's um, this, this term, it's all about dinosaurs, which is amazing. So very exciting. I know she's really excited to learn about, um, to learn about sort of the prehistoric um, eras. Thank you, gorgeous Dan. Um, and I missed out on these. So if you uh, thought you had, then be quick because I've only got four. Um, it was one of the fastest selling auctions that we've bought you this year. Um, this is ammonite. So you have a, there's ammonite and there's amylite. 
Um, <clears throat> basically, this is an amazing prehistoric creature, a little bit squid-like in actual fact. And each of those chambers, as they grew, they grew an additional chamber. And they used to sort of propel themselves back 600, uh, 65 million years ago. I think it's even longer than that, actually. I think it's uh, um, hundreds of millions of years ago they existed. They were very abundant back in the prehistoric era. But they used to sort of propel themselves around by literally spitting water out um, with these amazing shells. So this is, you know, quite literally hundreds of millions of years old. It's fascinating, isn't it? It's very cool. And the reason why I mention um, sort of children is if they do, if you know somebody that's maybe doing uh, um, school projects, and we were talking about this, Hannah, weren't we, this yes, morning? Yeah. How cool would it be for them to take in something that is literally show, show that old? Tell, yeah. With, yeah. Uh, from a few little facts about it and how yeah. old it is and where, you know, where it's found and things like that. So cool. Yeah. I wanted to get one myself, but unfortunately they sold out. We're at 19.99. I've only got two of them left. Amazing. That's the kind of uh, sort of artifact that you see in the National History Museum. There are two of you on the phone lines. Um, if you press your option one, you should be correct. Uh, you, should be, you should be successful, rather. Um, the what? Set of six. Yes, they're here. Beautiful. I'm just going to borrow my piece of paper for a second because... There aren't many of them available. Um, this has been already proved to be a very popular auction this morning. I'm not surprised. Beautiful metallic luster on these. Um, absolutely stunning examples of your gorgeous cultured pills. And they are completely and utterly natural. You know that these beautiful colours, they're anomalies effectively where the pearl has slightly migrated to the circumference of the mollusk shell. That's where it actually it has uh, retained the most colour. Um, and they transfer, uh, they, they actually offer that color if you like through the nacre um, beautiful examples I mean look at this it's almost like oil on water we're at five pounds per natural purple baroque pearl I mean even if you just Hannah these are let me just figure it out hang on a second oh they're half drilled so all I need to do is what pop, pop a little uh, a, a little peg a little yeah. peg if you like or even a bit of wire i suppose would work too there are only seven of these left so it is an absolute clearance deal for you we're at 29.99 that's an amazing price point for just one it's actually working out at five pounds each but they're going even lower the final few opportunities you know how many times have we said and i know lots of our lovely audience you know many of you do um the same as me and you'll make jewelry for gifting um so some of you have got very successful businesses, you might do the artisanal markets, you might have an Etsy shop or you might sell on social media platforms. You know, if you've got one of these, you literally glue a peg into it and that's like a bale basically is what I'm referencing. Attach it to a sterling silver chain, box it beautifully. I mean, if you've sold them something ridiculous like £50, they'll absolutely fly because of the rarity of the pearls. Hello, Jill. Hello. Good morning, my lovely. I have these natural purple pearls. They're stunning. Aren't they, darling? They're so pretty because it's not just one static colour. And that would be an indication of a pearl that was dyed. There's nothing wrong with a dyed pearl, of course, as long as it is sold as such. These aren't dyed, though, which absolutely adds to the rarity and the overall value. They've sold out. Congratulations. We'll still go lower, though, for you. Close out deal for you all, £24.99. That's working out at what? £4. £4 per natural purple pill. Amazing. Well done. Well done. There or thereabouts, anyway. Um, okay. Beautiful. Shall we do? Yes, a lovely strand of kunzite here. Um, it's been requested. Um, hello, Karen. Could I see 10, please? Could, certainly. Good morning, lovely. Because you've requested it as well, and because it is item 10. I think Ross is just coming up, coming up with excuses for you here, Karen. Yes, we'll do it under 10. That's, I, that's good. Seamless, Ross, that was. Because you've requested it and because it's item number 10, we're going to do it under 10. For Kunzite, member of the Spodumene family, widely regarded as one of the most feminine gemstones on the planet, and you can see why. Imagine this with those pearls just a few moments ago. Imagine this maybe dotted in between those La Peregrina drop purple pearls that we're bringing you a bit later on in the show. Either way, you know, whichever way you choose to work with it, you're guaranteed to get beautiful embellish embellishments or features. Would you treat them as seed beads or, you know, in your sort of delicate little designs? Would you weave with them? Would you um, use them as little... Uh, little spaces as an alternative to a knot in between pearls you know we are not stopping at 29.99 how many have i got ross 30 but you've just guaranteed kunzite under 10 pounds how often does kunzite appear on jewelry maker screens 
I'm not saying never because it's it, it does appear on our screens, but it's very seldom. And when it is, when it is on our screens, it sells out. There's not enough people, he says, on the phone lines as of yet. We're going to show you the should be. Yes, for five carats of natural kunzite. We want to be able to take this under £10. In 30 minutes, it's disappearing off the website anyway. These are two and a half millimetres. I mean, I'm thinking about your tassels. I'm thinking about your looming. I'm thinking about weaving. You, you could absolutely use them in all of those. But because of the size, they're, they're not too um, sort of intrusive. If you're, do, if you're doing a seed bead weave or something oh. like that, you can just add those in as an extra embellishment. Kiss cross. So we might do like a, like a Cellini spiral and have nice. that as like the central spine. So that, How beautiful. So that's the main centre point. I mean, that would be stunning. I'm not great at knotting, as you well know, Hannah. I'm not great at knotting. Um, one day, I am definitely, definitely going to nag you to you know, get it. Like, like you were saying but with Will, last night yeah you're gonna, We're that's going to be your project through, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, <laughs> the project will be to make sure I've got knotting properly yeah um, but what a great alternative though putting little kunzites in between I mean how luxury is that yeah you know? exactly exactly <laughs> um, we're at 9.99 well done good morning Jane Gabrielle London hello to you Mary Monica Virginia Mary Jan Lanarkshire West Midlands and um, we had 30 of them but yes we've kind of woken up to how ridiculously amazing this is um, it is a consistent stone there's two way no two ways about that you know at the end of the day kunzite um is rare it's incredibly beautiful in terms of history it's actually um uh, almost a baby i suppose in the gemstone world it was only discovered in the um early 1900s and immediately straight away you know it has really uh, sort of pulled on the heartstrings especially considering the popularity of pink diamonds at the moment you know pink diamonds are astonishingly expensive and as an alternative you know this is still a considered stone kunzite brings you that femininity i think 9.99 well done dawn hello to you cardiff virginia well done i'll leave it with you because there's loads of you there now we've had a request from lots of people the spears oh the spheres <laughs> spears i'm looking around where's the spears okay hang on a minute Bal uh, see how see how how good my uh, oh how steady my hand is oh uh, uh, right, which one am I doing first? Not, not all of them. You get all of them. Oh, I just want them in a bowl. The planets. Oh, look at this one. Here's Mars. Is it Jupiter? You think that looks like Jupiter? Did you, did you do them in order? Okay. I mean, how amazing is that? This one's got to be Mars, surely. Earth. How amazing! Do you know, I would literally just put these in a bowl. Yeah, they look lovely, don't they? Really tactile as well. Just yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking back to when I was young and my mum and dad used to have um, a glass bowl full of gemstone eggs. Yeah, no, my, my dad had a Malachite Must have been a thing in the well. 80s, yeah. that, Hannah. Maybe yeah. that was a thing. I think it might have been, yeah. Just gemstone eggs in the centre of the coffee table and I used to just look at them all the time. Um, I don't know, maybe the reason why we love gemstones. Well, maybe, yeah. Because of that it's bowl full of eggs. A seed a long time ago, didn't Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Look how lovely these are. Aren't they beautiful? So you get all of them. That's well over a 1,000 carats um, across your different gems. So I'm guess I'll see if I can guess some of them. You've got Amazonite. You've got obsidian. No, labradorite. Thank you. Um, you've obviously got your jasper. You've got lapis lazuli. Rhodonite. Yeah. Okay. What's this one? Mukite. Mukite, surely. Yeah. Mukite. Fuchsia ruby. That's a sunstone. What's this one? That's it. That's that's. Ruby, ruby fuchsiaite. Fu oh, it's, it's a difficult word. <laughs> Fuchsia ruby. Yeah. Okay. I need to. I need to do some homework on that one. Never heard of that. How amazing are these? Is that Wayne now? I hear in the background. Morning, Wayne. How you doing? We're gonna get those pills gone. Yes. <laughs> get them gone. He says. 
We're not stopping at five pounds for, uh, per sphere. If you want to incorporate these into jewelry, you absolutely can. I'm going to say they'll probably be quite heavy. However, oh, Ross is saying he's going with a ring. Fair enough. For me, I would just literally have these displayed. My niece would love these. Yeah, I, I think everybody loves them. I mean, imagine if you just got them on a, on a glass shelf with a little backlight on it or something. Oh. They're really attractive, aren't they? You, we've had a stand made. Okay, there is a stand, by the way, if you, um, which we'll, we can't include in this hour, but we will try and put it in next hour as well, so you can literally display them. Um, we've had it made specifically for your spheres, if you like. How beautiful are those? I love. To me, I would just literally put them in a glass, in, like in a bowl, in the centre of a coffee table, and you can. Oh, it's, again, we spoke about the Amalite with your school projects. You know, if you're doing the solar system and things like that, how amazing that you could take these in and say, well, this is this planet, this is that planet, That'd be very um, cool. or yeah. yeah, just encourage their gemstone enthusiasm. A lot of collectors here. Good morning, Sylvia, Dawn, Jane, Yorkshire, London. Hello to you, Shona. Hello to you, Sil uh, 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 for Luke. Hello to you. They've gone. Well done. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, the pressure of that. There we go. Didn't want. I didn't want any gemstone spheres rolling off. Let's do what? Sorry, the Van Cleef, the Alhambra-inspired strand. Beautiful cut. You won't believe the stone, though, that this is. Incredibly rare. Um, uh, yeah, certainly one of our biggest launches here at Jewelry Maker um, over the last uh, year or so. This is Bronca Onyx. Very few jewellery houses out there will actually um, incorporate natural onyx. Um, you can get dyed onyx and there's nothing wrong with that. Again, similar to what we said about the pills a few moments ago. Um, it should be more affordable. This is not dyed though, this is actually natural. Um, and you can see, you know, we are inspired by the, the Maison, that is Van Cleef and Arpels. We absolutely adore the Alhambra uh, necklace, but I don't know about you, I haven't got a cool 20 grand that I can just frivolously spend on beautiful jewelry, if only I could. Um, but I still wanna be wearing those beautiful designs, those, you know, quite iconic long line necklaces. If you've never heard of the Alhambra, well, this is it. And it's been around literally for decades. Um, that's black onyx just there. You can see a mother of pearl. Um, and that's about £3,000, by the way, the ring. The bracelet's more, <laughs> um, considerably more, I should say. Um, vintage Alhambra bracelet with five motifs. This is literally off the Van Cleef & Arpels um, website. You know, I, I adore Van Cleef & Arpels. I love, the, you know, the, the, you know the, the quality of their work. They are absolute uh, um, artists, without shadow of a doubt. But they are considered, of course. Um, you know, lots of celebrities will wear the Alhambra. You've got uh, Alex Jones, Scott, I always say Jones, sorry, um, not the presenter. Um, you've got Heidi Klum there. Absolutely beautiful. You have, of course, Her Royal Highness, um, the Princess of Wales wearing her Van Cleef and Arpels. There was a mother of pearl. Um, and there she is again wearing a slightly, oh no, it's the same occasion. Mariah Carey, of course. You'd expect Mariah Carey to be drenched in Van Cleef and Arpels, yes. wouldn't you? Um, you would, you would expect it. Um, you, you've got uh, Adele, Adele wearing a few of her Alhambra bracelets. You have, of course, Reese Witherstone. Spoon, spoon, I always say stone, with a spoon. Uh, wearing her Alham Alhambra as well. Um, not, not, not the pub, with a spoon, yeah. Well, you thought she was the heir to the Witherspoons. Oh, she came up with the concept. Maybe, who knows? You never know. Um, anyway, but the reason why this is in, so, you know, apart from the cut, apart from the fact that this was actually inspired by Van Cleef and Arpels, the rarity of natural white onyx, you know, this is a gemstone that would ordinarily be bleached. Um, we were really, uh, you know, all our Christmases came at once when we were, um, we managed to secure a parcel of this amazing discovery. It happened very recently over in Brazil. Um, and basically this pure white color, when you consider this literally comes from the earth um, is all totally and utterly natural. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs, without shadow of a doubt. I know we won't have many of these available. Now, we can replace our Bronca Onyx, of course we can, but 
What we can't guarantee is that it'll have this translucency. We can bring you na a natural uh, uh, white tonics moving forward, but it ca we can't promise that it'll have this translucency, which is incredibly rare. Remember, if you look at designers like uh, Bleeker and Prince, for example, who debuted a collection over in um, Las Vegas, uh, not I think not last year, the year before, I think it was, um, pieces like this, absolutely beautiful, which are inlaid with beautiful diamonds and rubies and sapphires. Um, but you're talking about £1,350 for a pair of their natural white onyx earrings. Absolutely stunning. Um, I think they need to kind of work on their marketing a little bit, personally. I'm not sure about the cornflake reference. Um, these cocktail earrings, absolutely stunning. There's only one pair of them left, but £6,925. You get the general gist. It is considered. Um, we're at £39.99. How many have we got of these available then? Only five. Are you going to go with the Alhambra um, inspiration? Are you going to sort of wrap them, treat them individually, uh, maybe create an Alhambra-inspired um, ring or single pendant? Or are they going to be little flowers? They don't have to be the clovers. That's up to you. That's the joy of being a jewellery designer, isn't it? Victoria and Kent has got three. Lorna, well done to you. Fiona, London, Beverly, Paula. Um, that's the lowest ever price. We've never taken this strand any lower than what's on your screens right now. Um, there are just three left with in the vault I can tell you we are over allocated on them as well exquisitely carved literally hand carved now I'm gonna leave that with you I've got three of the next opportunity as well and I can tell you this is my first ever experience of seeing it in person and I am completely blown away um, I had a proper case of presenter envy the other day um, it happens it's a condition it's real um, where <laughs> <laughs> you're sat at home and you're watching your amazing colleagues launching something you think oh I want to be there I want to be in the presence of that beautiful beautiful work of art I'm not complaining really because I get a lot of amazing launches too but this was I was blown away by this now what are the rarest colors of jadeite most people will say imperial green it's most expensive sure but it's not actually the rarest color it's been stockpiled uh, stockpiled over centuries the rarest colors are actually under the red criteria so that'll be your reds your oranges and your yellows uh, lavender also i think would uh, uh, sort of and black would probably lead in there but certainly the red because that is the skin of your or your oyster uh, your oyster sorry your boulder and it's unusual to get a solid red or a solid orange or a solid yellow because effectively it is where that boulder has, ox has actually oxidized. So if you get a percentage of that color, still very exciting. But to see this amount, oh my word. Oh my goodness me. I, I, I can't believe these have been. Look at, look at how detailed they are. There's three available. Look at that level of intricacy. Wayne, are you still in there? This has to be one of our best purchases ever. Look at how awesome that carving is. We're going to match the launch. I'm going to wish you good luck. It is type A. Look at the quality of the saturation. We're going to go straight to that price point because if you all check out, it's already sold out. Have you ever seen, you know, we bring you the most amazing carvings, but even down to the, look, the stamen, you can see the stamen within the flower. And let me just turn, turn it around. You can see that quality on the reverse as well. These are spectacularly detailed and it's natural color. So yes, many would say that the reds, the oranges and the yellows are the rarest. And that's because you've got the rarity of jadeite, you know, fi finding a jadeite boulder, so little of it will actually have this amazing natural saturation there is one left well done valerie well done to you heather we are going low we're going it's not going to make the clock so I tell you what we'll crush that price tag now and remember the phone lines have lit up there's one left in existence I'm, you know, amazing, huge, 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 huge congratulations to those of you that are the custodian um, of something of this beauty, this beauty and this rarity. You know, this is, this truly is, truly is uh, legacy opportunities. Well done. We're massively over allocated, so I'll leave that with you. Um, 
I do. I, I, yeah, again, I bought this one. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, one of the first master carvings that actually, we actually launched here at Jewelry Maker. And um, for whatever reason, we've got one or two left in the vault. I don't know why. Um, maybe this is one that we've actually had in our display, perhaps. Maybe. Um, so this is, yeah, one of the first master carvings that we launched. It inc incorporates the um, circle of heaven. So you've got the circle of heaven and intertwined, you have your beautiful dragon as well. Remember, we always say that you never see the entirety of a dragon because if you do, apparently it's at your peril. At your peril. Look at that wonderful detailing. Again, the facial features, the structure of the jaw, the pronunciation of um, his amazing teeth, the detailing of the scaling all the way around. Um, if you're, there you go, and it's front and reverse as well. Look at that, £299 only. There's only a couple of them left. It does come, by the way, with that gift bag also. Um, remember, we have got that amazing lavender jade strand coming up at nine o'clock this morning if you wanted to incorporate uh, that with it. Remember, Dave brought you a, a closeout deal for, uh, for, for this last time I was on air with him. Um, we've got the final 11 for you this morning. This, his words here, he was saying this is, uh, this is arguably the best quality jadeite strand you have have ever 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 seen here at Jewelry Maker it's natural lavender uh, jadeite natural um, and in between you have got as well these are natural jadeites the greens so as close to imperial I think that we'll ever see here at Gemporia um, and rubellite you don't just get that you get your silk and you also get um, your beautiful sterling silver components as well this is happening at nine o'clock today so you can shop ahead and pre-order on that as well no you can't no you can't it's happening at nine o'clock you can't shop ahead sorry um, there's only 11 in existence so amazing don't forget your early bird though as well because your early bird here they are beautiful sterling silver components with topaz these are made up by Anne and Sue coming with natural round natural round cultured pearls on the website currently at the launch price but as Wayne said, you know, we follow instructions most of the time. Um, he says, get them gone, get them gone. Um, in the meantime, let's bring you some lovely base metal chains. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. You get a set of five of them, um, a mixture of your designs as well. Are you happy? Five chains for $29.99? I don't think the likes of even, I don't know, H&M or, or Topshop or Marks and Spencers, I don't think they could compete with that. Look at the quality of what you're getting here. $9.99 and that gets you all four. Five. I've only got four. You do get five. You do get five of them. So there's another one. You've got a diamond cut oval. You've got a station, a diamond cut curb, a bar and a fancy. Um, amazing. So I know I'm only showing you four, but you do get the five of them. Um, that's working out at what? Two pounds per chain. Two pounds. <laughs> two, <laughs> two pounds. Seriously, unbelievable. Make sure you check those out, otherwise they will, uh, you miss out on that opportunity. And it's all down to budget. You know, if you want your precious metals, there we go. You can see all the designs there. It's the dot ones, the ones at the front that I'm missing here in the studio. Um, so yeah, if you want your precious metals, we can certainly bring you those, um, um, but it's all about affordability. Let's bring you, and I know these are limited, these absolutely flew on the launch, Canary Zircon. Z not to be confused, oh, look at this, seriously. Not to be confused with that, uh, your cubic zirconia, that is so different. Different. Cubic zirconia is man-made. This is Mother Nature made and is actually as old as our planet, 4.4 billion years of age. Zircon, much like your diamonds, occurs in fancy colours. So you can get your blues, you can get your, your, your uh, sort of pinks, you can get these beautiful red tones, your mauves, your yellows, your cinnamons. Um, what, what are the traits that zircon has that diamonds do not? Is that it's doubly refractive. So what that basically means is light will enter into the gemstone and instead of bringing you that uh, dispersion where you get that spectrum of fire once you actually get it twice over if you look at the back of the screens right now that's a prime example of what zircon does um, above many other gemstones this is uh, again one for the collectors for sure um, we've said it so many times before if this was marketed in the same way that diamonds were by De Beers this would be deplete literally within 12 months 59 pounds and 99 pence only I know we only have a handl handful of these available this is the last auction before we dive into your beautiful pearls they would be a lovely addition i think to the pearls because of the caliber look how rare you've got literally a strand of your fancy colors 11 of these left in our vault that's it once they're gone they're gone i remember these flying on launch and i remember us doing something crazy yeah 29.99 
£29.99. pence. It's from the premium location in the world for this gemstone. Many people will widely will consider Cambodia the best deposit um, of zircon. It's still very primitively mined. It's not, you know, like vast open pits like you would find in diamonds. Um, this is literally done in an alluvial manner. 29 pounds and 99 pence. Those beautiful displays, those cinnamon, cinnamon tones. You've got the blues. Can you see the blues just here as well? You've got your yellows in there as well. It's just a stunning, stunning, stunning strand. Um, I've got the final a few of those so I'll leave them with you okay now um, I know some of our viewers who tune in on a regular basis which is absolutely wonderful we always love 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 to have your company and I'm, I'm going to repeat myself to a certain degree but it's kind of my um responsibility to do this because on a regular basis we have brand new customers we have businesses um, that tune in or maybe stumble across jewelry maker and I've said so many times to certainly my um, immediate family or my sort of friends um, that genuinely one of our greatest assets here at jewelry maker is our pearl buying I truly 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 believe that um, I don't think there are many pearl retailers out there jewelry houses out there that can compete with how good the pearl not only the price point you know obviously we will always bring them to you at a price point which is incomparable but the quality that we offer to you as well so i've said it recently actually last week i said if you're going to buy um you know what shall i buy that was the question what shall i buy from jewelry maker at the moment and i was like pearls our pearls are absolutely unbelievable i said it this morning didn't i yeah. as well yeah um and this is coming from someone who has worked with pearls for 24 years. I've worked with 20 pearls that have been literally five figure prices. The only difference, and this is genuinely hand on heart, what I believe, the only difference with this strand and the pearls that I used to sell all those years ago is that they'll have, they'll have a platinum clasp on or an 18 karat gold clasp on. Um, because what you're looking at right now is not dyed. They're not inferior. They tick all the boxes of your five virtues. Let's go through that. So you have color. Is it natural? Is it not natural? Yes, it's natural. And it is the most gorgeous, intense, beautiful, ultraviolet purple color. You know, to actually acquire enough pearls with that uniformity will have quite possibly taken years in your strand. I mean, remember that when you're working with it and you're wearing it. Then we start talking about the size. These are huge. The pearls measure double figures, absolutely. So there's the investment of time in allowing that mollusk to potentially, and I say potentially because it's not guaranteed, form a cultured pearl. Then we talk about shape. Most people think round, they're the be all and end all, and they are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's all down to the eye of the beholder. Some people love Baroque pearls, some people like Keshi pearls, some people like your oval pearls. Drop pearls, and these are, um, and again, I'm sort of stealing the words of a, a pearl specialist here. Drop pearls are probably the rarest shape to actually acquire because you have to have a level of symmetry to it as well. You know, that La Peregrina esque shape. We also then move towards the luster, sorry, that's last, the, the nacre. Nacre is that precious material that makes up a cultured pearl. You know, the more nacre, which leads into your fifth virtue, the more luster that you are going to see. It is ticking every single one of those five virtues, jewelry makers. The quality, again, that we offer you here, I think is second to none, unparalleled. And you don't have to take my word for it. If I just show you, look, this was documented recently, uh, well, I say recently, I think it was last year originally. Look, everyday clam open to reveal a rare purple pearl. See where it got its color? It's because that migration has happened. The pearl is not in the muscle itself, it, or rather the clam itself. It's on the edge, which is rare to get these sizes. You know, I think that's the shallowest part um, of the mollusk itself. And that's just one. That's just one of those. Then you start, if we move forward, because there's a few. Um, here we go. This was at Tucson. This was, uh, um, I can't remember what they actually described this as. Was it, was it Gems, Knights of the Museum, or something like that? Um, um, and they're showing some of the most exquisite pieces of jewellery. You've got some beautiful, uh, a, a necklace of coral there worn by Sophia Loren. Um, you've got an amazing May pearl just there. But look at lot nine, freshwater, uh, sorry, these are it's pearl necklace, cultured Chinese freshwater pearls, exactly the same as what I have here. 
um, you know, being displayed as one of the most beautiful pieces, literally guarded um, because of, you know, the quality that you're seeing there. Moving on again, I know the GIA wrote about natural pearls. Um, this was a strand that, again, I photographed um, at Tucson, very much underpriced at $1,250. But remember, that is wholesale prices. Uh, let's bring it closer to home, shall we? There we go. That's the GIA talking about um, strong pinkish purple freshwater pearls. There's not a huge amount of difference other than the shape, really. Um, uh, they're saying unusually intense color and large size of pearls immediately drew our attention. Can we, I mean, if you see that, take in the color, absorb the color. Now look at yours. Unusually intense color and large size of pearls immediately drew our attention. Um, here we go, over a period of three and a half to four years to form. That's farming them, you know, let alone collating them on top of that. Let's bring it closer to home. You know, Yoko of London, many people regard, you know, as one of the best pearl suppliers, um, uh, pearl jewelers in the world. You can get this beautiful necklace. Again, they're purple pearls. They're round pearls. It's all down to personal preference. In 18 karat gold, how much is this beautiful necklace? It's £22,500. I don't know about you, I don't have £22,500, but I still want that level of luxury. So this is why all those things, jewelry makers, is why I say our pearls are, are pearl opportunities that our lovely customers get, I genuinely believe, are second to none. Look at the iridescence. Look at the luster. Look at that beautiful shape. These are all certified completely natural. I've got... How many did you say? We had nine, two jewelers we believe have already got involved. Amazing, I don't blame you, I don't blame you. At 1,499 pounds, it's a drop in the ocean when you compare it to the 22 and a half. Granted there's 18 karat gold. Yeah, is the gold rare? No, well, ish. But it's, it, that's not is what making up that price point. It's all about the pearls. Do you think we are stopping here? Which, by the way, outside of this, you know, this wonderful, unique world that we are in here at Jewelry Maker, you know, that's absolutely amazing. You've got 30 approximately individual natural metallic purple pearls. I'm going to show you with the first price crash how big a deal this is. The first price crash. It, 1499 is an amazing price. Genuinely, when I worked at that jewelers, we, we didn't have purple. We had Tahitian, we had South Sea, we had freshwater pearls, but they were nothing, they were nothing like this. And, and I'm not kidding when I, told you, when I tell you that they were all in four figures, most of them actually in five. Um, and it's no, the, the quality is no, no different. In fact, these are probably rarer than what, you know, Tahitian pearls are farmed. These are farmed also, but it's actually a rarer color. And that's happened completely and utterly naturally. The first price crash, not what you are paying. When we say legacy, when we say heirloom, we've just taken a thousand pounds off that price tag. And I know there's going to be people sat at home watch, say, watching saying, well, seriously, how, how do you do that? How do you do that? If everything you've just said is right, how do you just casually take a thousand pounds off that price tag? Let me explain. We wouldn't have just bought nine of these. Most jewelers will probably have one and they'll pay a premium for just buying one. We will buy, we've got a, look, Gemporia has, has got a big budget. Look, we will buy as many as we can because we can split opportunities like this across our channels, can't we? So even at 499, that's working out at how much? 20 pounds per natural metallic purple pearl. Okay, let's look at them individually for a second. One single metallic purple pearl from us, 20 pounds right now. Or you can go to Ocean's Cove and you can buy a single natural purple pearl for $1,100 that has sold. Look at the measurements of ours. Look at the measurements of theirs. You'll find they're not too dissimilar. What if I told you today that instead of being 20 pounds per natural metallic purple pearls, you've got five minutes to make your confirmations. You've got 30 days once they're home. 
You know, if, you, if for whatever reason, if you don't get it appraised, get it valued, I'm sure you'll agree, £299 is just unbeatable. This is why I tell so many of my friends and family that genuinely pearls are the gemstones that I am personally buying here, um, here at Jewelry Maker. And I'm buy and listen, I, I've, I've got a lot of pearls in my collection and they're not all stranded as of yet, but I could knot them, I could put them onto a high-end clasp, I could sell them at a premium in a heartbeat. Um, a lot of them I do actually keep for my, uh, for my children as well, knowing full well that this is absolutely unbeatable price point isn't it I mean that's what uh, a percent of what Yoko of London was actually offering purple pearls Sonika I can see you there sorry I can see you there Colleen I can see you there well done to the jewelers that I can see have already got involved that speaks volumes doesn't it jewelry maker when you've actually got jewelry houses I have to say uh, uh, say nameless because they put do not use next to their names absolutely amazing though that you've got high-end jewelers shopping from the same platform that you guys are at home you can get this home today for just 74 pounds and 75 pence remember though you only have a matter of minutes to make your confirmations you've got a full 30 days when they land on your doorstep um, to justify your purchase to get a second opinion if you wish and I encourage you to do that how many jewelry houses will actually say and this is coming from an individual that worked in high-end jewelry how many jewelry houses will actually say yeah Take it to another high-end jewellers and tell, don't, don't, you know, ask them what kind of price point these would actually be. Ask them how much they would be in their establishment. There are three of these left within the vault now. Um, I'll leave it with you. Congratulations to everybody. Natural, beautiful, beautiful drop pills. I'm, I'm tempted by those, Han. I mean, they've, they've got your name all over them, really, haven't they? Yeah. I can see you in them. I know what would happen, though. I'd get them home I, and Tom would say, really, more? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, why not? Um, well done. There's when just two of those it. left. You're worth it. It's Mother's Day coming up, isn't That's it? That's true. That is true. Amazing. There are five of you in for the final two. Five of you for the final two. Who's going to get them? That's honestly. Actually, you know what? If you don't, I am. <laughs> <laughs> because look, look at the colour. It's the most intense purple colour. They are incredible. I'll leave it with they? you. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Are you ready for your early bird, lovely jewellery makers? Get it gone, says our sales manager, Wayne. I don't know why. There's a big quantity of these. They launched at an amazing $39.99. But we will do as we're instructed. For once, it's your early bird. I'm about to give you an opportunity for those of you that may be, um, you know, those of you who are experienced in jewellery making, but also those of you, of you that are, I don't know, new to the jewellery making hobby. Um, believe me, it becomes very addictive. Believe me, you know, the journey before you can turn into a full time profession as it, we hear that wonderful story so many times. But, you know, you can spend hours creating fabulous pieces. You can do your sea beading. You can do your knotting, of course. Or you can keep it really, really simple. Because what your early bird is all about is so commercial. You know, take... All you need is the right ingredients, effectively. You know, all you need is a little bit of what I would always suggest, hypo cement. E6000 also works as well. Um, dab a little bit of that glue, and if I show you at the front of one of these, um, there is a small peg in there. Can you see that? Pop a little bit of your jewelry-making glue on the end of that peg. Uh, secure it to your half-drilled natural peach pearl. Leave it overnight, and you've just made high-end jewelry. It literally is that simple. I can show you... I can show you the finished article. Now, when we launched these, which wasn't that long ago, they absolutely flew. Um, they launched at an amazing $39.99. Um, over 100 went on that original launch. I mean, look how perfect they are. These are not cubic zirconia encrusted. When you've got that level of quality of pearl, I would expect it to be beautiful gemstones. They are topaz. You've got beautiful topaz encrusted within. It's almost, I don't know, quite floral, but I can also see that kind of uh, starfish inspiration behind it as well. All that sterling silver invested into your luxury shepherd hooks. Now, um, our sales manager, Wayne, said, look, get them gone. Get them gone. You've got to remember our birthday is on the horizon. Um, it's been a year in the planning. 
it's on the horizon and we need those locations within our vault. Now we are starting the auction at launch price. All you need is a little bit of your jewelry making glue. That's all you need. And probably about 10 minutes, maybe not, um, to be honest, not even that. Not even that. Not very long, no. Couple of minutes and a little bit of patience to leave them overnight. Don't be tempted to put them on and wear them until that, that glue is completely secured. And that is high-end jewellery. You are not doing anything different to what those jewellery houses do. I've got a big quantity of these today. When we are told, get them gone, or you can bet your bottom dollar that's precisely what we will do today. We're going to do the most unbelievable price point. I'm going to casually, considering the rarity of these beautiful peach pills, and they are natural peach pills, you know, considering that, I'm going to say that these could potentially be just because presents. You might have somebody, I don't know, uh, Mother's Day. Absolutely. Mother's Day is around the corner. How beautiful. A bunch of flowers where you're going to play astronomical prices on Mother's Day. It's like Valentine's Day, isn't it? Literally, right? Let's, all the, all, all the flowers florists escalate their prices um, because of that occasion again like valentine's day i always say to my hubby don't do it on, on mother's day or valentine's day get me the, the day after because they're still the same beautiful flowers aren't they but something like this we're not escalating the price point because mother's day is on the horizon quite the opposite in actual fact we're completely obliterating the price point we're taking these to a brand new low on the next crash and then I'm going to tell you that we're still not done. We are still not done. If you break each component down, how much here at Jewelry Maker would you expect for these natural peach pearls? Would you expect to pay $24.99 for the pair? I would. I think that's an amazing deal just for those pills. They're seamless. Look how smooth the nacre is. And then you start thinking about the shepherd hooks, don't you? You would expect to have to pay the sterling silver prices yeah. afterwards. You've got, you've got an awful lot of sterling silver there, haven't you? So, yeah. So the, the, the actual hooks and then co the components that, that have the pegs as well. So it's, it's kind of you've got double whammy going on there. Well, let's consider it this way. If you divide that price point in half, £12.50, £12.50 for topaz encrusted shepherd hooks with all that silver, as Hannah was saying, £12.50 for the perfect round peach pearls. You know, that's unbelievable. And we are still not stopping there. That is a brand new low. They have never been anywhere near $24.99. We showed you the launch price. That's literally where they launched at $39.99. Um, Mother's Day, birthday, just because, dare I say it, Christmas. These are earrings that I truly believe are always appropriate. They're going to give you that slight bit of movement. I'll pop the one in the ear in a second. Really delicate. You can dress them up, dress them down. They can be your everyday pearl earrings if you wish. Know that you are not getting simulated pearls. These are not sort of faux pearls, plastic, glass, or um, even a shell. They are genuine freshwater culture pearls, and they are flawless um, in, their, uh, in their formation. The clock is ticking. We've got 177 opportunities, or rather we did. Well done to those of you that have said, I might as well get a few of these then, Al. I'll get a few, and I'll put them in my present drawer, and um, at some point, yeah, make them up. It's going to take me about five minutes to do, or maybe you're going to pop them on your Etsy shop, you know. They're, they're, they're top quality pearls. What are you going to do? You're going to sell them at £30? I don't think you should, but you definitely could with significant, significant profits because we're not stopping what's on your screens right now. Today. Get them gone, says our sales manager, Wayne. A brand new clearance price point. 19 That... <laughs> That's half price, isn't it? Never mind presents. Buy them for yourself at absolutely. that price point. <laughs> That's half the launch price, which was already absolutely amazing. The phone lines have literally lit up. Oh, sorry. Ross has just said in my ear, the best thing about that, L. Really? Because that's what it says on my sheet. OK. I'm game if you're game. Should we, just, should we just clear them out then? Wayne did say, should we get them gone? Are you game, Hannah? Yeah. We're half of that price. Do you know what we're making in this opportunity? We're making friends. Every pound, every penny, this is literally a giveaway deal. Um, oh, 
the absolute lowest that our computer system will let us go to is what's going to appear on your screens in a few moments' time. Um, this is a no-brainer, quite frankly, because, you know, to, I mean, to get those Shepherd Hook findings alone for 19.99 is absolutely amazing. It really is. To get the natural peach pearls alone for 19.99 is absolutely amazing. To be able to get both for 19.99 is absolutely unbelievable. Um, yeah, we are going to take these to the absolute lowest price point that our, our, our system will allow. Um, <laughs> uh, this is, yeah, Ross is just saying... I've got all the red lights flashing on the computer system right now. Let's do it though, Ross, eh? If you're a member of staff, by the way, and you're watching, you're better off getting involved in this. In this. There you go. You're better off getting involved on the TV right now than you are at your staff cost. We get little perks, we do. We get lovely little incentives, of course. Um, we get treats, you know, we get slight discounts, if you like. But it happens quite a lot. We're actually better off shopping on the TV screens with you guys right now. Because right now, we couldn't source the silver. We couldn't source the natural pearls um, for £17.85. They launched at 39 99 If you are seeing your name on this side of the list... Cornwall, Carola, Shona, Brenda, Helen, Lorna, Dorothy, Alona, Aloma, Virginia, Angela, uh, Claire, Deborah, uh, Karen in Manchester. You need to start checking out. We had 177. If you're seeing your, side on, your name on this side of the list, then congratulations to you all. Carola, Hazel, hello to you. Aloma, you got yours. Angela, Valerie's got four pairs. Well done. Patricia's got two. Robert, Monica, Angela, Lorna is amazing to be with you. Make sure you do check out your baskets lovely jewelry makers if there's a queue on the phone lines it's minimal please bear with our call center as you can imagine we are completely bombarding them um but we are following instruction for once for once um wayne said get them gone Get them gone. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. Remember, though, at the end of this auction, it is your early bird lounge hour. Um, they will all disappear. This opportunity will disappear. So if it's in your baskets right now, you do need to check them out. Remember, you still only pay. Um, you still only pay one postage and packaging all day. Natural, beautiful peach pearls. Genuine white topaz in that beautiful, almost starfish-like. I love that design. I love the movement that it's created. It's like it's resting on top of the it of the pearl starfish, itself, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the, the slight sort of drape to it. Yeah, amazing, lovely. Oh. The clock's ticking. This is to the closure of the auction and every other item that we have brought you thus far this morning. So if you've got anything, be that the pearls, be the purple pearls. If you're anybody that's got these in your um, in your basket right now, this opportunity is disappearing in 43 seconds. Please remember that you still have a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So get it home. Get a second opinion. I strongly recommend that. Remember your beautiful lavender jadeite is coming up at 9 o'clock as well as your early birthday keep on dialing through keep checking out Shona if you've got I can see you on the phone lines Elaine Sally Ann I can see you on the phone lines don't worry if you haven't yet been answered if you've pressed your option one you are all good 20 seconds you have left to check out on the website though um, and also on the app good luck everybody being honest though it's may, it's looking like it might be a sellout in terms of quantity first so um, we had 200 of them there's been a load of sellouts on the website already congratulations don't go any Anywhere. Lavender Type A Jadeite, probably the most celebrated opportunity that we've brought you in the Jadeite world, Trans, um, coming up just after the break. But of course, it's extra exclusive. There are 11 of them, avail uh, 11 of them available. I'm going to make my way over to lovely Hannah. She's got some beautiful kits and amazing jewellery to show you as well in the next hour. Um, the kits are available on pre-order. The Lavender Jade is available on pre-order as well. Well done, everybody. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. 
Our partnership family includes jewellery maker, gem collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. And she was here. She wasn't late. I was waiting in the wings, but we, we had the, uh, like the hobby hobby maker um, gang were, were busy doing things, Dis so I had busy, to wait busy, for busy, space. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you're worth the wait, my lovely. Oh, thank you're you. You're so worth the wait. Thank you. Beautiful jewellery as per usual. It's Hannah Osborne, everybody. <laughs> I love these kits. I love your jewellery. I always do, Hannah. Thank you. Oh. Lovely components. I, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I mean, I, I've not seen the gemstone in the oval before. So, um, I thought, I might have some to go with those, you know. Snaffle them. Is, is my mic doing funny things? I think, sorry, um, sorry if you're wondering well. about that noise, it's, our, it's one of our microphones. Is it yours? I don't know. Is it it is yours. It is yours. You're making muffling it's noises. The there we go. That's there we go. Fair. So we'll give it. We'll see how that works out. Um, <laughs> to be fair, Hannah didn't do anything there. It just sometimes has a. Sounds like we're in the middle of a, a storm. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> um, but beautiful components. I mean, ah, oh, that one on the end. Sorry, I'm, I'm literally yeah, saying this at the same time as you now. Yeah. Th so there's a, a labradorite one, uh, like a frosted labradorite one, right on the far end. Um, but I don't know if you can see it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not meant to be there, no, that's right. That's not meant to be there. Um, hang on, ignore the photographs on the, um, on the Labradorite kit. Um, they're actually missing a strand, and there's a wrong strand in there, so oh, no. I'll tell you which. <laughs> we'll explain it all, won't we? 
All kits come with sea beads which aren't photographed. So let me show you. So instead of looking at the web website photograph and the app, I'll show you. Um, uh, yeah, what you're seeing on your TV screen is what you're actually getting. So I tell you what, we'll start with the Amazonite, which I love. You've got a beautiful strand, natural Amazonite, and then you have this amazing corresponding master carving, this beautiful sort of uh, oval. It's, it's isn't it? lovely, isn't it? I mean, I've only I've made three of the kits up. Um, unfortunately, this isn't one of them, but this is possibly one of my favourite colours. Yeah. So I think it's just got a lovely sort of ethereal kind of um, soft, gentle. Really pretty. You know, quite fresh. Summertime as well. vibe. Spring into summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm loving the fact that spring's trying to. Me too. Break <laughs> it's a lovely kit. You've got 15 carats in that amazing oval hoop. It's a single piece. It measures 18 by 25 millimetres. Then you're getting 90 carats in your 6 millimetre plain rounds. And you're getting your silver lined crystal um, Mayuki beads, which are a uh, size 11 -0? Is that right? Uh, are they, are they eight O's? Right, yeah. Beg your pardon, they're eight O's. So, I mean, it, it, taking inspiration from each and every single one of your designs, sea beads and gemstones work in perfect harmony, don't they? They, they really do. And, and I think, to be fair, I mean, with, the, with these ones, I just wanted to do something like with the focal point being the gemstone, and then the sea beads are literally used sort of as spacers. Um, so you don't need to you don't need to know how to do the seed beading to, to use them. No, absolutely. They can be little spacers, it's just can't space they? Beads, yeah. Now the first of the kits, all the kits are available on pre-order, so you can shop ahead, take a little look at the different components. Um, I'll show you the exact components because we are aware that our, our photograph on the website is incorrect. Um, this oh this one is right on the website. What? Is that the price? <gasps> Uh, the ten pound for a kit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Um, Ross, that can't be right. That's your talk back. Um, that can't be right. It's done. He says nine ninety nine to get hold of this beautiful carved oval and the strand and the sea beads. Well, we all know, don't we, jewellery makers, that these tubes of sea beads are normally seven pounds. It goes without so, uh, saying that the phone lines have absolutely lit up like a, like a Christmas tree. We have less than 100 opportunities. Well done, everybody. Caroline, Jennifer, Jackie, Audrey, Lorraine, Derbyshire, Jennifer. I can't keep up, honestly. Every time I say a name, uh, the list literally jumps. There's 100 of these available. They're absolutely flying, as we can expect. I was comp My ghast was flabbered and all that. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, 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 well, I'm chuffed for all the customers. Yeah. But, uh, it's, uh, but it, it's the thing, when you're this side of the camera, you can't really buy the kit because... It's rocking a hard place, isn't it? It's kind of obvious if you're doing it. So it's like... It's sold out, it's sold, <laughs> yeah. out, it's sold out. See how quickly that quantity <laughs> went, then 100 went. Um, okay, what next? Should we, should we do the lab right? Yeah? Yeah. And this, you've got this, a beautiful piece. I kind of went a bit... I want to say industrial with it, but I, I like don't know that. if that's the right word. I, can I bring it to you? I like that. Bring it so to ignore you. the photograph on the web. This is what you are getting. Oh, I'll Hannah, that that's over beautiful. There. I love it. I just like the fact that you get that lovely sort of frosted, sort of like kind of matte finish almost. It's a bit gothic, I think. A little bit. I a like that. A little bit. It's kind of edgy. A bit Very unlike you, actually. So, well, if, you, if you're not... You're not so much the girly girl. You might want to go for something that's a bit more yeah. just kind of edgy, a bit more striking. I, I kind of think that that's what that does. You know, amazing. I, I love it. I mean, I've used I've used spaces. We had like um, a box with different uh, shapes of spacer beads, and I've just sort of paired them up, and I've used the the there's like tiny little beads that come in the middle of that anyway. Yeah. And I've done like a repetitive pattern through it. Lovely. So it gives you that symmetry. Ignore the photograph on the website. That is completely wrong. Um, what you're getting is draped <laughs> across the back of my hand right now. So you're getting 18 carats of your labyrinth in that beautiful oval hoop, full of labyrinths, I have to say. Then you're getting 280 carats of your labyrinth matte finished wheels, um, which I love. And remember, we're looking at the shallowest part of these wheels, aren't we? Yeah. You, know, you could flip yeah. them over. And you're getting your 8 um, in your lovely black now there's just under a hundred of this kit as well you saw how quickly the previous one sold out labyrinth is always a firm favorite as well yeah if you want to go for something a little bit more sort of goth a little bit more um edgy i say that you know if you team it with a little bit of pink then all of a sudden it's not goth yeah at i mean all, you, you can it? change it it's just I've, I've deliberately gone kind of like i, I wanted a sort of a chunky bold well. like sort of striking look yeah downton abbey do you think yeah 
Wow. Who, who are we thinking? I don't know. There? I don't know the characters, but I can imagine oh, one of them wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I've, I d I'm not that familiar with Downton Abbey. Anyway. But the other thing is, oh, I love, I love that. I'd love a bit of Downton, I do. <laughs> It's never been a series I get into, but I can uh, I can see a character wearing it. Nine ninety nine again. Look at loving this price for points. the strand or for the tube of sea beads, and <laughs> definitely for that oval. That's working out at three pound thirty three per component. That's crazy. That is crazy. Isn't you it? know that. That's why the phone lines have lit up. We had a hundred. Susan, Patricia, Andrea. Hello to you, London. Tracy, Brenda, Valerie, Muriel. Hello to you, Alison, Jacqueline, Maker in Yorkshire. Sarah, Eunice, Paula. Westmoreland's Wen. Hello to you, Janet, Dorothy. I can't keep up. I really can't. Um, You've got to take advantage and check out nice and early to secure your kit at 9.99. Remember, for those of you that have just tuned in, the photograph on the website is completely wrong. <laughs> Ignore all the photographs. We will change it. Um, yeah, it's literally what I have here in the studio that you are getting. How amazing is that? Lucy in Hertfordshire. Lisa, why don't you tie and wear? Anne, Paula, Eunice, hello to you. Uh, Susan, Jane in Lancashire. Make sure you do check out. New customers getting involved on the phone lines as well. This Strand, the strand on his own for nine ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's so cool. It's so different, isn't it? You know, I, I like the fact that it's 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 not quite wheels. It's not quite rondelles. It's kind of like it's not polished either. It's the matte no, texture, I'm, which is more advanced yeah. to actually get that matte texture. Um, well, Ross has just said, "L the strand on its own is more than that." Yeah, well, you know, you would pay, it's two hundred and eighty <laughs> carats of labradorite. It, it so, is a chunky kit. I love it. So you're yeah. getting a discount on the strand, and you're getting additional components as well. I mean, even if I brought these ovals on their own at nine ninety nine, I think they'd absolutely fly. Um, okay, let's move on to what? Sorry, which. Oh, the amethyst is the one that's most popular on pre-order, so let's do that now. There we go. Just Here it is. I just that's wrong as well. That's from 12 o'clock. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's this beautiful <laughs> necklace that our um, Alison... Alison? Hannah? Sorry, Hannah. <laughs> Clearly, I have... You know, I've had, I've had four co three coffees. That's fine. It's fa I'm, I'm quite enough. flattered to be called Alison. Clearly she's, she's not genius. enough already. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're all geniuses. Look how beautiful this is. So this comes with the lovely amethyst drop shapes. Instantaneously, you get that beautiful regal look. Um, caresses the decolletage. Um, perfect for your flowers, Hannah. Oh, well, I thought that as well. So I kind of I went with the floral thing. And it was just like, I, they are quite chunky gemstones. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But I think because the, the oval's quite chunky as well, and then you can use the rest of them it, like, as the side. It just kind of balanced. I Lovely. Thought, I'm just going to go with it. Just really go with the chunky nice. look. I, I mean, I, thought, I love it. I look love a statement it. necklace anyway. <laughs> well, these are flying out on pre order. Um, could you also use that oval maybe um, as a component for a lariat? Yeah, definitely. So if you, um, as long as your gemstone fits through the middle, um, which this particular kit does, but I, I don't know if the Labradorite one, one will. You yeah. have to try. Test it. Um, then you can because then that becomes your your hoop and then you have a long line necklace oh, and then that would have be so gorgeous like something with weight on the other end so so you might have a cluster of the drops and as long as you can get it through the hoop then it works as a lariat wow at 39.99 you're getting beautiful amethyst here and your lovely top drill drops as well um i know our graphics don't say it but um i'm looking at that as your chevron amethyst because you've got those wonderful formations definitely, definitely um, yeah. on show plus you've got the amethyst uh, oval hoop which is lovely and you get your sea beads, which are your silver atos, galvanized silver atos. Are we ready for our prices, Ross? Well, I thought that was it, but yeah, let's go. Let's go. They're absolutely flying. Essentially, says Ross, you're paying for the strand and you're getting everything else for free. This is why we say time and time and time and time and time again here at Jewelry Maker, you are better off getting involved um, with the kits. If you see a strand, we often get the question, oh, is the strand available or is that component available on its own? You're actually better off getting involved with the kits because you actually get, you're buying one component, you're getting everything else for free. Half the stock has gone already. It's been too long since we've seen Amethyst. We don't get it that I know, anymore. I know. It's one of, well, I love it anyway. I, I've got a thing about like any sort of peacock colour. So the yeah. pur purples, teals, like turquoises. Beautiful. Um, so amethyst is right up there. Plus it's my son's birthday. Well, oh, well, so there we go then. He loves it too. There we go. <laughs> All the other kits are available on pre-order, so you can shop ahead. I will bring those to air as well. Um, you've got Goldstone. 
um, and you've also got uh, uh, rose quartz, and then we've got yeah, different, a different colour goldstone. Um, I mean, talk us through these designs again, Hannah, and, and which one are you going to demethyst? Um, I'm going to do the amethyst one just because I, I really enjoyed making the little flower. Yeah, we haven't um, done that in a while. I know, and I just I just thought I, I, I tend I've done a lot of sort of like little fiddly things or or. Um, I don't know. Just I just wanted to do something a bit, bit more old school. If yeah, that makes sense. I like know. old school. Old school, but wearable, and I quite like a chunky look anyway. So I yeah. so I'd like a, a and that because you get a real pop of colour when you do that. As yeah, well, beautiful, so. and they tessellate so yeah. amazingly together. Take it away. Okay, so um, I'm going to use um, a 0.4 wire with this, um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to take quite a long length. I don't I don't really have a set measurement. It's just, I don't know, maybe more than a metre, perhaps. Um, maybe more than you think you're going to need is, is the safest way of doing it. Then I've taken all of these off the strand and then you've just got to pick what you want um, to be your petals. So I'm, I'm, I'm just checking that the um, drill holes will fit uh, through uh, onto the wire. So far, I haven't had any that don't, but it's always worth checking so you get, don't get snagged when you're making something. And I want six um, petals that I think go together. So I've got a few, a few dark ones. I'm quite tempted to add in. That one's a really dark one. That's got like a lovely coloration to that. Pop that one in there. You could go almost white with that. Look, I've got some of those chevrons in oh, those. Ah, nice. In those pieces. But I think because I'm going for the a dark, I'm going to maybe use that one as well. So I've got six of them. And then I'm going to take my. Uh, piece of wire and I'm literally just going to thread them all on. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then I'm hoping that the one I've put on the end has got a big enough hole to go through again. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to pull that through. So it makes a little loop to start you off. And you want quite a, a, a big tail left on the one side. Um, and then pull it as tight as you can without um, snapping your thread. And then hang on to it. And you're going to weave around. So we're going to go over the first one, under the next. Turn it round over that one. Because it starts off, it's quite floppy to, to work with. A so floppy flower. It's a floppy flower to start with. And you're right, who was that, Ollie? It does work hard and as, you, as, you, as you go, so uh, don't worry about it too much. So I'm just going to do that a couple of times. Like that. And then I'm actually going to go around that one um, petal. Once, it, once I've been over, you sort of do half and half. I'm going to come back around and go... So I've gone under that petal that I've already wrapped and then reverse the direction, go the other way, like that. So again, under and over, under and over. And what you'll find is that you get every alternative um, petal. And I'm going to go around twice. Obviously, I'm trying to do this a bit fast. You, you obviously make sure you, you get it nice and neat and regular if you can. And then once you've got all of them with two wraps, I'm going to reverse it again and go the other way. Okay, so to reverse it, you come underneath one of your petals and then go back the other direction. And that way you're making quite a nice framework. So I've got three on, I've got three on three of them and two on two of them. So I'm going to reverse and go the other way. So I've got three on all of them. Okay, and I hope that might be just about enough to hold them in place. I've got very hot hands, sorry. Is it nice and secure? Right, so then what I wanted to do is just take a pair of um, flat nose or chain nose pliers and then I'm just going to squeeze these little um, wraps together just to make sure it's like sort of neat, symmetrical looking as much as something like this can be. Do you feel like I want to go one more, I think, just so it's secure? Because you don't, you don't want that flower to move. Once it's, once it's the focal point, it's going to be really obvious yeah. if it's moving about. 
So I'm just doing it one more on, on all of them. Okay. Then once you've got your flower sort of secured, obviously you want to attach it to that lovely oval as the focal point. Just making sure everything's nice and neat and together. So I'm going to take my two tail end pieces and I'm just going to do like a little um, twist. Always makes me think of Sheila. The tiara twist. Ah, uh, lovely Sheila. Okay, and then I'm going to use that. I'm going to take my oval and then I want to secure that sort of somewhere in the middle. So I'm just going to pass both ends through. So I've curved it slightly. And because I've got quite a lot of wire here, it's a little bit more fiddly than it perhaps might be. And then you just want to wrap that around. So I just want to make sure that it stays where I want it. So I'm going to wrap one side first. So literally through the loop, pull it tight and then make sure it's sort of in the middle. Might do that a couple of times actually on both sides. So wrap that one through. And then I'm going to use the other wire, the other tail end. And I'm going to wrap that on the other side the same number of times as you did the first one. So I did that a couple of times. Like that. And then I'm going to push those together. And I want that to stay together. So I'm just going to squeeze it with the flat nose pliers like that. And then once it's where I want it, I'm going to wrap it. So hang on to that and then wrap that around all of it to hold it in place. Might do another one. Okay, so the good thing about being on wire is you can manipulate it once it's on there, but I can then trim that away and then what I've done with the rest of it is to use um, just beading thread. So I'm gonna wrap Good that old beading there. thread. Beading thread is back, I reckon, in a big way. <laughs> it's just a nice, easy way of working, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you don't need a needle, do you? It's yeah. all there. I say, I, it's like those that have been watching for a, a while now, notice that I've got, now wear glasses for things like this. So uh, some of the seed beading things are not as easy as they used to be for me. <laughs> so I'm experimenting with all sorts of ideas. Okay. So I've got that. And then if I just show you on the actual uh, necklace itself, you can, you can see that there are just, that's got a crimp bead underneath it. So it's literally pass your beading thread underneath the, the oval and back up and into a crimp bead mm -hmm. and then use a crimp cover to hide it. And that is literally just threaded. And I've used the seed beads just to space them out so that these don't bash into each other. And you'll find that the, the, the weight of this is balanced by the, the, the shape and the weight of mm. those. So you get that lovely sort of flow all the way around. And it's, ju it's just straightforward threading the rest of it. Wow. And because of the, I guess, the, the shape of those drops, they create that sort of... They, get, they give you that, that, decolletage that lovely sort of, um, sort of arc yeah. around, around the neckline. And it's like, it's, that's a, a classic example of the gemstone doing the job for you, really. Absolutely. You know, so work to, to all of its advantages. Hannah, absolutely so. beautiful. And of course, if you, you know, prefer maybe the rose quartz design or the labradorite design, then you can kind of adapt it, you, can't you? you? That's yeah, you can, making. you can pretty much do anything. I did think about doing the flower with the rose quartz because the rose quartz, are, are, they're really sizable drops. I just thought yeah. they, need, they needed to be more of a, of a tassel. I love those yeah. rose quartz. Yeah. Um, that's coming up, by the way. It's yeah. stunning. That's st I, I'm going to pinch it. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, know, I mean, I would, but um, I definitely would. But no, I won't be that brazen. Um, I love that. I love that. If I was going to say I had a favourite, I have to say that's up there. Um, how about another favourite? And that is your beautiful gold stone. Um, this is that midnight blue colour, but it's gold stone with a difference where you actually have almost like these kind of bud carvings. They are described as pumpkins, which I can definitely see. Um, so you're getting the gold stone strand and you're
you're getting the Goldstone um, oval hoop, always incredibly popular Goldstone. You can see why it's that, we always say it, don't we, Ross? It's that Vincent van Gogh, Starry Night. It's just so pretty. How many of you, yes, it's one of my favorite songs, Ollie. I love that song. Paint your palette blue. Oh, is it? I thought it was Ollie singing. Who's singing now? Oh, it's you, Ross. Aww. Sorry, Ross. Paint your palette blue and gray. It's one of your favorites too, isn't it? You... Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I'm getting my, produ I'm getting my producers mixed it up. It really is like the night sky, though, it isn't is. it? You know, that all those lovely twinkles and sparkles Oh, it just captures the light so gorgeously. This is man-made. It's a man-made component, but it's a beautiful component. <laughs> and it works so perfectly with your sea beads. This is always popular, and it's flying on pre-order as well. At $29.99. Oh, hello, Adam. Adam's back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Perfect. I really like the, like, yeah, I, well, they call it pumpkin, don't they? But I just like the fact that it's slightly the, carved and it's, I feel like it, it sort of reveals more of the sparkle. Yeah, I agree. They're like yeah. little buds, I think. Yeah. They're more like flower buds. They're very sweet. I love uh, them. Twelve ninety nine only. I love these kit prices as well. I know. Brilliant. Awesome. I, um, well, there's a lot of uh, um, repeat purchases, <laughs> people getting involved across all the different kits, and I'm not surprised. I would be doing exactly the same. Audrey, Caroline, Susan, Carola, Jane, Andrea, Paula, uh, Lucy, Mary, Emma. Hello, lots of multi buyers. Richard, not, hello to you. I hope you're well. Good morning. Uh, Jacqueline, new customer. Muriel, hello to you. West Midlands, Marie Claire, Suzanne, Joan, Linda, new customers. Linda, Karen, I can't keep up um well done everybody it is busy 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 this morning remember we are on the countdown to the launch of jake's absolutely incredible cut that is called premiering the crown of light what it does to light is nothing short of miraculous i hope you can be with us for that um hello karen same brilliant idea and demo hannah oh, i'm you. now thinking about all the gemstones in my stash that can bloom, bloom into, into flowers, into flowers. Well, i always talk about things being petals but i've never really sort of shown it so it's I've been th a long time since we've seen that demonstration. yeah so i thought i'm just gonna re just re like revisit Old favourites. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they'd be lovely earrings as well, wouldn't they? Twelve ninety nine only. Um, and it's going to work likewise. If you love that demonstration as well, it would work beautifully as well with the Rose Quartz kit that's coming up as Definitely. well. You can shop ahead and pre-order on that one. Don't forget you've got your lavender jadeite strand coming up. Well, I say strand. It's, you know, literally one of the uh, um, auction house pieces. Um, amazing. Right. Keep on dialing through for that one. Let's do the Goldstone, shall we, in... Yeah, we're missing missing the oval from we that. are missing an oval okay it's got an oval as well though <laughs> the, the photograph is wrong you do get an oval okay yeah that's snakes from the master class they're all mixed up aren't they they are all, they are all mixed it's up. all mixed up so imagine you're um the same as your blue but obviously in the gold that's what you're actually getting here uh so 15 carats of your golden gold stone that's a mouthful, isn't it? Golden Goldstone Oval Hoop. A single piece measures 18 by 25 millimetres. Looks exactly the same. Um, there we go. Has Hannah got one? Got Yay! one, I've got one, I've got one. So you get what's on the back of my hand. One that I didn't make. Plus... There we go. Thank you, Hannah. Yay! Save the day. Amazing. Plus, there you go. Look how sparkly oh, it is. <laughs> um, and then these are beautiful. These are a bit different. So you've got your um, gold silver lined cut sea beads. Yeah, they, they have an extra sort of facet, it looks like. Um, I, th I think it's just the shape of the bead. More They're than almost anything. borderline tillers, aren't they? They're a little bit flat on certain edges. I'm not saying they are yeah, tillers, no, but, just, there's, flat but there's an edge to them. Yeah, so Ooh, they're I just pretty. really like all sort of like the sparkliness of it, like the yeah. goldness and... The, and yeah, it's kind of a pirate's treasure trove, isn't it? <laughs> Love that. Twelve ninety nine only. Massively mm. over allocated. Glowing ember. Yes. Love it. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, hang on. Back you go. I just really like the idea because they're because the, the loops are already like a chain, aren't they? So you could you could like you could put the seed beads on inside yeah. the loops. Yeah. You could use them as spaces. You could actually make seed bead um kind of loops to connect the the, the, the gold stone loops as well. So yeah. and then have a tassel of gold with that lovely one. Oh, this kit's almost sold out on pre-order. I'm not surprised. If I was to have a favourite, then I think this would be mine. Uh -huh. It's just pretty. I love... Oops, hang on. I absolutely love 
this strand as well it's just I mean we don't see rose quartz very often and when we do it's this kind of quality that we're looking for um, it's that I want to say pastel pink or baby pink as such for me it's like a peony pink oh yeah okay yeah no well there's a lot of flowers in different pinks aren't there so that's we, true I think I think it's just beautiful it's pretty. I mean, you get that, I mean the, what, the one I had looks like it's got more clarity and this one's got more opacity, but I think they're both beautiful. Oh, amazing quality of colour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely so amazing. They're all fabulous. £14 and 99 pence only. Plus you get your lovely rose quartz uh, um, oval hoop as well. That's not drilled, so you can literally just put a not, lark said knot on that if you wanted to. Teamed alongside these lovely, oops a daisy, um, lovely frosted pink seed beads. Well done, they've absolutely flown out on pre-order. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, the countdown has begun. Yes, the crown of light is launching in 15 minutes. So I'm very, very excited about that opportunity. Lovely jewelry makers. Hannah, as always, amazing. Thank You've you. also got a lovely masterclass coming up. I'm yeah, really bit yeah. Later on. Today. I can't quite believe that's in kits. I know. I know. It's pretty special. Pretty, pretty special. So make sure you tune in um, <laughs> at 12 o'clock. Okay. There was a, a show that happened a couple of months ago where Dave um, stepped into the studio. We had this big fancy display made, literally. So um, built. I remember him seeing them building it. And it was... What the, the, the whole idea, the concept came from Dave and he said he spoke to um, our suppliers, our Jadeite suppliers, and he said, look, I don't want to I don't want to bring our customers something that gives the look of. I don't want to say, well, this is giving you the look of that piece that sold at Bonham's or that piece that sold at, at Christie's. I want to bring our customers that same quality. So that was the brief. And that's a hard brief to fulfill, yeah, to be honest, mega, especially yeah. in one of the world's rarest gemstones and most desirable colours. This, his words, he actually said, out of all of the auction house pieces, this is probably the most considered. Because, well, why? Firstly, it was uh, the idea was behind, um, there was a necklace that sold at auction, I'll show you in a few moments' time. But the actual ingredients, for want of a better description, was actually the lavender jade, which we all know, you know, Pillar and Stone have said it, Mason and Kay have said it, that they believe that lavender jade will overtake imperial green in terms of um, auction history, taking that sort of the highest price, uh, the highest price sold. What is lavender jade though? Well, it's incredibly rare. It's a beautiful, very soft color. Um, and it's rare because of the elements, the trace elements that are present within this gemstone. And you think of that, all colors of jadeite are rare. It's one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. There's 6,000 different minerals on our planet. This is in the top 10. But then there's rarer degrees of that. Um, and lavender is incredibly rare because of those trace elements. So vanadium and also manganese um, are within your, la your lavender jadeite. Um, it says that to produce the violet, purple, lavender color um, in the crystal structure of the jadeite makes it lavender. It's, you know, vanadium seldom, um, is very seldom present in Burmese. Uh, in the Burmese location, sorry. Right. Um, vanadium is considered extremely rare in the Burma area where jadeite is found and for it to naturally exist in sufficient quantities to produce the lavender, lavender colour. Is, that is one of the reasons this colour is so rare to find and to find in any real saturation or quantity. Um, I mean, you can see it's a really beautiful colour. Strands like this have sold at auction houses. Lavender jade has become one of the most expensive colours in the jade market today. And as a result, it's continued demand, extremely high prices, which have continued to rise each and every single year. It's easy to understand why they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this amazing necklace that was sold at auction. The one that she's wearing, by the way, is this. Um, an wow. impressive lavender jadeite bead, an emerald necklace, um, estimate upon request. It actually sold for 20, I can't even say that, 21,240,000 Hong Kong dollars. Um, yes, a staggering wow. amount of That's money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. Um, there it is within a publication you can see. And we speak about, you know, um, we didn't want to bring you something that gives you that look. We wanted to bring you that amazing quality. And okay, you know, A, we'd struggle to actually get that intensity of colour, um, but there are ways of us achieving 
being that high-end grade. Now, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, the left-hand side of the screen shows you two different saturations and it also shows you the difference between ice jade and a more opaque um, quality. Both absolutely beautiful, but um, yeah, how we can bring you that level of quality in colour is by bringing you a slightly more opaque, not saying completely non-translucent, because there yeah. is a translucency here, but um, a slightly more opaque um, example of still maintaining that, uh, that lavender colour. Um, and again, this is, again, not our chart. This is something literally from, um, from a, a publication, and it shows you that your violetish blue, your purples and your lavenders and your deep purples are literally just behind all of your imperial greens in terms of so the price point of this gemstone. So we are talking about quite considerably, you know, one of the most uh, um, celebrated opportunities, actually, that we've brought to our jewelry maker, jewelry maker audience. Um, OK, now I haven't got it made up here. There are only 11 available in the entire world. You are getting all the ingredients, lovely jewelry makers, to make that, again, auction house inspired piece of jewelry even down to the luxury of the clasp. So you can see you've got this lovely parve um, box clasp. There's the two connectors there. So you can, you know, the, the finishing That's touches. Beautiful, isn't it? it is absolutely stunning. Can you see the detail yeah. there? Um, and you've got this lovely component um, to give you that added sense of luxury. Plus you get your beautiful purple silk, pre-threaded. <laughs> it is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Pre-threaded silk. It, when you're working with something of this caliber, you would expect it to have, um, you know, silks running through it. Um, um, and of course you get the main event, the actual strand itself. These are all of course certified completely and utterly natural. No enhancement, no fissure filling, no dyeing. The, uh, the accent stones are as close to imperial jade that we will ever be able to bring you um, here at Jewelry Maker. And again, you're gonna see that in a, in, in a heartbeat. Um, it's so vibrant in its green. I've never seen a strand Hang on a minute. I've never seen a strand that has that intensity of color. And of course, we know that it's chromium that produces that as well. But again, even down to the rubellite that you've got within each and every single one of these stones. More recently, Dave popped across to, I think this was actually over in Hong Kong. He saw um, a, another amazing strand that was actually on offer. He took a, a photograph sort of at the booth itself. Remember that this is wholesale 45,000 US dollars. God. You know, 45,000. It hasn't got the equivalent colour to what we saw on that necklace previously. Still a beautiful quality of colour, though, isn't it? I mean, it's stunning. 45 grand. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have that kind of money knocking around. I about, definitely you know? don't yeah. have that money. <laughs> definitely not. But I would still love to be able to purchase something, to invest in something that I can pass on to future generations. How about this? There we go. Do you think this is going to be any less expensive? Wow. No. Um, and this was actually the inspiration behind the auction house piece. Um, that was uh, one of the inspirations behind this opportunity. Wholesale. You've got lavender jade. Remember what we were discussing about the, the sort of the ice jade and the more opaque um, varieties of jade. Um, but it's still eighty thousand dollars. I mean, that's not completely. That's, I wouldn't describe that as ice jade in its translucency. No. Um, no. It's beautiful and it has a lovely natural colour as well. Eighty thousand US dollars really simple class very much like you're getting alongside this also now there are 11 available opportunities I do genuinely believe this is going to be the last opportunity that we bring you um, in this um, auction house piece when once this opportunity is gone I would be incredibly surprised if it's you see it on our um, on our TV screens once again to be able to source to be able to source this quality at the price point that we do um, well, even if we were sourcing it from different mining locations, because this is something I learned when, when Dave launched this. He was saying, OK, you know, we can source, you know, your lovely greens, we can source your lovely blacks and, your, uh, and all the different colours, but they might come from different locations, different boulders. The auction house pieces or the piece, the necklaces that we just shown you will have come from the same boulder. Yes, um, so, so you have that 
perfect uniformity match, yeah. absolutely and that's what you're getting today as well this is lavender jade from the same boulder three of these have already gone again get it home use your 30-day money-back guarantee do your research we share with you a lot of research i always think that it's you know it, it, it's my role actually if you like to sort of share the current situation within the market you know that's why we say not making comparisons directly with the piece of jewelry but take a little look at first dibs just there natural lavender jadeite bead necklace with a diamond class 34 and a half thousand pounds you know when you research it these are the, the, the websites and the, the places that you're gonna find this caliber of gemstone the first price crash is 10% of the first div, uh, dibs price and by the way that 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 necklace doesn't have that that intensity of green and it doesn't have the rubelite. That it is. This is a close to imperial green that we're ever going to get on our screens. It really ever, is, isn't it? ever, ever, ever. And we're at ten percent of the first dibs price. There are eleven of these remaining in existence. Even if we were to stop here, that's unbelievable. Well done, Hampshire. You've got yours. We bring it to you on a 0% interest split payment as well. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, an opportunity that we just don't, you know, I, this is what I always consider, a, a, an opportunity that I would never accept myself to have been given. You know, I, 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 I don't have millions in the bank. No. It'd be nice. It would be lovely. <laughs> but I would expect to have to have millions of, in the bank to own something yeah, of this lottery, rarity. Maybe. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a big, big, big price crash. A significant price crash. If it's the first time that you are seeing this amazing piece, the concept, the idea was behind the auction house pieces that we have just shown you. One of the stipulations was, I don't want to work with something that has that look. You know, it's I don't want it to look a little bit like this. So we'll we'll use instead of say instead of uh, your rubelite, let's work with I don't know. Uh, um, a more abundant gemstone um, instead of the green let's put something like I don't know um, an onyx in there to make it more affordable we wanted to bring you that high caliber of gemstone that high piece high-end piece of jewelry we're at 499 pounds holy moly that's I a know, big price it's drop it's a big price <laughs> drop absolutely thousands of pounds literally back into your pocket for natural lavender jade all exclusively from the same boulder. That, now, Dave launched this. It wasn't that long ago. Launched at £499. You get everything. You get the silk. You get the amazing detailed class. You get the components. You get, obviously, um, the imperial greenish colour. You get your rubelite and you get the lavender jade. But when he came back, he came back to the studios quite recently and said, OK, I'm going to do a closeout deal. We had a conversation with Dave yesterday he, and we requested that we bring this back to air and he agreed and he agreed also because there are only 11, actually now six, that we can repeat that closeout deal. Quite possibly this is going to be the last time that it's on our screens. Look at that amazing intensity of colour. Look at the rubelites. Look at those imperial green shades. Look at the lavender jadeite. Again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's the most icy, translucent lavender jadeite you know, like the one we saw in that photograph. But we still want to be able to bring you that amazing quality of colour. Um, we are going to bring it to you at that clearance deal price point. The final six opportunities. Get it home, use your 30 day money back guarantee, get a second opinion. You don't have to take our word for it. You know, I say this on a regular basis. How many jewelers will say, get it home, take it too. And I am going to say like a gemologist, somebody that absolutely appreciates the rarity. Remember, we're still learning. We're waking up to Jedi in the West. You know, take it to somebody that appreciates and understands, you know, the scale, the magnitude, if you like, of what you have before you. £499 is already an absolutely unbeatable deal sourced from that same boulder natural rubelite beautiful imperial greens all the components 
to make that auction house piece of jewellery. When Dave stepped back into the studios, you might have thought, okay, he took maybe a couple of, I don't know, 10, 20 pounds off that price tag. Maybe, maybe a little cheeky 10% or something like that. We're already at an amazing deal. Did you see anything that was a triple figure price tag in the, in the pieces that we showed elsewhere? At wholesale, did you see a necklace at £499 at wholesale? Today you can get one of the final six for one of the biggest closeout deals that we have ever done. £349 sourced from the same boulder. One of the things that your Sotheby's, your Bonhams, your Christie's look for, that uniformity of translucency and colour in one amazing piece of jewellery, and you're guaranteed to get that today. The final five, I can see you there, Lorraine. I can see you there, Mary. I can see you there, Lanarkshire. I can see you there, London. I get that this is a considered purchase, but not when you consider, you know, um, the price point of what it would be elsewhere. This is the final four in existence. You know, all you need to do, Hannah, I think, because you've got all the luxury components that you, you, you've yeah. had the inspiration from those uh, um, those auction houses. All you need is a, a little bit of knotting skill. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just thread it, but um, I would recommend knotting it because if if anything ever happened to it, then if a knotted necklace is going is going to um, rescue most of the gemstones, if not all of them. Um, and if you if you have the means to go out and get yourself, you know, a, like a diamond encrusted. Um, oh gosh, do it! Clasp How many times have you heard me clasp say that? Or gold clasp or something like that. I would absolutely invest in one to put with this because it is worth it. Hannah, I've said yeah. this so many times that I've kind of jumped off that soapbox now, but just because I okay, source and I'm going to say it. I might not get thanked or, 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 or <laughs> for saying it, but I will. Source gold clasp from elsewhere. Jewelry maker don't sell them. Source them elsewhere. This deserves an 18 karat gold class, in my humble opinion. Um, yeah, and, that, and then get it valued. And then get it valued. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, well done. There's final three opportunities. Lorraine, you've got yours incredible. Nicola, amazing. I can see you talking to our call center as we speak. Again, that intensity of lavender color. It's not a suggestion. It's not a whisper. It's not a wishy-washy tone. It is most definitely lavender and it is type A grade please be mindful if you look around elsewhere mindful that you are getting uh, literally the the, the the gemstone that it is uh, it's advertising this is absolutely jadeite please be mindful that it is type a grade as well um it's all laboratory certified for you um amazing lorraine you've got yours lanarkshire you've got yours patricia you've got yours london you've got yours i've literally got two opportunities remaining um nicola's there Mary's there as well. Good luck, everybody. If you both check out, then this is that opportunity literally gone. Incredible. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and what a legacy piece. We always say, you know, we casually say the word legacy, don't we? But, you know, that's what we're really looking at right now. Yeah, I mean, this, this is, it's timeless, it's ageless, it's something that's going to just only increase in value, I, be, I believe. I, I'm, a, I'm so humbled, yeah. Hannah, by opportunities like this, because I never, never thought I would be in the presence of, of Lavender Jane. No, I can't never. believe it. It's fabulous. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to you all. There's one of them left. Literally one of them left. And 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 also the, the opportunities that Jewelry Maker offers to each and every single one of us and the Gemporia partnership, you know, oh I'll tell you what, just give us £87.25 pence. And you can pay us back if you like in, in 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 chunks. That's fine. You get one of the world's rarest gemstones. You get you get an opportunity to to purchase auction house worthy quality stones. You know we've just shown you first dibs. No, they're not an auction house. First dibs. You could sell your jewellery on first dibs. And what was it? Thirty-four thousand pounds. Yeah. My car's not worth that. In fact, it's not worth it anywhere was near that. <laughs> anywhere near that. And that's a beautiful necklace. I'll leave that last one with you. We cannot go any lower than what's on your screens. Huge congratulations to each and every single one of you. We've still got so much to bring you, but I'm super, super, super excited about the next couple of hours. I mean, literally, we've got so much to bring. You've got masterclass, but launching for the very first time here at Jewelry Maker, stepping back into our studios, and it's been a long time, but my goodness me, it's so worth the wait, launching his very own cut, The Circle of Light, is Jake Thompson. Don't go anywhere. It's happening after this.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. an absolute spectacle to see. I'm so excited and very privileged to introduce to you Jake Thompson to the Jewelry Maker Studio. Hello, good morning, Jake. Elle. Good morning, you as well. It's so good to rejoin you. My name's Jake Thompson. It's been a while since I've been here, at least since the Tucson Gem Show. So that's over, over a month. Yeah. Um, and I am hugely apologetic for that. It's just been crazy, crazy fun times here at Gemporia and at Jewelry Maker. But Elle, how do you break a duck of a while of run where I've not been on screen? If I'm bringing you something, you know, I want it to be extra special. Oh my goodness. I'll yeah. tell you what we've got for you today. Nothing less than the future. Nothing less than the future of lapidary. This is one of those hallmark, one of those milestone moments in history. Usually history is about these slow changes over time. But every now and then, there is something that makes the whole world stop, stand up and take notice. And that's exactly what is about to happen this morning. Because when we think of gemstone cutting, we look at gemstones and go, well, they've been loved for hundreds of years. They've been loved for thousands of years. 
they must all have looked as beautiful as they do today. Nothing could be further from the truth. But this is a real moment in history because you will remember everything that came up to this point and then you'll say, as of the 28th of February, the gemstones you looked at after that looked completely different. They were objectively, undeniably, proven under a laboratory better than everything that came before. And to really understand this, to really understand the moment that you and I are about to explore today, you have to understand the history of lapidary. Where did gemstone cutting come from? And how did we get to today where the whole jewelry world goes, yep, okay, we've reached perfection. Marcel Tarkovsky, thank you very much, you mathematical genius. Well, I'm gonna say we are witnessing evolution today. But it all starts millennia ago. It all starts millennia ago with the world's first gemstone cut. Now, I'm not talking about the cabochons that were rolled under rivers. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about faceted, what, what we describe today as a faceted gem. Mm. So the world's first cut was called the point cut. And it, it's basically just two pyramids with their bases stuck together. Yeah. Um, and we call it the point cut because it has two points, one point at the top, one point at the bottom. Uh, but actually, you could call it the no point cut because this hasn't been cut at all. This is actually what we call an octahedral crystal structure. And, and, and this is just how diamonds form. Also, spinels will form in exactly the same way and fluorites as well. So if you've ever seen a rough fluoride, if you've ever seen a rough spinel, ever seen a rough diamond, they literally do just form like this. And the earliest jewellery would take this and basically just put a bezel around the base and set it into a ring, job done. That's the point cut. That's the first cut that man really did, except man didn't do anything. It was just, it was just found that way. And then over a period of time, they realised the problem with having a cut like this is you're wearing it and because it's got a sharp point, you might accidentally bang, bang it. And the moment you did that, you would break your gem. So they said, OK, well, what we'll do is we're just going to cleave the top half. We're going to cut a table into this. They didn't do it to make the gem look beautiful. They actually did it to try and stop it from breaking. But then they realised, hang on, if we, cut a, if we cut that part off, we get to look into the gem. We start to see reflection from within the gem. Oh, this is lovely. We've got this table to look into the gem in. And that is how we have table facets and the table cut. That was the earliest thing we ever did. Um, interesting, they also cut the very bottom off. And everyone talks about that being because then it's more comfortable to wear. Nothing to do with that at all. And um, it's actually because, again, if you bang the gem, if you've got a sharp point, that's really vulnerable. It's mm. a really vulnerable point on the gemstone. And you go, well, surely it just chips the end away and, and, and it is what it is. Unfortunately not. What happens is it creates a whole split up the length of the gem in both directions. So one tiny little bang, you can lose a huge proportion of your gem. So the first cuts we ever did, and I'm talking over a thousand years ago now, was they said, we're gonna put a tiny cut here, let's cut that bottom off there and cut that top off there. Okay, we're quite happy now. We can wear our gem and it's more safe, it's more durable, it's gonna last longer. Up to this point, you'll notice the big thing about cutting is nothing has been about making it beautiful. At this point, it's Practical. just about, it's, it's, it's purely pragmatism yeah. that's happening right here. The idea of actually wanting to find something beautiful, the idea of how do, we, how do we go on, kick on a little bit further, how do we make these gemstones do more, how do we work with the light, that didn't really happen until you have the old single cut. And we call it the old single cut. It, it's actually still used today. Mm. Um, and, and this was really, again, they said, OK, well, we want to see more. We see those facets, the more of them, the, the more beautiful the gem is. What if we just try and apply some more? Let's cut off those points. You've now got these corner ones here. They're the only points really that still exist. Let's cut those off. And that gives you an, oct uh, an octagon shape looking down rather than, a, rather than a, a, a square from a table face view. That's all they did. They just went, cut those. Let's flatten the facets there. Old single cut. And even today, this is still used in the majority of diamonds that are small melees. They'll still use this cut. It's one of the most enduring cuts going. 
And, and, and it was a real, it was, sorry, it was a real landmark moment there. Because this was the first time we went, hang on, we can cut these and make them look better. Now we're not doing it for function, we're doing it for form. Now we're doing this so that they become more beautiful and the price rises. And in my view, this is when you have the birth of modern lapidary. The idea that we cut a gem to increase its value. You lose weight, but you gain beauty and therefore you have more value. This is the moment that that, moment, that, that, that movement happened. Unfortunately, we don't know when this moment was. It, there wasn't like a groundbreaking, uh. now everything has changed. Yeah. Um, we do know when its predecessor's moment, uh, sorry, its successor's moment was. That was. This is what we now refer to. You find these in antique stores, very rarely cut today. They've almost lost the art of them now. Uh, but this is what we call the Mazarin cut, uh, named after Cardinal Mazarin, uh, who was um, one of the chief advisors to one of, their, one of the philandering kings of France, a, a Louis, a, a, a Louis in the early teens. <laughs> um, and basically, Mazarin was his chief advisor. Um, he was a cardinal, uh, but clearly not a very holy man because uh, he, would, he would make most of his career and wealth was actually built on providing gemstones to Louis's many mistresses. Um, and so Mazarin realised quite quickly he could charge Louis more if the gemstones looked better. Um, so he, he had his team of artisans develop what we call the Mazarin cut. What he lacked in moral compass, though, he absolutely, well, perhaps not made up for, but he certainly had more, he, a greater contribution. His legacy is somewhat redeemed, if not entirely, by a few pioneering things that he developed with the Mazarin cut. Chief amongst them is you'll notice all of the cuts so far are step variations of what we now know as the step cut. They are mm. squares or trapezoids. Mazarin's team said, hang on, we can put these into triangles and in the same space, you will have more facets. This is the first time in history we start to see the revelation of triangle facets. Now, today you look at around brilliant and it's triangle, 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 all triangle facets. But this is really, it was Mazarin's innovation that developed these. So we start to see triangle facets above the girdle. We see triangle facets below the girdle. This was a real, real moment uh, in, in gemstone lapidary. And it really set the European standard for a whole generation. This was happening in France at a not too dissimilar time, because this is all spurned by this movement of the old single cut. Not too dissimilar time, you had another artist whose surname was Peruzzi, and these, and these cut gemstones that are cut in this style are known as the Peruzzi cut. And he kind of took Mazarin's innovation of the triangles and borrowed from it a little bit. But his great innovation was, OK, well, let's look at it from a face-down point of view. Let's look at it table down. And he said, let's start to try and get a circle. Now, we are talking centuries ago. It was almost impossible to get a perfect circle at the time. And so we start to see what we now know as the antique cushion mm. enter the gem world. So you've now got side by side these two innovations happening. First of all, we're going to have triangle facets. Secondly, we can start to mess around with what we now know as the shape of the mm. gem as well as the alignment of the facets. But at this point, diamonds were still prohibitively expensive. We're talking about real rarities in the world. They, they're almost exclusively imported from the old Golconda mines of India. We are talking old world diamonds at a time that none of the Russian deposits have been discovered, none of the African deposits have been discovered. Really, the only mine in existence is the Golconda mines of India. So these are extraordinarily expensive commodities. But, and that, that inhibits innovation because when your canvas is quite literally the most expensive thing in the world, we can have a little tweak here, we can have a little tweak here, but you don't want to mess around too much because we're talking about something that, that, that is, that the worth, the value of it is far more than can be earned in most people's average lifetimes. This all changes and it is a major change in history. I'd probably say about as significant as, as today's major change, which gave birth to the old European cut. And this was in the mid 18th century. So deep in the Brazilian area, in, in, in the Brazilian interior rather, in 1746, there's a discovery at a place called Moto Grosso, which literally just translates to deep bush. And that, that's really talking to how deep in the Amazon this is. There was this discovery of diamonds. It changed the history of diamond cutting because for the first time in history, 
Europeans had a regular supply of diamonds. This was the first time this had ever happened. Until then, we're buying one diamond here, one diamond mm. there from the Golconda mines in India. Now we have a European controlled, this was Portuguese at the time, a European controlled supply of diamonds, and it's actually a really big deposit um, for, for the time. And so now we have the material to play with. Now we can give, you can, you can give to, 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 to your artisans, you can give to your apprentices diamonds and say, go and perfect this. And that's exactly what happens. And the old European cut, Oh, standing on the shoulders of Mazarin, standing on the shoulders of Peruzzi, the old European cut becomes the standard. For the first time ever, you have triangle facets. You have kite facets coming involved as well. You, they've now rounded the circle. So you have a round shape for the first time rather than an octagon or a cushion. And this really, this blows away the whole European aristocracy. Mm. This, is, this is the most beautiful a diamond has been witnessed in thousands of years. And the old world of Europe goes, well done, job done. We've done it. We've perfected diamonds. They are going to grace the beautiful ladies of the aristocracy. Job finished. We're all done here, guys. Lepidurus, just copy the blueprint. We're done. And we're just going to keep this now for hundreds of years. This is exactly what jewellers did. The jewellery world didn't innovate for over 100 years as a result of this development. They felt they'd reached the finished article. They thought there's no way a diamond can look more beautiful than it does in this old European cut. And for generations, that's what happened with jewellers. Enter a non-jeweller. It took someone from outside of the jewellery industry to look at it and go, hang on, that may not be the best it can be. Enter Marcel Tarkovsky. And here is Marcel. And what Marcel did is he looked at this completely differently. Until that point, everyone had been jewellers in the trade mm. and they'd said, if I add a facet here, if I change a facet there, what happens to it? Then they stumbled on the old European cut. And you can see, if I come back as a couple of slides, you can see they've not, they've, they've, all, the, all the innovation that's happened up to this point is just adding facets. Yeah. They just, they, they've not fundamentally changed the shape of the diamond. I know, OK, they've cut the top off here and they changed Kool-Aid, but the difference from here to here is literally just adding facets and rounding corners. Marcel was the first person to go, OK, what if we ditch these proportions, forget them, start from a mathematical perspective, and you'll see, compared to this one, look how much more shallow the, origi the original... Tarkovsky's dimensions are because he wasn't thinking about the diamond he didn't care how a diamond formed what did it normally look like what carat weight was it normally he didn't care about any of that he said I just want to know what is mathematically the most perfect way you can do this and this is what he does so he says the table remember that table the first cut mankind ever did he said well that should be 53 percent of the width of the girdle yeah, you can tell he's a mathematician. He looks at this and says, well, the, 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 the coulée, the, the difference from the coulée to the girdle, that, that pavilion area, that should be 43% of the whole width of the gem, which is cutting away huge amounts of it. But he said, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about, I want to see the best a diamond can possibly look. And because it was mathematical, and this happens around World War I, mathematical, at the time of World War I, no one really paid attention. There was much bigger things going on. But around the time of World War I, everyone went, OK, Marcel, you've done it. You've finished it. We're coming out of World War I. We're going to go into the Roaring Twenties. These are the best diamonds the world ever seen. And again, the jewellery industry, rather than going, oh, yeah, actually, that was really good. Maybe we should carry the innovation on. The jewellery industry went, <laughs> brilliant, job done. We've done it again, guys. <laughs> We've done it again. We don't need to innovate no more. This is the perfect diamond now. I know last year that was the perfect diamond. There was never going to be a better diamond. But now this is the perfect diamond, and we don't need to worry about it anymore. Marcel... Pop the champagne. Well done, sir. We're now just going to go and make hundreds of millions of dollars selling every diamond exactly like this. And we're never going to think, how can we do it better? For a hundred years, this has been the mindset of the jewellery industry. For a hundred years. And I'll be honest, I didn't know that a diamond could be done better than this. Until my old school, the GIA invited me to a museum opening in the Tucson Gem Show, not this year, but last year. So last year, the GIA invited me to open 
to the opening night at their museum that they just opened at the Tucson Gem Show. Now, this is in Arizona. I saw some of the biggest Sleeping Beauty turquoise I'd ever seen. So the most extraordinary displays of gemstones I had ever come across. But I remember vividly where in, a, in a display that contained extraordinary kunzites, beautiful malachites, the most deep Sleeping Beauty turquoise I'd ever seen. There was one exhibit and one only that blew me away. And it was right here. I walked past an exhibit, and at first I thought it was around brilliant. And then I said, hang on, that can't be around brilliant. I've never seen these gemstones perform like this before. And then as I walked up really closely, and you might not be able to see it at home because the writing's too small, but I looked at mm. it and I said, and then I said oh, that's why, they, that's why they're performing so well. It's cubic zirconia. It's glass. Oh, that's less exciting. That actually, it's quite disappointing for the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, to put some glass behind some more glass in a museum. <laughs> what are they playing at? But I'd stopped, so I thought I may as well pay more attention to this exhibit. There was exhibit one right at the top. It was a tourmaline necklace. These were the ones that had caught my eye. But in the middle was a trio of just three citrines. And this was the first time I had ever seen a crown of light cut applied in gemstone material. And I have never forgotten this moment in 14 months later. And I'd never heard of the crown of light at that point. So I started researching. I went back to my cubic zirconia. I said it was loaned by the Crown of Light Company. Who are the Crown of Light Company? I started researching who the Crown of Light Company are. And I learned that this is a patented cut. Now, the crown of light cut, protected by patent. The only people I know who have got a patent on their cut is Glenn Lehrer for his Taurus, Rudy Robito for his snowflake when it's performed on a diamond. They're the only two cuts that I know that have been given a patent. Because for a patent to be applied to a cut, it has to prove, incredibly difficult thing to prove, has to prove it has innovated and, by law, moved the jewellery industry forward in a major step. This is the crown of light patent. Take a look at this. To be granted a US patent for a diamond cut is a very rare feat in the industry. The only time patents are approved is when a diamond demonstrates a significant change in performance or shape. The Crown of Light achieved both, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. There it is. Patent. Undeniably, that is the US Patent Office saying, hang on, this is a huge leap in the history of diamond cutting. This takes Marcel Tarkovsky's diamonds and they outperform objectively. Would you like to see in laboratory conditions the old way and then the new? Take a look at this. What I've got here is around brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's the old way. That's every diamond you've seen before. Wow. This oh is the goodness. new. Oh my goodness. Look how much more return of light you get. You get more fire, you get more brilliance. Yeah. The, there are a few moments like this in history where you say everything that came before, no matter how beautiful it looked, it can't help but look inferior to the crown of light. This is extraordinary. This is innovation right now. It's history making. And this is the first time the crown of light has ever been offered to jewellery makers in the UK market. First time ever. I know that because up until we got involved, this was exclusively a diamond cut. You can go to the crown of light company, you can buy their diamonds from them. I, if you're in the market for diamonds, I highly encourage it. But you know that our expertise, of, this area of expertise is coloured gemstones. So I said to our team of cutters, you made the Taurus ring possible. You successfully 
took those drawings for Snowflake Diamond and made Rudy Robito Snowflake available in Coloured Gems. I need you to do your magic again. 13, 14 months later, we stand ready to unveil for you the difference, the difference of the Crown of Light cut in Coloured Stones. Let me share with you, I'm going to be really honest, every round brilliant you've ever bought from me, do not stand it toe to toe yeah. against this gem. It is quite simply not fair. Let me show you why the Crown of Light is so special. Wow. Have we ever witnessed... I, I want to share with you side by side the comparison of what the Crown of Light can do. Oh, my goodness. Here it is in jewellery, if you, you with jewellery makers... That's what the round brilliant, that's what your jewellery used to look like. Look how much more saturated the crown of light delivers. There's your citrine. I'll show you right now your citrine. Round brilliant cut. That's what it used to look like. This is what the citrine now looks like in the crown of light. There they are. It, it is a huge leap forward in fire, in brilliance, in colour saturation. Every metric we have of valuing a gemstone, these are more valuable by having the wow. crown of light facet applied to them. It's absolutely astonishing. Yeah. It really... This is the next stage in the evolution of lapidary. It's the next stage, and I can't wait to share this with you. We've got a selection of gems, lots of different colour types for you, so that you can be crafting jewellery before this becomes the next big thing. You'll be making the jewellery before H. Samuel will unveil their Crown of Light collection. You'll be making the jewellery before Goldsmiths, before F. Hines. When you have such a, a break with the past, they cannot continue to offer the round brilliant when you have the crown of light because it's just going to outperform it in every single way. That's why I say this is a step into the future and inviting you right now, jewellery maker, to step into the future of gemstone cutting with me. The Crown of Light is different from the more common round brilliant due to one key difference. The amount of light reflected from within the stone is exactly the same as the conventional round brilliant, but the difference is the way in which the light is reflected. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, compared to the single reflection of each light beam in a round brilliant cut. This is what creates the Crown of Light's intense sparkle, giving an increased performance for each beautiful gemstone cut in this unique way. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. The Crown of Light, here it is. This is the unveiling. Ross, I'd like to kick off with that, if I could, please, with the largest Crown of Light that has ever been faceted for you. This is the largest size we've ever been able to do. I went in your head, you to think of a sky blue topaz. Think of it right now. Got those real pastel hues, lovely color, lovely brilliance. But pastel is the key word here. Take a look at this. Wow. Have you ever witnessed sky blue do this before? I really doubt that you have. This, you've got sky blues in there. You've also got London blues in there. Yeah. You've, got, you've got extraordinary, extraordinary Swiss blues. Because of the crown of light, it's locking the light in longer into the gemstone. This is your moment. The problem is, by the way, I've got about four chances. That's it. We only yeah. cut four of these. Okay. Getting rough of this size was extraordinary. Oh it's a deeper cut, so you need much larger rough to be able to form it. Ross, I'm happy. Let's open our phone lines. We're going to open our phone lines. We only have four chances available. This is the global unveiling of the largest 12 millimeter, the largest piece we've ever cut. It, I mean, this is literally, it's like taking out of a museum. Uh, we could go and put this in that GIA museum. Gosh, it's astonishing, Jake. Absolutely astonishing. That's, wow. I'll literally hold it against the hand in a few moments' time for people. Just to, that exclusivity, Jake, as well, yeah. to be able to say... You know, you're owning the largest sky blue topaz cut to date oh, in the world. That amazing. Ross, I'm going to kick this off, please. This is one of our more considered pieces. £900 to start. And you can hear me off. Seriously, seriously, 
imagine being the custodian of something like this, that moment in history. Well, we you know the GIA, the GIA, the GIA putting this in, we know the GIA putting this into museums. We know this is the future. You can't have something that is so, so much better. The next stage in evolution in the world of gem cutting. This is so, by far and away a step up above everything that's ever come before. Well done, Manchester, who has secured wow. the first of just four of these. Ross, straight down, please, £199. Pardon? 199 199 I haven't even pounds. looked at the, at the, at the course. 899 to me. Were, you know, Wow. Uh, this is, this is, I think when you get this home, you'll realise you now have, you now have in your collection something that no one else, oh you can be crafting the first pieces of Crown of Light jewellery in the UK jewellery market. Wow. I can see you, Susan, a maker in Wiltshire's just taken the second. I've got, I've got a bit in Essex, Susan in Norfolk, Soraya, a beautiful name in Kent, an anonymous investor in Sussex as well competing for this. We have not got many of these, members. only cut four of them in this size. We've got one chance remaining, and this is, you can do it right now, £199. I'm assuming there is, a, a, you know, considerably more facets in the Crown of Light. Yeah, it certainly only, has just, that appearance. I've actually just put my whiteboard away, but... What you'll find with a, with a round brilliant, you have. I'm just going to try and focus if I can on the top of the gem. Terrible drawing. You actually have, and this was this was the great innovation with the crown of light here. So really quickly, oh, is that one sold out? Okay, sold out. Well, sorry. While I talk through this, can we show the white topaz? You want to talk uh, about diamond-like? You want to uh, talk about diamond-like? I've never brought you a 12 millimeter diamond. I'm never going to bring you a 12 millimeter. Oh. Diamond. Have a look at this. This is extraordinary oh, my word. in its scale. The fire, the dispersion. Now, this is the only other gem that I've got that's going to that's going to cross over nine carats. Nine carats. My goodness me. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh. It's huge. Let's open our phone lines. I don't want anyone to miss out of this unnecessarily. Here it is. There will be jewellers getting involved in today, by the way, because no one else in the UK jewellery industry has had an opportunity on this. Oh yet. my goodness. How? Seriously. Look, we told you this was the future. Oh my We're goodness. stepping into the future. Oh, sorry. Would you move this, just move this out of the way of your diamond? Let's have a look at your diamond. Yeah, please do. Right. And then you've got this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's literally. I'm standing, the, I'm standing a topaz toe to toe with a diamond. I'm seeing more fire coming out of the topaz. Al, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to knock your diamond, by the no, way. No, not at all, but it's true. I, I, I'm isn't seeing it? more diamond, more, more brilliance coming out of this than the diamond. I'm seeing more fire come out of this than the bright yeah, diamond. Massively so. By every single metric, this is knocking the diamond out of the park. It's the largest one that we've got. I'm going to start this one off, please, Ross, at £995. Oh my goodness me. Have you ever seen anything more, anything more mesmerizing? It just plays with light, Jake, doesn't it? What this does with light is extraordinary. I'm just going to try and draw a little uh, demonstration before we crash one more time so that everyone can understand the science behind the patented award-winning cut. Look at that. Okay, if we come over here, Ross, Ross, this is what Talkovsky did. Okay, he said, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tweak this bottom part. Let's just look at this bottom part. Mm -hmm. But crucially... If you look at the old difference, old European cut has got triangles, kites, triangles. Tarkovsky, triangle, kite, triangle. All his innovation was down here. It was proportion based. Mm. It was looking at this. But he never thought to reimagine. This is the innovation. He never thought to reimagine. Pavilion, done. But the girdle, he kept the girdle almost identical in form to the old European cut. A hundred years on, here's where the innovation comes in. We said, we're not just going to have one tier of facets. You've got triangle, kite, triangle, one tier. If you look at this one, we actually have, if I do the girdle so everyone has a sense of where we're at on this one, you actually have one tier, two tier, three, wow. three 
tiers of facets. That's how much extra you're getting with this. All this extra brilliance, all this extra light. Why is this dark? Why is this Topaz outperforming Elle's clearly important investment in her engagement ring? Why is it outperforming? Because no other diamond, everything, everyone gets this treatment. Everyone gets that treatment, that's fine. So you all get one tier of crown facets. No one else gets three tiers. All of that extra work, we should be staying at 995. Ross? Ross, take me down to 149 pounds, please. 149? Oh my goodness me. What a moment in history as well. And that's the thing, that, that is how significant today's yeah. show is. It's a moment in history. This, this is, no, I, I can think of very few times in the jewellery industry we go, right, okay, now we had the past, we had the round brilliant is the past, mm. now everything that comes forward is the future. You cannot get better than the crown of light, or maybe it's going to take another 100 years to do so. Look at the fire, look, you've got a topaz. See all those reds coming through yeah, this? Yeah, All those blues, this is dispersion happening for you before your very eyes. It's incredible to witness. I see you, Antoinette. I see you, Victor Victoria. I see Susan. I see Soraya. I see Morag as well. Valerie, Hansa, Linda. This is your chance to do it. Do you know what, Ross? We've got lots to get through. I'm just going to give people a little bit of a nudge. Jamati's just joined the phone line. Jamati, don't worry. There is a bit of a wait on the phone lines. I understand that. We're going to take it out of an unchecked out basket for you. Jamati, hold the phone. Ross, take another 20 pounds wow. off for me, please. hundred, seriously, 129 pounds. It's, it's huge. It's the future. This is the future it's, of the gem not, industry. We're not talking about a small stone here. This is at nine carats. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Nine carats. It, it's nine carats. It's flawless. It's natural material. But it's all about, it's all about possessing that, the, the first pieces. That you be the earliest jewellers in the UK market and beyond, by the way, the mm. earliest jewellers in the UK market using this material. Do you know what? I'm a big fan of round numbers. Ross... Oh. Let's put it split pay under £30, please. I know we don't have to. Put split pay under £30. Let's go another £10 off. That's going to push our split pays under £30. Amazing. I see Victoria's multi-buying on this. I see Soraya's multi-buying. Well, are, you, are you making some of those standout studs that oh, have ever oh, been Oh, wait. Do you know, great minds. I, I was just about to think the same. Should we, should we try it? Should we imagine? Shall we imagine? I mean, you're going to see it from metres away. Don't drop, right it, don't drop it, L. Don't drop it, L. Don't drop it, L. Please don't, Al. <laughs> we only cut about 10 of these. Oh, my goodness me. Can you imagine? Genuine gemstone. The future of the world's cutting as well. That's why it's outperforming diamonds. I'm going to have to say that's sold out there. Oh. I'm so sorry. Incredible. Absolutely um, incredible. Ross, now, remember which gem caught my eye? Which is the gem where I looked at this and said, that's the future of the, of, of the gem cutting world. It blows away Marcel Tarkovsky's. It was in the museum, locked away behind glass. I saw just three citrines. Wow. They were the only coloured gems that had ever been cut in this style. Think again. I want you to think about your citrines. Think about what you know about citrine. Imagine a beautiful pastel colour, or wonderful at summer. Now take a look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is the same gem material. It's the same citrine you know and love. The difference is in the cut. You are getting three tiers of facets where you previously got one. Look at this. It oh. looks like a sphalerite oh. on the hand. You're going to have to get involved quickly. Just don't open phone lines. Don't open phone lines. Take a look at this. This is why I fell in love with this cut. It's incredible. 14 months ago, it captured my heart. This is your chance for it to capture yours. Now, I'm going to warn you, I've got about half a dozen of these. Ross, let's open those phone lines straight away. We cut seven chances. OK. Yeah, seven. Seven chances, just like those others. It is a 12 millimeter piece. This is your chance. You're going to have to be quick on this one. I'm just thinking in my head, Jake, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like, you know, this is like that moment in history where you go, OK, so I'm one of the amazing lucky custodians that would have been, I assume, royalty previously, yep. that owns the first of its kind, yeah. you know? You well, know. Think about it. If you were in the early 20s, in the Roaring Gatsby era, yeah. and you were one of the first people to own a, a Tarkovsky cut diamond, yeah. Amazing. That's a huge amount of pedigree, a huge amount of provenance in that collection. If you were in the, if you're in Europe circa 1750 
and you're one of the first people to own, a, 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 and they usually were cut in Antwerp, an Antwerp cut diamond. Yeah. Huge amount of provenance getting it one of the first old European cuts. This is your chance to get the future of the gem cutting world. The first crown of lights that I know of that have made their way to the UK market. Ross, 995 to start us off. I'm not stopping there though. I've already got an anonymous investor, maybe a jewelry maker in London, Hatton Garden, who's picked this one up. I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised. Word is clearly spread about Mary and Devon's got hers as well. That gives me five more chances left. I can see Linda, Louise competing for it. Mikey, Moira is trying to get two. Moira, you're going to have to check out if you want a pair of these. Mikey is involved in this one as well. Good to see you, Mikey. Do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to do the first thing I can. I'm just going to match the previous price I was at. I know I had more chances. Ross, £119, please. We're going to put this £30 on split pay. <laughs> Ross has gone, that's crazy. This is the best one. I know it is. This is the <laughs> one that captured my heart in the GIA. Which, you, you know, you, Jake, you said earlier on you saw the best gemstones, best carts, you know, all these things, but that, this made you stop. This is the in exhibit your where I stopped and said, if what, this is the future. This is the future yeah. of the gem cutting world right here. This is what is going to displace and replace the round brilliant cut. And that seems, that seems so crazy as a statement to say, hang on, that's the cut that's been our bread and butter for a hundred years. Yeah. It's the, it's the cut where we go, it gives yeah. you the most brilliance. Oh, you've got to stop saying that, right? That's sold out, I'm so sorry, that's Amazing. gone. Amazing, Amazing. Oh, sold right, out. yeah. Um, oh. Ross, I, 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 did, I did say that one looked a little bit like a, um, like a sphalerite. Mm-hmm. You want to see an explosion of colour? I don't oh my goodness! Anything. We have not witnessed. <gasps> we have not witnessed a gem do what this is about to do. Take a look at a gem. Oh, we did the first show. We did here on Jewelry Maker, the global unveiling on Pampadasha Court. And by the way, our customers keep asking for this stone. Well, we, we can't get it at the minute, and I'll explain uh, why. I'll explain why because you go hang on a quartz crush can. No, no. Take a look at this. This is the Padpagracha Quartz wow. in the Crown of Light Cut. The Padpagracha Light, you've never seen this before. It's seven carats. Take a look at this. This is just Oh something my goodness, else. there's flashes of pinks. Oh my goodness. This is something else. The Crown of Light in the Padpagracha Quartz. Now again, I need to let you know, I've got about 10 chances on this one. Just, I, I know, you know, we all know, it's just not enough, okay? Uh, but it's all I could do. We're gonna open those phone lines straight away for you. You're gonna have to be quick. This is, in my view, this is gonna be one of the fastest selling ones. We've not yeah, seen this here in a long so. time. Now, the way so. this is done, it's using a really innovative, innovative technique. There's an inventor, probably a bit like an alchemist, um, in Jaipur, his name is Manoj Goyal, a good family friend. Uh, and Manoj uh, took on his father's business, which was jewellery making, uh, but he re his passion really is science. He developed, he pioneered himself. There's a two minute wait on the phone lines already. I'm so sorry. P Pamela in Durham, Jamati, you will get picked up. We're going to take it out of unchecked out baskets for you. You've got to get involved early on this one or you're going to miss out. He developed this thing and basically he turned, if you think about how a gemstone forms, it gets its colour through the presence of atoms that mm. penetrate the atomic matrix of a gem mm -hmm. as it's forming. So when it's still liquid, they're entering the chemical structure. You can't do that with a gem once it's formed. It's solid. You can't get into it. You can coat it if you want, but you can't get into the gem because it's a solid gem. Manuj, he said, those rules don't apply to me. Physics, pa! <laughs> he takes those same elements that would, that, 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 that would colour gemstones naturally he turns them into a plasma. I don't understand this. Sounds like Star Trek. Fires the plasma through the gem. And then it, those elements get picked up. Like, uh, imagine, imagine a sieve capturing larger objects. Those elements get picked up by the chemical structure of the gem. It's just extraordinary. It's the cutting edge of science, unfortunately, because it's literally, he's the only person on the planet to do it. When his machine breaks, it breaks for two years and there's no way of fixing oh, it. Oh, so that's why. So right now there's no Papadasha quartz coming out. That's why it's just, it, it's done. Um, Ross, first crash on this one. 995. But I'm planning a little bit something special on this one, Ross. Oh, okay. I'm going to do something a little bit different. 
We've never witnessed, we've seen these gems before, we've never witnessed them like this because of the crown light cut. Ross, I'm gonna get a 60 second clock if I can. This is gonna be my first star buy of the show. My first star buy of our show. Look at that. Why am I putting 60 seconds on screen? I, because there's two types of people. There's Mary, there's London who's bought two, there's Jay Marty, there's Linda, there's Soraya. They're, they're like, look, I trust you, I recognize this is gonna be crazy. I'm getting involved early doors. There was other types of people, Lorraine, Penny, you at home, who are going, no, no, I really would like to see what, what price it goes to before I commit. It's absolutely fine. Everyone's paying the final price, so I, I don't mind. So if you like to queue, don't dial now. Wait 30 seconds, I promise you we'll get a nice big queue for you. If you like to risk missing out, if that kind of gives you a buzz, the stress of it, mm. don't dial now. In 20 seconds, I promise you, you can have the stress of missing out, okay? If you don't like those things, by the way, now is the time to act, because you don't save any money. It all, everyone pays the final low closing price. I'm just giving early adopters the chance to avoid the queues. I'm giving those who don't like the queues, don't like the stress, I'm giving you the chance to avoid it right now. But it's a five second window, because this Pad Pradacha Quartz from the Brazilian interior. Ross, 99.99, wow. please. You've, milestone. A milestone that, you know, I was Crashing never the expecting pounds. any of these stones to reach. They should, I mean, look at the performance My, of colour. Yeah. We've never witnessed, this is genuine gemstone material and we've never witnessed something like this before. No, absolutely, uh, no, incredible, incredible. You know, something so beautiful, but so monumentous in history You know what's happened? Well. Soraya thought we were, we were staying over £100. She's straight away gone, uh, do you know what? I had bought two, I'm now buying four. I don't so blame Susan you. Susan has done that. Mary's there, London, Jamati, Linda. Now in terms of waiting, Susan's there as well. Look, these are going out. Look at the split payments as well. I mean, the, how amazing to get something so incredible. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering, Jake, this outside as well, natural light, you're gonna see all that. Oh my gosh, gemstones, natural gemstones, gemstones that aren't lab created. Natural gemstones love natural light. That's the, that's the environment they were born, they were made to, to exhibit in. Now we've got just three chances remaining on this one. You can do it, Penny, you can do it, Lorraine, you can do it at home as well. Think of the value for money you're getting. No one has seen this cut in the world before. In a few years time, because the jewelry world is a slow beast. It's a, <laughs> it's a plodding elephant. So you, you know, you're not gonna see the crown of light in jewelry stores next year. You're not gonna see it in the year after but you will start to see all their buyers were there and they're now gonna, they're now gonna take it back to their team. Count now, Pamela, Pamela, don't worry, Pamela's in about a 30 second way, don't worry, Pamela, uh, because we're gonna take it out of an unchecked out basket for you. Now, but in three, four, five years time, you'll start to see this enter the jewelry world. Oh, and the goodness. problem is when you sit a round, brilliant diamond, this is, this is what all the diamonds in the jewelry world, in those windows, those beautiful sparkly windows with all that expensive lighting they put in, this is what the diamond looks like. Mm -hmm. It's here. Now imagine that same display, those same lights, and you sit a crown of light next yeah, to it. Yeah, well, yeah. Goodbye, round brilliant. Yeah. Goodbye, round brilliant. It's done. It's finished. No one's buying a round brilliant anymore. It's all about the crown of light, and you can be one of the first jewelers in the world to be working with it. Oh, my goodness. I think we're down to the. There we go. You can see. I'm Literally going to sweet. call this a sellout Lincoln shirt. When you confirm, this will be yours and that will be everything. Wow, how utterly incredible. Okay, now I've um, got to warn you, this is my final 12 millimeter. Okay. I am so uncertain about even bringing this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is one of the largest certified natural, but I'm not even going to tell you what gem it is. Have 30 seconds just to look at this gemstone. I want you, you to message me. You tell me what this gem is. Quad A, triple A, hello, this is, I'll tell you right now, this is not uh, one of Manage Goyal's specialties, okay? This is not, this is a gem you know and you love. You probably often don't see it. It's very unaffordable usually. What is the gem? Message me. I'm gonna bring any guesses live, please, Ross. I wanna hear from you. And can we just get a 30 second clock? This isn't our time to act. Don't dial now. Don't dial now. Don't panic now. This isn't your time to panic. I'm giving you 30 seconds to just appreciate the gem. What is the gem? Message live in the studio. Ross, I wanna hear any and all guesses. Let's have a look. 
Purple Quartz from Montezuma Mine. No, Caroline. Good guess, but no. Uh, that is, that's, oh, is it's yeah. actually irradiated to get that colour. This isn't irradiated. Jane in Gwynedd, 10 seconds ago. Is it Tanzanite? Lorraine, Tanzanite. Uh, Ross, Ross, Bengal Lila. It's not I like Bernadette. I'm just going to give a little call out. So those of you who think it's Tanzanite, what grade would you give it? If this were a Tanzanite, what grade are we giving it? Oh, it quite. may be a Tanzanite. It may be a Tanzanite. Glenda, again, Tanzanite. Tanzanite, Tanzanite, Tanzanite. Everyone's telling me it's Tanzanite. What grade? What grade? Quad, all day long. Okay. Quad A Tanzanite. 12 yeah. millimeter quad A Tanzanite. Oof. Uh, have you got about 8,000 pounds? Not currently, no. Okay. No. Uh, Double quad yeah. Tanzanite. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jane. yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, Jane, plus, yes. Plus. Jane, my team have cut nine of these. Lorraine, my team have cut nine of these. Ricky, my team have cut nine of these. The bad news. There is not. The good news. It is not Tanzanite. Because if it were, we wouldn't be able to afford it. Yeah. But it's performing exactly like one because of the crown of light. It is, in fact, amethyst from the booty mine in Morocco. It is wow. more blue than purple because this is what the top gem amethyst looks like. I've shared this with you before from Richard Wise. This is like that deep, deep, deep Siberian color. We're going to open phone lines. My team cut nine of these. If you want the look of a quad A, you want the look of a double quad A, you want the look of a, I think there were six A's and then plus, 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 plus. We cut nine gems. These are already going. You've never witnessed. This is a natural gem. And like the 95% of amethyst out there that's heated, this hasn't even been enhanced. This is just, this is just, this is just the tan tanzanite. I'm saying it now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is just the amethyst. 100% oh, of Mother Nature intended. Oh my goodness me. It's incredible. Massively over-allocated, Jake. Hugely, hugely over-allocated. In fact, it's going to be a sellout imminently. Ross, this is our final one. This is our final 12 mil piece. I'm going to do something I absolutely shouldn't do. Oh, what? Sorry, it's already sold out. Ah, right, OK. Um, do you know what? Match the price then. 99.99. Huh? Still going to do it. 99.99. We should go higher. It's a natural gem. Yeah. Um, Ross, people missed out on that. lots of people missed out. 44. Mm. I don't have enough to make up for that. I'm so sorry. But I do, Ross, have a 10 millimetre. Yep. Can we... Uh, 10 millimetre amethyst. Everyone who missed out, hold the line. Don't even hang up. Tell the contact centre no. Stay on the phone to me. Add this one to my order. It's a 10 millimetre. The quality, though. Look at the quality. Not missing a beat by one moment. Take a look at this. You are still looking at this and going, hang on. Triple A, quad A, hello, absolutely. Oh, this goodness. is natural amethyst from the Booty Mine in Morocco. Ross, let's get those phone lines up. We're going to open those for you. This is your chance right now. The code, by the way, is oh. JBCI04. Tell the contact centre. Add it to my phone, add it to my order. Juliet Bravo, Charlie Indigo 04. The phone lines are now open. This is the Moroccan amethyst in that... I mean, look, we've never it's seen a performance like this. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? If you're one of the 44 people that missed out previously, now is the time to but The problem is, we, we cut... So you said 44 we missed. Yeah. We only cut 24 of this. Oh. So even now, I, I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, everyone who dialed last time, you will be successful this time. I can't. You've got about a one in two chance. That's if everyone just takes one. A jewelry maker in London has just taken two. And Barbara, I'm not talking about you. Barbara also lives in London. She's just taken two. Amazing. We've got makers in Devon involved. We've got Janice in London. So many of you are confirming straight away. It's the right thing to do. Zoe, Victoria. Now, I'm going to start on this one. I'm going to start on this one. Oh, wait, I've just remembered. At £495. Yeah, that's incredible. And I stand by that. Every day of the week, I absolutely stand by this. Absolutely incredible. But we are not finishing anywhere near here. I just want to reassure everyone. In fact, I'm going to make this the most affordable of the show so far. Ross? Straight down, please. 
79.99. Good luck getting involved. Even if this was a traditional cut of, of Moroccan amethyst, that's an amazing deal. Oh my god! Yes, to be fair, you know, it, in the round, brilliant. Even if it and was in fact, a Ross, can I show cut. the difference between I've done this material in Moroccan amethyst yeah. and with uh, in the round, brilliant. For years, I cut the Moroccan amethyst in round, brilliant, and, and I'm not embarrassed to say the image you're seeing on the left. I love. I've loved that yeah. for years. I've sold you that proudly. Mm -hmm. But it, look at the one on the right. Until, until you see it, it's in the shadows, isn't it? Until you see it. You can't even imagine it. You can't no. imagine how it gets better than the one on the left until you see the yeah. one on the right. This right now is the difference of the crown of light. I'm so pleased you're able to pick this up. Come and have a little walk with me, by the way, because it's not just you. I've got Victoria in Kent. Oh, sorry, I've got a message from Ricky first. Uh, Ricky's message in. Jake, this amethyst... Go on, I'll let you... This amethyst is absolutely out of this world. So bright, and the dispersion coming out yeah. of it is outstanding. Uh, Ricky, and that's, that's the great thing about this cut. Ricky says the dispersion there clearly knows his gemstones. What is dispersion? Dispersion is when light goes in and then gets broken apart. It's the fire, it's that rainbow of colour you mm. get. You only really get dispersion out of crown facets. Yeah. Now remember, we have three tiers of crown oh, facets. Yeah. Where the round brilliant cut only has one. You will get more fire. The round brilliant cut might be great for brilliance, but you don't get as much fire as you're getting out of this one. Amazing. But also, do you know what I'm thinking when I'm holding this, Jake? It seems to, what it does to the colour as well. Because the light is trapped in for longer. Yeah. So you get more saturation. Amplifies the colour as well. Ross, I'm going to say sold out wow. on this one. Amazing. Can we share the sky blue topaz? We've not seen this since the very beginning of the show. Oh, and I say that. sky blue, I'm going to say sky blue, it comes with a bit of a warning. This comes with a bit of a warning. It's not sky blue. My it is sky blue. The material is the same rough I use when we're cutting the sky blue briolettes oh. that we bring you, the rondelles that we bring you, the round brilliance that we bring you. But you t take a look at this and you tell me, oh yeah, yeah, that's the sky blue I know and recognise and love and have lots in my jewellery collection. This is something altogether different. We have half a dozen of these. The Sky Blues, by the way, they are the most rare of the whole collection. Let's open our phone line straight away, please, Ross. That's Big incredible. Well. Topaz weighs more. We know Topaz weighs more. That's why you get larger carrot weights with Topaz. Absolutely incredible. Devon has already picked up that there straight away. It's not a sky blue. It's not, it was a sky blue when it was in the rough and it was going to cut around brilliant. It was destined to be oh. a sky blue topaz. It's just not a sky blue topaz anymore. It doesn't look sky blue. It looks sky blue. You get some skies out of oh. this. And, and there they are. There's your skies. That's beautiful sky blues you get in there. Starting to see some Swiss blue kick in as well. But then when you start to see this in other lighting conditions, you see those London's kick through. Yeah, definitely. You see those Swiss kick through. It's extraordinary. Ross? Now, the topaz is almost always more expensive than quartz. We just know that's it. You know, there's death taxes and then topaz costs more than quartz. They're the three undeniable truths of the world. Ross? <laughs> it's just registered what you said. Start me at £500, please, on the nose. 500. Zero, zero. Seriously? Look at that. You'd notice this from literally metres away. And then I'm going to say, Ross, match the price, $79.99. Pardon? I know, I know. Even, even <laughs> he's Ross going, is grumbling going, at that. You cut less of them. The material costs more. Uh, I know it does, Ross, but we're just having fun this show. Yeah, absolutely. We're having we fun. Um, listen, if you are missing out, wish list, it is your friend. Wish list, because if, heaven for, if, if any do fall back into stock, then our call centre can call you. That's precisely what I'm going to be doing today. Precisely. Mark, sold out, yeah. Oh, that's gone. I'm so sorry. Moira in Perth. And, I'd have tried to give a bit more notice, but Moira picked up two of those straight away, pushing it to a sellout. Well oh, done, Moira. Amazing. Uh, I tell you what, let's stick with the world of Topaz. Let's go for the real diamond-like one. Absolute pristine, pristine, Completely clean material. Oh, I absolutely beautiful. love this. If, if we're talking about a cut that is a diamond patented cut, no one else in the world can do a crown of light diamond. You're just not allowed. It's protected mm -hmm. by US law. The cut doesn't cover coloured gemstones, but it, you do need a huge amount of skill to be able to go and transfer onto, onto taking a diamond pattern, reading it, translating it into a colour. And of course, 
the, 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 the facet angles you do on an amethyst will be completely different to the facet angles we do on a topaz. That's why our team is one of the few that can actually perform oh. this. We had Ricky talk about the dispersion. Can we show Ricky's message? And I just want to show Ricky's message. He was talking about the, he was actually talking about the amethyst. He said, amethyst is absolutely out of this world. It's so bright and the dispersion is coming, is outstanding. Let me, let me show you this now. Let me show, you want to see dispersion, Ricky? There you go. More like a London topaz with more dispersion. Disper Ricky, you like dispersion. Have a look at this one. Unbelievable. This is next oh level. Oh my goodness me. It is next level. Yeah. Jane, <laughs> Jane, you've got to pick your mouth up and you've got to pick your phone up. Right, let's open those phone lines now. I just want to be completely transparent. We cut less than 20 of these. Oh, it's, it's cut less than just 20 of these. Breathtaking, Jake. It's absolutely breathtaking. Fire, fire, fire. You will not get more fire than this. Every this is... fraction. Remember when I showed you what a diamond looks like, round brilliant versus a crown of light diamond? And the crown of light is just the next level. It's just the next level. This is what we're getting right now. It's unlike... I, I, I almost don't want to put the gemstone names on there. Because I forget what you know about those gemstones. It's all about the cutting here. Oh. L, I'm going to do so. And again, I'm no, really sorry. It's I, don't, all I, I, I think I'm being rude. I'm not I'm being rude. Not. You're not, you're not, you're not at all. And I It's just another level. This is historic. This is totally it, historic. Is. And that's why I say when you can cut a topaz and it and outperforms a diamond, you have to recognize history has been made and go, totally. okay, sorry, Ram, brilliant. You've had your time. You've had your 120 years. That's absolutely fine. Move on. Move Brand on. Brand of light is the future of the gem industry. It's going to take them about four or five years, I'd estimate to fully adopt it. But once they do, we'll never look back. Do you know, it's so funny. Uh, Tom and I were literally talking about cuts, obviously, ahead of today's show, last yep. night. And he was like, if you could have any cut, L, any cut, if budget wasn't an issue, what would you have? Do you know? And I, I obviously hadn't seen in no. person the it's kind okay. of light up until It's okay. It's not confession. It's not confession time here. No. What, what would you have said? What would I say? What, what, what did I say last night? Yeah. Asher. Asher cut. Yeah. That's what I said last beautiful night. Beautiful cut. I'm not going to knock it. It's a beautiful cut. And, it, and when, it arrived, when it arrived, everyone went, that's so different to the round brilliant. Yeah, I'll have one, I'll have one. But it didn't change the industry. No. It didn't change the industry. Ross, sorry, this is nearly sold out. 79.99, I'm so sorry, too busy waffling. Go straight down, Ross. No, but do you know what? I, 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 I would update that comment now. I would I think, update I think that statement. Because we have to recognise it's not different. The Asher cut is different. Yeah, it's quirky, this isn't is, it? This is quirky. Same outline. It's just better in every single, whatever so, yeah, metric absolutely. you're choosing. Is it brilliance? Is it dispersion? Whatever metric, reflection even. If luster is your thing, you have more facets, so you're going to get more luster. Whatever you choose to judge this on, it's going to perform better. Are you seeing the reflection as well? Are you seeing, like, look at the bottom of your TV monitor right now. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that beam of light, or is it just me? Can you see it by my finger here? Yeah, yeah. Made. Like, it's astonishing. That has sold out. Amazing. Well done. Ross. <gasps> Ross, I want to go back to the gem that started it all. Let's go back to the gem that started everything for me. It is, of course, the citrine. Remember, if I go back to okay. that museum, I talk about museum worthy. I'm not going to say museum worthy. It's literally there, yeah. locked away. You can go and watch, look at this museum, by the way. You can go and see it. If you're ever in Tucson, let me know. I'll tell you exactly where in Tucson this museum is. You can go and view this exhibit for yourself. There it is, locked away, citrine in the museum behind glass. Obviously, I've taken it off a poor quality phone, but have a look at this now. This is the gem that started it all. Unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. Never seen anything like it. Now, I, I only cut 12 of these. It's all I can do. It takes so much. Trying to cut three times more table facets. Yeah. The team itself. Remember, this is the same team that cut Glenn Lehrer's pieces. Even when we work with Glenn, Glenn's cuts are, what, 300 pounds? Mm -hmm. When Glenn does it in a studio in California, thousands, obviously. When our team works with Glenn, 300 pounds. It's the same team that cuts Rudy's. When we work with Rudy, that team, they cut Rudy's. That's, what, 250, 300 pounds? Yeah. We've got premium cutting going on right now. The same team. That's why the quantity is so limited. Of course, I'd want to bring you more. It's the challenge. The whole industry can't do this cut yet. Ross, let's open the phone lines. I've got 12 of these available. Just astonishing.
astonishing, absolutely astonishing. The colours, the, the fire, the dispersion. Ross, I want to kick us off cover. straight away. £500, I've told you, I've only got 12 of these. You're going to have to be quick. Make us straight away in there. Lorna's in there. London's in there. Make it is the first person to check out their basket. Absolutely the right. London's, London's not messing around. London's doing absolutely the right thing. They want two of these. So they've just gone two in their basket. They've checked out already. That means a quarter of the socks already gone. Susan in Lancashire, my home county. Susan, don't worry. You are on a wait on the phone. I don't want you panicking, don't worry. I'll contact you to the train. They're going to take it out of an unchecked out basket for you. But look at the citrine. It's unlike anything else yeah. you've ever seen. It's so hard to choose a favourite, isn't it? They're all yeah. unbelievable. Each one I've chosen for a very specific reason. This one, this was the original in my mind. Yeah. This is the first experience I ever had with the Crown of Light. I thought that's going to change the jewellery industry. You can see why. Ross, straight down, please, on this one. 79.99. 79.99. Seriously, that's... Oops, sorry, that's me just... Sorry, did I just move, knock it there? That's right, or oh, you're giving us like a pavilion view of the gem. And there you go. What you're, what you're, showing, what you're showing there, El, is you're showing the three tiers of crown facets. Look at that. You don't normally get that. You've got one, one set of kite facets there, then you've got another set of kite facets, then you've got another... Fa actually, El, sorry. Just re as slow as you can. I'm being so mean to no, you. No, no, you're not. Real I'm tight not. tweezer control. At slow as you can, right, you've got bottom triangle facets light up there. OK, and then as we go up, it won't be... Uh, sorry, just that one. Uh, go back a little bit for me. There, there you go, right? That, that, that crack. Oh. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Let me show you the what pressure. I'm trying to show. Yeah, I'll just show you. Because it's, hang on. This is a real high pressure. I feel like I'm on the cube or something. Like <laughs> um, right, okay, we're good now. Okay. If I can... We're looking at these areas. Because Round Brilliant has only got one tier of these facets, okay? Round okay. Brilliant's only got one tier. And that's okay. They've looked beautiful for 100 years. This is just more. This is just more than that. In fact, El, we're going to have to do it on the next one. I'm so sorry. You've just got it set up. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's sold out. It's okay. It's sold all out. Good. That's gone. It's all I'm good. so sorry. Pad Paracha. Oh, my word. Are you ready? This was the fastest selling piece before. Ross, do not open the phone line straight away. I need to give El a little bit of chance to set up on this one. But I'm going to show you the colour because, my goodness me, take a look this at this. This is something else. Oh, that's that sunset display. Absolutely beautiful. Just unbelievable. Are you ready at home? Got the phone in your hand. Got your finger poised over that buy it now button. Ross, open those phone lines on the largest and final remaining 10 mil pad Pradasha quartz. How amazing is this? How incredible. Ross, I'm going to kick us off straight away, 500 pounds. Now, what you're seeing straight away, look at how small the table facet yeah. is. That's the, t that's the top, top facet like there. You. The table facet, very small. By keeping that small, we lock the colour into the gem. Mm -hmm. um, Marcel Tarkovsky said that that should be about 53% of the diameter of the girdle. You can see clearly it's closer to 20% yeah. on, on this cut because this is 100 years of innovation. It's taking a major step in evolution. Look at that. And then let's talk through the facets then. OK, so El, as you rock this, just go really slow. For, you can start in the top view if you want. You can start okay. in the top view. I'm going to just try and catch them as you do it. So you've got the table facet that just lit up there. Then you see two tiny triangles light up. Now you get those, you get those, those, those triangles. Those triangles, uh, they're, they're, they're in the round brilliant. You can see at the top. Uh, if we just hold there for me, I realise literally I'm asking you to hold perfect. It's impossible. Um, that's our first kite facet. Now a round brilliant has only got one of those. Okay. But as we move, as we keep moving, you see more and more of those light up. In fact, actually, we just, there you go. That is your second kite facet lighting up and your third. You see the two of them right next to each other light up. We keep rolling round and then you see your final triangle facet light up at the end oh. there. Normally, in a round brilliant, that's literally just that whole journey, triangle, kite, triangle, done. You're getting brilliant. Ross, kick me off at £500, please. Is it oh, just sorry. me? Am I saying this wrong? But I'm seeing brilliance from a side profile. No, you, you will. You'll see brilliance from a side profile. How amazing is this? Ross, £79.99, please. Straight down. Oh, my goodness me. 
And imagine if this is this is one of those pieces. I'd be a selfish. I'd be I'd be selfish with this. I, it would absolutely be in my collection, and it would absolutely be on the hand, so I can keep I'm, looking at it. I'm going to warn you now. I'm going to warn everyone at home now as well. I'm not stopping here. Pardon? I'm not stopping here. In fact, it's the last ten mil we've got. I'm not going to stop anywhere near here for you, Patricia. I see you, Elizabeth. You're involved early. Linda, I can see you on the on, on the wait as well on this one. I'm not stopping anywhere near on this one. This is this is just a little treat for me to you today. Ross, are you ready? I just want you to brace yourself. It's quite a big cut I'm planning on this one. Final 10 mil. After this, we're going to go to 8 mil. Beautiful size, but if you want those larger gems, 10 mil, this is the final chance on this one. Ross, it is going to be a substantial drop. I just want you to be ready. You sat down, I think. There he is, coffee. Put the, put the coffee down. Yeah, don't want to spill it. All right, there we go. Ross? £20 back to Maker, £20 back to Mary, £20 back to Cornwall, Patricia, Elizabeth, fifty nine ninety nine, please, Ross. That's, that's just astonishing. Astonishing. It's astonishing. a 25% drop just like that. Yeah. In a world where everything else is going up in cost. When it's debuting. We're saying £25 down. You're wearing its debut, off. aren't we? I mean, how incredible is that? Yeah. You're one of the first people in, you know, on the planet to own... One of the first jewellers in Europe to work with this material. How exciting is that? You, you won't think of yourself in those terms, but that is what you are. You are one of the first jewellers in Europe to have an opportunity to work with this material. Well done, one and all, on this one. Amazing. Twenty nine ninety nine. seriously, on split pay. Seriously. Ross, not going quick enough for me. Let's go 49.99. Let's get those slip pays under 25 pounds. You know what I'm like? I, I just like I like fun shows. I don't want to be on I don't want to be standing here in five minutes' time still talking to you about this one. I've got so many deals to share with you. I mean 49.99 though. Ross? This took 14 months. Ross? No. Not going quick enough for oh, me. Thank goodness me, Jake. Are you all... No, stop now. 14 months. Ross? <laughs> 39.99. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness me. We get caught up in the excitement, don't we? you got to remember, live TV. Seriously. Jake, 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 39. 39.99 is unbelievable. I've got caught with up the in the The greatest of respects. I have got caught up in the moment. Though. Yeah, I was going to say, with the greatest of respects, what are you thinking? Yeah, no, that, I've <laughs> gone too far. I have gone too far. I have gone too far. Well done, everyone who's done that. <gasps> oh, I might take, if I, I'm going to take that deal off screen in a moment. That was silly. Yeah, I, I, yeah. it's all good. I understand it. We've all been there. Seriously. No, it's not all good though, is it? Not, it's not. not that much. Ross, Ross, yeah, let's take that away. Amazing. I've got, I've got carried away there. I don't know. Do why. Know, so, you, I'm sorry. I don't know why. You, your mum and dad used to say to you, didn't you? You've just got to take it too far, haven't and you? I, I always was that person. <laughs> I always was that person. Um, Ross, <gasps> Ross, it has upset me that we've been a lot of people are missing out. I'm so pleased that we can now bring you some quantities. Ross, can I kick off with our Swiss blue topaz? Because we had Ricky. Can we show Ricky's message? Because Ricky, Ricky gets this. He understands this cut. And this is what Ricky said. Ricky said, look, we're calling it Swiss blue because the rough is the rough that you cut Swiss blue from. But the gem just doesn't look like a Swiss blue at all. T tell me, is this what you expect when you see a Swiss blue? Look at the range of blues you're getting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If you've got one of the 10 or 12, imagine this being the earrings. How beautiful would that be? Oh. I can't, I can't, it doesn't want me to get into this box. It... Well, they're all, they're, all, they're all brought along in precision secure boxes. Yeah, me. as you would expect with something like this. Um, oh my goodness me. Here it is. 
Ross, kick us off, please, at £300. Do you know, when, when we do begin to see the crown of light, you know, in your Beaver Brooks, in your Ernest Jones... Yeah, when we want to get its wider adoption by the yeah, industry. I mean, the reality is it probably won't be £300, will it? That's the reality. This is going to be considerably more because of, because of the excitement behind this new, uh, this new cut, this innovation. Start dialing in. Ross, I'm going to start our, our reverse auction from $39.99, which I know, he said $49.99, Jake, that's the right number, $49.99. $39.99, Ross, please. Straight down. None of these are the right number. Not one of these are, in my eyes anyway, it's fantastic for you guys at home. Just, a, I, I don't know about you, I, I look at this and think, okay, that's absolutely beautiful. It's innovative. It's new to the jewellery world. It's a hundred years, if you like, um, breaking through that mould and that barrier. Something so exciting, literally, it's displayed um, at Tucson by the GIA. And I can get hold of it for $39.99. Al, I've just seen we've had a bidder from Arizona on this one. You can go and see, it's in your home state, you can go and see this museum. They didn't have a single sky blue topaz in this cut. L, I'm feeling crazy. Ross, let's go under 30. 29.99. Um. <laughs> 29.99. And you know, I've got a really interesting story about Sky Blue Topaz and fancy cutting because, do you know, Rudy Wabito, 29.99. This, it, I'm about to tell you this story, and 2099 shouldn't happen because of the story I'm about to tell you. Yeah. Rudy Rubito once cut a, a, a wonderful, beautiful um, br briolette cut. Um, and, and, and by the way, I just need to let you know, there has been an explosion of interest at 2099. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, I, I'm not even going to talk about 2999 anymore. It's under £30. You know it shouldn't be. Mm. I'm going to tell you this story I know about Rudy. So Rudy did this briolette cut. Um, and he took it to a jeweller that used to buy, buy gemstones to make jewellery for the royal family. Uh, and it was Rudy, Rudy was like 18 years old. He'd cut this briolette cut. And his dad said to him, you'll never be a master carver, a cutter, until you can do a briolette. That's the, that's the gold standard. Do a briolette properly, then you can call yourself a master cutter. He took the, he took the briolette down to this jeweller, a load with, along with a load of his dad's stones. And the jeweller said, oh, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, that's a great briolette. How much do you want for it? Um, and Rudy went, no, 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 it's my first ever briolette. I, I'm not selling it. Went, no, no, you tell me. Come on, you tell me. How much, how much is it? How, 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 much, how much is the briolette? I, I want to buy it off you. And Rudy said, at the time, £10 a carat. Now, that was when Rudy was 18, so about 30, 35 years ago. OK. £10 a carat. And the, and the, the jeweller went, what? Why? Why, is it, why so low? And Rudy went, oh, well, you know, it's, it's sky blue topaz, isn't it? So £10 a carat feels about right. And that was 35 years ago, and the jeweller went, you're looking at this wrong. Your art, lapidary, adds value. Do not think of this as a sky blue. Yeah. Think of it as a Rudy Rubito Briolette cut. Think of it as a crown of light cut. Ten pound oh. a carat. That was 35 years ago. Ross. Oh. Sold out. No worries. Ross, take me to the white topaz, please. Okay. White topaz, please, Ross. So stay with the Topaz family. This is the end of the Topaz now. I love these. <laughs> it's so diamond-like. <laughs> it's so diamond-like, this one. It's Take a look at so this. It's so beautiful. This so every single time... Ross, Ross, the white Topaz has nearly sold out every single time we've mm. brought it. Because it is diamond-like. This is a diamond pattern, remember? Diamond pattern to cut. Crown of light. And you have the extraordinary size here. Eight millimetres coming in. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Abs... Oh... Just wow. Hang on. Beautiful oh. sight. It's really workable. You can easily make jewelry out of this. Seriously. Look at the performance. See how even when this size drops down, the quality of the cutting, if anything, it enhances. It does. Uh, it Su does. Supremely diamond like right now. Let's open those phone lines, please, Ross. I have got a few more opportunities of this one. And also, you know, Jake, this is so easy for our lovely uh, jewellery makers to turn this into high-end pieces of jewellery. Because this is eight millimetre. We do... Whoa, hang on. We do your calibrated mounts, etc., don't we? So 
But but for me, this would be one of those that I would take to, or I'd I'd speak to somebody here in the call centre and get a gold mount. Yeah, for ab me, ab absolutely. It's all I mean, personal choice. You're making you're making jewelry that no one else in the UK is making right now. Devon's got it. Devon knows the script today. Devon's mm. gone. Do you know what? I'm going to check out on three of these before I even know where we're going. Ross, start us off at three hundred pounds. Yes, please. Seriously, look at that. It's. I just keep saying astonishing. It, it is astonishing, and we're here with floodlights around us. Around us. Ross, I want you to crash to twenty nine ninety nine, please. Twenty nine ninety nine. And Ross, I'm not finished. <laughs> I am not finished here. Ross, I want to see a star buy. I want a 60 second clock and then we are going into a star buy price, okay? 60 seconds to give you a chance. Now I've got Anne, the JM in-house designer. Anne has just bought three of these. Come and let me show you where Anne is. You're going to have to be Amazing. quick though. Come and take a look over here. I don't blame Where's you, Anne. Going? Oh, there's, uh, there's Anne. Yep. It just keeps moving. If you see it moving, it's good. Anne's got three. Lucy's got two. Victoria's got three. Jamati's built a huge collection. Modern well Jamati. Linda, I'm just going to pop back up here. Patricia, Chantel, Maker, Jane. It moves because more people get involved. Muriel, Elaine, Brenda. Patricia's bought two. Let me show you this line here. This line. This is the line of fate. Okay? And if I'm about to show you your name, you're on the wrong side of the line of fate. You need to get yourself off this side. Suzanne. Maker, Maker, Jamati, Linda, Grace, Pamela, Maker. Now, I'm not stopping here. We're going to have a star by. No one is paying 29 I'm happy with 29 No one's paying 29 Our star by price is coming up straight after this. Told you that story about Rudy Rubito earlier. £10 a carrot. Ross, yeah, you make it happen. £26.99, please, Ross. We are now, even by a decimal point, tiny fractions under £10 a carrot. And at that oh. point, I need to say... Oh, my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I'll stop that. We've got £26.99 on screen. That feels unfair. I mean, I'm going to say this is... I mean... How beautiful are they? Oh, well, I'm, I'm Ross. Let's I go am to the gem that started it all. The citrine. Do you remember this museum display I told you about at the GIA Museum in in, in, in Tucson, Arizona? Do you remember the citrines that I saw? Here they are. There's the citrines. This is the gem that started my love affair with this cut. And here we have your opportunity. Yeah. In the eight mil, you are going to have to be quick on this one. It's stunning in citrine, isn't it? It, 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 it so brings out such a buttery yellow gold colour. Amazing. I love this one. Bear with. Because of the curve, those three, it, it's harder the, to catch. The girdle, yes, because the girdle, the, the angle between the, the, the girdle facet and the, um, the first tier of the crown facet. It doesn't it, lie straight. It, yeah, it's much more <laughs> acute, so it's harder. <laughs> so, sorry, thank you for your patience. Here we go. Oh, it's worth the wait, though, believe me. Oh, my word. Now, we have about half the quantity we had before. I hope you're ready. We're trying to give you as much line of sight on what's happening here as we can. Open those phone lines, please, Ross. It's stunningly beautiful, isn't it? And again, can you imagine these in stud earrings? Oh, my word. I mean, Perfect do, for the summer. To be honest, you're doing those kind of prices that's, that's, that's entirely well, possible. Well, we are. We're literally... This is a premium cut. Remember, the only team that I've got that can perform this is the same team who do yeah. Rubito. They're the same team who do Glen Lara. We're bringing you... Just like those, this is a patented diamond cut. Absolutely. No one can do this cut unless you have access to that patent. Because we're coloured stones experts... We've translated the pattern into coloured stone gem material. We've got Susan involved who's picked up a pair of these. Your earring idea, Al, is proving very popular. Mm. Devon's picked up two of these. London's picked up two of these. Do you want to know an interesting fact about this one? No one has bought one. 
No one. Stop. Everyone is buying two or more. Alison's doing exactly that as well. Ross, kick us off at £300. You, we all know we're not stopping at £300, but we shouldn't lose sight of the fact this is £300 jewellery. Oh, all day long. I would have expected more. You know, like I said, when the world, you know, uh, you know, when this is launched to the world, and you can imagine some huge marketing campaign, you know, oh, millions of pounds invested into it. Easily. It's not going to be £300, is it? Well, think about how much, how many millions the De Beers team go into marketing yeah. diamonds. They have a cut, which is the future of the diamonds now. The, 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 it's probably, it could well be the biggest marketing campaign ever performed, ever. Yeah, performed. I can see that. I can totally Ross, see that. Ross, straight down, please. Twenty six ninety nine. Don't be disappointed in me. I'll, 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 I'll give me I'm the not side. disappointed. Give me I'm the just... side eye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, but that's because, do you know, I'm also seeing my, the opportunity of me getting hold of these disappear, that's why, but I, I'm so excited. There have been so a record excited. number of sellouts in this show. Oh. And this one is racing there. We've got about 10 chances remaining, but that's split between Sharon in Lanarkshire, Muriel in London, Paul, Suja, Susan in Hertfordshire, Cheryl, Judith's there, and Anonymous Makers there. Do you know what, Ross, Twenty four ninety nine. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. Did you imagine that this was going to be, you know... This is, this is what I love doing. I love coming here, blowing your expectations, away. <laughs> seeing so many of you, seeing so many regular friendly names as well. Yeah. And what we're doing right now is we're showing you who has been successful in this, your fellow jewellery crafters What a there. day. What an amazing day. Because in preparation for today's show, I mean... We uh, I'm so sorry, Al. Susan in Norfolk just picked up the last well four done. of those in one sweep. Well done. So sorry. I know. Um, I now, I'm not going to open phone line straight away on this one. Not going to open phone line straight away. Again, I just want you to have a look at this. No pressure. Let's just take the panic out of the way. Because my goodness me. Yeah, if that were the quad A tanzanite that we were describing earlier on. We buy gemstones for how they look. Look at the blues. Yeah, we're it's amazing. On this. It's absolutely flashes amazing. of pink, violets coming through. These are the words we use to describe quad A tanzanite, not amethyst. Yet it is a natural amethyst from Morocco. It's because of the cut is locking the colour in that previously only quad A material has been able to deliver. Ross, can I just get 30 seconds? I'm going to warn everyone when we're opening phone lines. You cannot dial right now. Do not dial right now. We're not going to answer the phone call. We're not going to open the... We will not accept your order. Just take this time just to appreciate with no pressure. The pressure will start in 25 seconds. Just use this time. Look at those blues. Yeah. This is natural unheated material. All those quad A's you've loved, and lo you've loved and longed for, they were heated. This is unheated gemstone. The blues, the way they royal into flashes of pink. You get those lavender hues coming as well. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Your time to appreciate is over. Your time to act is now. Go, 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 yeah. go, go. Amazing. You could literally drive into these, couldn't you? This is the most sumptuous of them all. I you talk about gemstones you want to collect. You talk about gemstones you want to invest. It ticks all the boxes. It Has it got one of the most desired colourable palettes in the world? Yes. Yeah. Is it 100% natural? Yes. Has it got provenance that is completely unrivaled? Yes. Yeah. Because it is one of the first cuts of Crown of Light ever performed in the European market. How amazing. What an incredible achievement. Look at that. It's just, it's sheer perfection. Yes. It is sheer perfection. And again, here in the studio, you know, you're not looking oh, at Al, it at its most the beautiful. The phone lines. I'm not surprised. Just... <laughs> I'm not the... surprised. Uh, okay, if you can shop on the web, if you can shop in the app, Victoria's checked out on the app three of these. Devon's checked out on the app three of these. Moira's checked out on the website four of them. Susan's picked up four of them. More rags in there. Caroline, Janice, she uh, Cheryl, Elaine. And they're just the ones who I can congratulate. I cannot congratulate Susan in Norfolk. I cannot say well done to Kath. I can't congratulate Paul or Mary. Mary, or Patricia, or Trisha, or Lorraine, or Maker in Merthyr Tidville, or Susan in Lancashire, my home county. Susan in Norfolk's picked up five of these. Ross, we're going to have to go somewhere on this one. Start us off at £300. We all know we're not paying £300, but you need to start us there for a moment, please. Goodness me. Got to start somewhere, I guess. Uh... Ross? I actually, I don't even want to say this. I, I actually, I'm not, I can't bring myself to say it. 
I'm sorry, if you're watching, on, if, 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 if you're just listening in the background, you're not really paying attention, you're going to miss out on the price. I cannot bring myself to say this number. I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah. Please, Ross. <laughs> no one's going to say it. No one is going to say it. Um. The value, I'm not even going to talk about it. The value for a natural colour gem delivering this palette is just... Out of curiosity, if this were a quad A tanzanite, you know, we're saying that because of the similarities in how beautiful the colour saturation is. Uh, how much would this be, do you reckon? Okay, I just need to do a bit of maths. Uh, you've got a two carat gem. Wholesale, you're probably... I mean, if you're getting this kind of colour... Whole, what, wholesale or retail? Let's, let's, go, let's, let's go retail. Retail. That's relatable. Uh, isn't it? You probably... You're looking at probably three to four and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That's gone. It's sold out. Sold out. <laughs> uh, Ross, I've got one more eight mil if I could. It's it's a paparaccia and look at the saturation of this gem. It is on fire. What an opportunity this one's gonna be. Oh, this is this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stay put now. Oh. Ross, let's open those phone lines. Good luck getting involved in this one. Look, we've, it's an interesting, interest in this, in this show today because it is the world's global unveiling of coloured gemstones cut in a crown of light. We've got Dutch participants. We know there's a huge lapidary market in, in, in the mm -hmm. Netherlands. Yeah. We, 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 we've had bidders from Arizona itself, where the museum that I first encountered this cut is, is, is found, across the length and breadth of the United States and the United Kingdom. It's a global event this morning. Ross, kick us off at £300, please. I am feeling a bit naughty on this one, though. I mean, you'd be, I, I'd, I'd say it's been fairly naughty most of the morning, hasn't it? It has. And fun. And fun. Ross is now, he, he's, he, he, I said, we're not fun enough. He's taken us. He's like, no, that's <laughs> yeah, not fair, Jake. I'm going ice skating after this. <laughs> Ross? Well, hang on, Ethan went roller skating this weekend. Oh, roller, you, oh, did, oh. We're a hoot. Oh, on a boat? No, we're a hoot. I oh, said. we're a hoot. <laughs> Roller skating on a boat. Boat. That just sounds reckless. <laughs> um, Ross. <laughs> Ross. Oh. Uh. Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty pounds. Let's go. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. When, when I was preparing for today's show, Jake, never in my wildest dreams did I think this is been... bespoke prestige. Exactly. It was this is the future of the gem industry. Patented. This is 1999. You have to really challenge yourself why you can't get involved on something like this. Now. <laughs> this was displayed at Tucson yeah, behind a, behind a security glass. Yeah, this cut it is part of the GIA collection. This cut but never in this gem material. We've got Sheila, Susan, Jean. Jean's bought two, Susan's bought two. Deborah, I've got Martha Tidville. Linda's there, Jean's there, Sharon's there, Barbara, Cheryl, Wet Renfrewshire. Muriel's bought two, Patricia's bought two, Patricia in Middlesex, the first one was in Hampshire. Julie's there, Jane's there in Lancashire. Welcome, welcome. Cardiff and Lancashire, don't panic. You're, uh, currently, there's a two minute wait on the phone lines. Um, we're gonna take it out of an unchecked out basket for you, so don't panic. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. Seriously. This is 14 months in the waiting, Jake. And we're at 1999. Unbelievable. Well, it's not even, it's, it's beyond that, isn't it? This is years. Yeah. Years of innovation. Years of innovation on this one. Amazing. Uh, incredible. Good luck, everyone. Eight chances remaining. OK, we've got eight chances. Let me show you who those eight are divided between, because... We've got London, Anonymous Maker, Sharon. London wants to get two of these. Barbara, you're going to have to be quick. Sharon, we've got Maker in Cardiff, Susan in Lancashire, Karen in Manchester, Mary, Diane, Stella, Claire. The number, the, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ele eleven. What, eight chances between eleven people. And that's excluding phone callers. And so, you can you dial know, in yeah. right now if you want it. 
Exactly. It's first, or people multi-buying, which is completely... Uh, um... Ross, I'm going to leave that one there. Wow. Do, yeah, I wanna, uh, do I want to go blue or white first? Uh, I'm, lo I'm loving them both, to be fair. Do you want, Ross, let's go white. White topaz. White topaz. Six mil. Now, I am going to ask for a toe-to-toe -to -toe comparison. Yeah, no, 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 by all means. Cause probably like... going to be the last time I knock that incredibly significant piece of jewellery. <laughs> so, 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 like Do you know, this. listen. I don't know what's got into me today. No. Have a look at this, though, because... I get now... why you're doing it, and let's be honest, when my engagement ring was purchased, that this wasn't this available. This cut wasn't an option. It yeah, wasn't there. No one had even available. dreamt of this yet. But I am standing a topaz, toe-to-toe -to -toe against a diamond right now. I don't think this has ever been done on live TV before. Which one do you want? Um, look at how this literally just, oh, plays with light. Which has more brilliance? This one. Which has more fire? This one. Which has more clarity? This one. It, against every metric we judge gemstones on, this is outperforming. Ross, I want you to open the phone lines on what is going to be a very memorable moment because this, this right now, this is the moment the crown of light eclipses a like-for-like -like diamond. Ross, I also want you to put... Ross, I want you to put 100 quantity on screen. We have cut 100 chances of this. Are you serious? Are you serious? If you wanted an opportunity to get your new cut, this is this opportunity right now. Make it in Devon, pick it up four. Maybe you're going to make a sweet two pairs, a pair of earrings, pendant, ring. You want to make a tennis bracelet? We have six millimeter tennis bracelet mounts. Mm. Susan in Norfolk has gone and picked up four. Let me warn you, this one is going to go a little bit crazy. Yeah, I'm not. Susan in Norfolk just up to order to six. Did you forget about those bracelets, Susan? How amazing would these be as, as you know, your classic four prong stud earrings? I'm going to ask Ross to start us at 99.99. Good luck. You know, this is entirely possible at 99.99. You know, of course. Hang on, we've got a genuine gemstone, natural material. Genuine gemstone, natural material, in the next stage of evolution of gemstone cutting. Yeah. It'll be another 100 years before we replace this cut. Yeah. Another 100 years. Our in-house designers are getting involved, and you've got to check out your basket, otherwise it won't be yours. Ross? $19.99, please. 20 quid. 20 pounds for a premium cut topaz. Just By the way, in-house designers put, bought two of these. I don't, I don't blame and, you. And we're not finishing here. <laughs> oh, my God. Margaret, we're not done here. Pamela, I'm not finished. Lanarkshire, Barbara, Giamatti, Moira, Victoria, Valerie, Kath, and so many more. We are nowhere near done. This is not where I want to finish. Oh, my goodness me. They are utterly spectacular, aren't they? Look at the, look, can you see the reflection on my ear? Literally from the dance of light with, uh, Jake, this is absolutely amazing. Can we show, I'm so sorry to do this to you. Can we show one more time? Of course. Toe to toe against, against your ring. Look at this. Foot, more fire, more dispersion, amazing. more clarity. It's more, more, more. When you have, evolution is about getting the same thing, but better in every single way. Yeah. This is the next stage of evolution in gemstone cutting. You can be a part of this moment. Ross, I'm going to ask for a 60 second clock before I do my huge crash. That is 60 seconds for you right now to work out. Do you want to be in a way? Do you want to miss risking out on this one? Half the stock's already gone. I'm nowhere near finished on this one. You're crashing from 19.99. I'm crashing from under 20 pounds on this one. If you don't, if you want to wait, you want to risk missing out, 
my advice is just wait 41 more seconds for me. Then you, yeah. can, then you can miss out or wait as much as you want. If that stress is what you enjoy, do that. If you don't, because no one gains by that, by the way. You don't save money because everyone pays the final low closing price. Victoria's doing the right thing. She just picked up five of those. Margot oh, and Fife just picked amazing. up three. Very few people are buying one. You want to buy one, that's absolutely fine, but very few people are. We've got about a two-minute wait on our phone lines. All I'm doing right now is I'm trying to stagger our phone calls so the contact centre don't get overwhelmed by it. It's really a yeah. courtesy to our, to our partners in the contact centre. You have a chance right now, and I'm going to show you, if you've never shot before, I'm going to show you how to get involved because you need this information, and we are going to have another crash, not to £20, but from 1999. Here is how to get involved. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price and there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm a little bit rabbit in the headlights right now. I don't blame you. Look, we've got two full columns of names already confirmed. We've got a column of names trying to get involved. I did promise to price straight after, though. Contact centre, I am sorry. Ross? Sixteen at ninety-nine, please. That's another fifteen percent saving. If you talk about how things are going up in price by ten percent, we're going down in price by fifteen percent. Ross, please. That's that's. By the way, that's six pounds back to Lorna in five because she bought two. That's uh, twelve pounds back to Margot because she bought four. Savings across the board. Nine pounds back to Brenda. You can see multi buying, multi buying, multi buying. It's absolutely the right thing to do. But I'm also thinking, Jake, as well, you know, if we miss out on opportunities like this, and we've had some fantastic opportunities and quantities today, which has really surprised yes. me. But, you, know, you know, when, how long am I going to have to wait to purchase this moving forward? I can imagine it's going to be... I have no be... plans to do this, <laughs> this one again. No. This was really just a, can we do it? What? Oh, no. I'll, we'll have this chat afterwards. It takes a long time. It takes a long... I'll wait 14 months. Uh, no, I know, but it's, it's more about who can do this cut. Who yeah. Can, I'm not saying never, oh, I'm never saying never. Now. But Rudy Rubito, Rudy Rubito, the team of Rudy Rubito's cuts can do it. A lovely message here from Alison. I love the clean sparkle of Topaz. Yeah. And that is something so beautiful. It means I can buy a larger carrot for this beauty, but not for the marketing price of diamonds. Absolutely right, Alison. Mm -hmm. We don't want to pay De Beers marketing budgets. We want to play for the gemstone. Well done, Alison. We, now, we've got 14 chances, tw sorry, 12, I say that, I'm, I'm not going to read it out because whenever I say anything, it becomes out of date almost immediately. That's how quickly this was doing. But while there's a quantity there, you have a genuine opportunity. Amazing. I can't believe it. 16.99. Well done, everyone. Stella in Devon, I know you're <laughs> trying to get hold of three of these. You need to check out Anna, Frederick, you're also trying to get hold of three. You need to check out, I can't guarantee it, Antoinette's got two. More eggs trying to get two of these. You need to check out, we're building a third column of names. Well done, Anna and Frederick. Do you know what I'm going to say, Ross? I'm going to leave those last four there. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Now, oh. I'm going to bring you the final topaz I have. Final topaz I've got. Can you imagine? I'll tell you a design idea in a minute. We have, the problem is we have got less of these. I just want to be really transparent with you. Quite a few less as well. Take a look at this. Is not sky blue. Have a look at the colours that you're getting in this. You tell me, is this what you expect from a sky blue topaz? Looks more like the Hope Diamond. Yeah, it does. Got a Golconda blue edge to this one. We're going to open our phone line straight away, and we wish you the best of luck. Look at that. Absolutely astonishing. The curves. You saw how quickly the last one sold out. If you want to be a part of this one, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look after you on this one in, in a very, very similar way. Really? The finale of your topaz? Ross. Ross. <laughs> start us at 19.99. Let's just do it. Let's start there. 19.99. I have got another crash in store for you, but let's start us off at 19.99, please. Okay. 
final of the topaz it's a carrot. It's a carrot. in the carrot. Light. It's a one carat. It's actually the largest gem uh, remaining of the show as well. Wow. And I, I so see what you're saying. You know, it's that, the flashes of the hope diamond. You've got those beautiful sort of deep, intense colours as well. Yeah. As if we're starting here. Again, people, it's, it's a little bit like Noah's Ark on this one. Makers, Anonymous Makers got two. Morik's got two. Muriel's got two. Maker in Devon's got four. Susan in Norfolk's got four. Some multiples of two seem to be what every, every, everyone's flavour of choice in this particular auction. Ross, let's match that price. 16 99 Crazy. please. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I was just giving that a little polish because... I realised I must have put a fingerprint on. This is just beautiful. Use this time. Did you say this was more limited, though, Jake? It is more limited. We, we, we've got about two thirds of the quantity in the Swiss blue topaz. Okay. And am I Sorry, right? Sky, in officially, it's sky blue, isn't it? Because the material was sky blue before you cut it. There's a bit of a debate in the industry. This is causing debates in the industry because do you judge it before you cut it, or, or do you after. judge it before you have to? Or after you've judged it, you. By the way. Um, one design idea I had would be to alternate this with the whites. In a bracelet, can you imagine where you go from this oh, white topaz, the blues, white, blue, white, blue, just all the way through, very Santorini-esque colours. Ross, I want you on show for another 12 minutes. 14.99, let's make it happen. I've got three more gems I want to bring you, and I've got about three minutes per gem to do it. There's going to be a moment within this day where we think back at what's going on right now. Yeah. And... I mean, this shouldn't happen. This and you go, well, you I, did, I did the... I did I the <laughs> Just studs. Studs, you buy them out for what, £10? £10? Yes! £30 studs with the brand new cut of the, of the, of the time. It's an extraordinary opportunity. Do you know, do you know, do you know generally, Jake, all joking aside, this is why I'm so proud to be part of this amazing This is uh, what we do, isn't it? We, 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 we go, we, we don't always go to a museum, find the innovate, most innovative cut. No. Leverage our highly skilled team of, uh, team of, of, of cutters to, to sidestep the pattern and, and then bring you 14.99. It's not, I, I want to be clear, it's not what we always do, but we do always ask ourselves, not how high we can get away with, how low can we possibly go? Can we take go. it, yeah. Ross, I'm going to leave this one there cause just because we've got three more gems that I'm desperate to be able to bring you. Okay. Okay. Ross, can I see the amethyst, please? Just 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Don't open the phone lines for me. I just want to oh, see. It's so Look gorgeous. at the quality. Everyone says oh. we need mass for class. Everyone says, oh, you only get these big colours and the big gems. That's why you've never seen a quad A, six mil cut gem. Look at your screen right now. Ross, 30 seconds till we open the phone lines on this one. I'm going to do something rather silly on this one in 30 seconds time. Do you know, this might be my favourite, actually, of the... Uh, I, I really like this size. In um, in the amethyst. Well, it's so usable. It's so yeah. Usable. It's so wearable. Imagine twenty a seconds to go to open the phone lines. Stop dialing. I can see you dialing right now. You can't dial for this yet. I'm closing the auction until we have fifteen seconds. I mean, surely the blues that we're seeing right now. This one where you've got more prominent blues than any of the yeah, others. I You're agree. still getting those flashes of pink. You're still getting the flashes of purple. Yes, I am talking about an amethyst, not a tanzanite. It's crazy to think that. Ross, let's open those phone lines, please, straight away. Do you imagine two of these accenting a 12 or a 10 mil? Oh, my gosh. Literally on the shoulders. Oh. So it's the jewellery of dreams. This is what jewellery makers about, yeah. making the jewellery of dreams. Look at the quality of what you have here. Now, I'm going to crash in about 60 seconds' time. I'm going to look after you. Devon, straight away, I'm going to have five of these. Absolutely brilliant work. Susan, I'm going to have four of these. Janice, I'm going to take two of these. Muriel is about to take two of these. I like what you're doing there, guys. Ross, straight down on this one. I am not stopping at $14.99. I'm going to tell everyone that right now. I'm going to take this to the lowest price of the show. You're looking at the colour going, no. That is natural, Jake. Yes, but I'm taking this below $14.99. Francesca's just got involved, bought three of these. Victoria's got five. Morag's got two. You can see everyone. Muriel's got the two that I mentioned. She's now confirmed a checkout. Great work, Muriel. We are not stopping anywhere <laughs> near here. Certainly not a $14.99 for you. Ross? Oh. Uh, $12.99. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. What were the words you said? It has province? 
Uh, Victoria, by the way, has just bought 10. <coughs> I'm not surprised, bought, excuse me. Sorry, so what was the question again there? You were saying about, you know, this opportunity, this, you know, this amazing piece here. Oh my gosh, it's got everything. It, it's got <laughs> four saturations. Natural. It, it's natural. It's natural. It's got a, it, the provenance of being one of the first crown of light cuts performed in coloured gemstone material. It's unrivaled. It's an, un, an unrivaled collector's opportunity. And we're at £12.99. Ross, how many have we got available? Okay, we started with exactly, I want to be really precise for you, 106 here. We have 23 left. Yeah, well. It does not mean 23 people are getting involved. Let me show you what's happening because this is such a big deal. Your entire jewellery making community are climbing all over this one. <laughs> really, how can you afford not to win? Yeah, I don't blame You've you. You've got Make It In London picking up four. So don't think I say 23 chances, that means 23 people. It does not, by the way. Patricia's picked up three. Elaine's picked up two. Jean's got three. Francesca's got three. Muriel's got four. Anne's got two. Lorna's got two. Hampshire's got two. Alison's got two. Angela's got two. You can see how 23 chances does not divide and mean 23 people. No. Absolutely. In fact, it can sell out in a heartbeat, and it uh, and it is. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. I, look at that colour. Look at that light. Ross, I'm going to leave those there. We've got another two chances. Soraya, by the way, has just increased the order from from two, I believe, up to six. Well done, Soraya. Let's go citrine, please, next, Ross. Amazing. Absolutely. Remember, this is the first gem I ever saw. Penultimate this as well. Less than a hundred of these. It's the penultimate gem as well. Look. You see a six mil citrine. I'm going to show you a citrine round brilliant versus a citrine, citrine crown of light because this really shows you the difference. Yeah. This is the difference the crown of light delivers. More brilliance, more dispersion, more saturation of colour. It is more, more, yeah. more. Let's open those phone lines, please, Ross, on this one. I've got a... I've got, look, I'm, I'm, the, the, it's gone off the rails. We're going off the rails on this one. Ross, 30 seconds until I do something mad. Use the time wisely to make sure that you don't miss out. Look at that. <laughs> Ross no. has just done something absolutely... It's, right it, it, it's like... It's He's trying to bring dawn. sanity back to the show, isn't he? Like, <laughs> trying. Grasp order from this guy. So He's gone, Jake, that is not a £20 gem. You look at it, it looks like a sphene. Looks like a sphalerite. Yeah. It's, it's not even a hundred pound gem. Ross? It's not even a 10 pound gem. 9 99 please, oh, Ross. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you, oh, no, Jake. And you said you don't think you're going to be able to do this again. 10 pounds. 9 99 Well oh, look, done, you know, everyone. Just saying. I've just had a Johnny Winspear. Just our, saying. Uh, our resident bean counter, Wonder Pass, looking rather um, intrigued by what we're doing here. It was a pensive walk as well. It was kind of delayed. Yeah. Kind of a little delayed. Well, it's because we've got 9 99 next to the circle of light, you know. With a premium cut. Yeah. And, and the reason <laughs> that I said, why can't we do this? Why have we got no plans to come back on this one? It was a labour of love. And the thing is, if I'm asking the team who cut Glenn Lehrer's pieces and Rudy Rabito's pieces, don't cut those. Don't cut a piece that Glenn Lehrer has in itself for £250. Cut me a citrine that was sent itself for nine ninety nine. There yeah, are not don't... going to be many people who back me on that decision. No, and, and also, it, but it didn't need to be nine ninety nine, did it? It's amazing it that it is. No, I'll be honest. It's just because I've I've got to make way for the incredibly talented Hannah in four minutes time, and I don't <laughs> want to be late for that show. Wow! For your masterclass, I've got one more deal that I want to blame, share with see? you. How am I supposed to follow that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what I lack in talent, I've got to make up in pricing, haven't I? Uh, I I'm yet to make any jewelry. I need to, I need to do some jewelry making. Hannah's, you, Hannah's your girl. Uh, I need to sit with Hannah and watch that masterclass uh, with you, Ross. How many of these have we got left? Okay. Right. Limited. Ross. Seven ninety nine. £7.99, and I'm not even going to show you the deal on screen. It's going to be on screen for exactly seven seconds, OK? <laughs> Can seven I get a seven-second? No, I'm joking. We're not going to get a seven-second. Oh, yeah, have, oh wow. It. Hey, come on. This is... This is, this is <laughs> <laughs> Very professional there. Well done. Right, that deal. Take that deal away. I really Come don't want to see that. Get, let's get that off screen. Uh, right, okay. Let's go. 
pad Paracha quartz, please. Let's have a look at this. This one. has been one of the most popular, hasn't it? And and, yes. and I'm not surprised because so many of our audience have been asking for the paparazzi quartz, but you weren't expecting it in this incredible cart. Not in this cart. Not looking like this. There's paparazzi quartz. Oh wow! It's it, just it's another level. Just it's, wow. Have a look at this one. Now, Ross, I'm just going to take you out of my ear, and I'm just putting you here so that everyone can hear what you say. Um, can you just test, make sure it's coming through? Hello, one, two. Hello, yeah, that's coming through. Can everyone hear that at home? Talk, Ross. Can you hear me? Yeah, excellent, that's coming through at home. Okay. Uh, Ross, pop the phone lines on for me. Yeah, they should be there now. Graphics in. Here we go. And final question for you, Ross, is. You just told me what price, given I've just done seven ninety nine on the last one, what price you want this to close at? What, what price? Because I've got about two minutes before you're kicking me off the show. Seven ninety nine. Yeah, uh, we're not doing that. Four ninety nine, please, Ross. <laughs> Five pounds. You cannot go wrong. This is genuine. This is genuine gemstone material cut by a world leading team in in, in the cut that is poised to take over the jewellery world. The next step in the evolution of lapidary, and here we are at 4 99 You've just got to own a piece of history when it's £4.99. I mean, I see so many people that's a right no-brainer, isn't it? So many people right now, what they're doing, Al, is they're quickly checking out of one, and then they're going back, adding however many they want to their basket. Two, yeah. three, four, five, yes. six. And then they're checking out on those ones. They just need to be... It's easy. Super Hannah's easy on it, look. Eight. Hannah's on it. Hannah's there, 4 99 You can't go wrong. You can't go it's wrong. It's a no-brainer. An absolute no-brainer. And what... Do you know what's been wonderful, Jake? I mean, I, I, I'm obsessed with this new car. Absolutely obsessed. It's been so lovely to be to see as well, to witness, um, A, the enjoyment and, 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 and so many success stories. But, you know, this is a part of history, isn't this, it? This yeah. is a real part of history. It is the future of the gem industry. Go and have a look at jewelrymaker.com, see if there's anything you missed out. If not, hopefully, I will see you very soon. Thank you very much for letting me on your show, Al. Thank you, Hannah, for letting me on the show. And thank you at home for all your lovely, kind messages and your support as well. Take care. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Oh, we've just heard literally a round of applause and cheering and whooping from next door. And, uh, and then Ross is like, listen, today is historic. One year today, we've all been working together. Yeah. So yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. You're in the wrong studio. You're in the wrong one. You need to be over here. Wrong studio. Fine, it's okay. Just joking. Well done, everybody. How amazing was that cart? Seriously. Phenomenal. I mean, you, you I treated... I bought the amethyst one, yeah. Because I was, I was so just thinking, like, I've, got, I've got three piercings, so I've got some turquoise ones, and I can put those as the big ones at the oh, bottom. My. And then I just need to get something else that's kind of peacock coloured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How beautiful are they? Um, yeah, and it was so lovely to see Jake again as well, wasn't I it? Know, so I nice know, I know. It's like, wow, star you know? Yeah, I know, bless him. Right then, OK, we still are not done. We've still got loads to bring you between now and the closure of the show. We've got gorgeous Hannah back. Hi. Lovely jewellery. Thank you. And you gave us, you gave, you hinted at something earlier on, didn't you, with, um, with these kits? Um, yes, yeah, slightly, slightly bowled over by the fact that I was allowed to use this amazing gemstone. I'm mm -hmm. allowed to say what it is. Yeah, please do. So, I'm not sure. I'm never, never sure which way around to say it, but it, it's it's Magog Red Jedi Spinel. Yes. In mm -hmm. kits. Jedi Red. Jedi. So yeah. <laughs> so can I just ask um, Ross? Uh, G I A, color quality factors into Google. Yeah. I've got a slide of it somewhere. <laughs> but this is literally going to the referencing the Gemological Institute of America. So arguably the big no spinel. GIA color quality factors spinel, sorry. And there would. So that's who I did my accreditation with. Have, have most of your uh, your your uh, um, presenters, lots of employees around the business have done their accreditation. So look at this. This is the Spinel, arguably Amazing. the largest institution in the gemstone world. So this is off their website. We'll stop just there. Spinel quality factor, and you can see that beautiful red. That is that is referred to as Jedi red. Yeah. 
And if you look, uh, let's just read, read down, shall we? Spinel is generally highly sought after by gem connoisseurs and well-formed spinel crystals are in high demand among collectors. Spinel comes in a variety of colours. The most commercially important are red. Stop there. <laughs> Stop yeah. there. That's it. Red is the most commercially important. What's the first colour they show you? Red. On the yeah. GIA. Red. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's, I mean, and, and, and not only that, <laughs> Hannah, spinel forms in different places around the world. It forms alongside your rubies and your sapphires. This is no longer coming out of the ground. So it's pretty rare. It's, it, well, it's depleted this location. Oh my gosh, oh my it's gosh. It's depleted this location of source. So to be able to be, to be able, I mean, the kit, the jewel, the inspiration, the techniques, everything, but also the fact that this is how exciting this hour is. It's not about the gemstone. No, it's yeah. not. It's about your beautiful jewelry and your oh, techniques, but, but we are working with something that is, quite frankly, practically irreplaceable. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. We've got two different kits to bring you. Talk us through your beautiful jewellery, because they are very different kits, they actually, are very aren't different. they? Yeah, so, so um, if I start with this one, mm -hmm. so uh, this one, the, the, the spinel, I've, 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 sacrilege, really. I've used it kind of like a spacer, but what I wanted to do was spread it out and then put some light through it as well. So I've, I've got a, a clear um, seed bead either side of each piece of, of the, the spinel, and then I've added some pearls because I felt it's oh, warranted it. Oh my goodness. Um, and have got this fabulous like, sort of turquoise pendant as well, which I've done the, the seed beads around as well. So I just, I just thought that the colors together, the, the red with the turquoise really pop, and then the, the, um, I've added some clear um, seed beads and, and the pearls just because I thought that sort of, it kind of magnifies the fact that that little pop of red is so red. Yeah. It's really, like you can see it, you can really sort of think, oh, it's a red gem. What is that? What is that? It draws you in. So may I just ask? Yeah. Hands up if you l adore red spinel, because if you do, I adore it. It's my favourite <laughs> colour of red spinel. Absolutely. Um, you know, hands up maybe have been priced out of purchasing red spinel oh, previously. Yeah. Frequently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 there's no two ways around it. It's expensive. It is expensive because it's beautiful. It's natural, pure red. It's what Ruby wants to be. I'm not going to talk about that, the imposter, you know, the fact that we misinterpreted <laughs> spinel. It's not the gemstone's fault. It's us. You know, our own ignorance, effectively. This is prior to, obviously, the technologies of gemology. We just say, oh, it's a ruby. It's Even not the a crown ruby. jewels. Exactly. Oh, it's a ruby. It's not a ruby. It's a purer <laughs> colour than a ruby. And most rubies are treated. Spinel is totally natural. But, yes, most of us are priced out of this stone. Yeah. I'm going to show you this kit, and I'm going to tell you, I, I mean... As a collector, hands up if you consider yourself to be a collector of some of the rarest gemstones, particularly those which are unobtainable currently. Start dialing now, because even if this kit was just that, it's an unbelievable deal. I mean, e Ethan, it's been, a long, it's been a while since I've been on gems, but I'm right in saying, like, Jedi Red Spinel. It's considered, isn't it? Even on our sister channels, who bring the best prices... It's expensive, right? Yeah, absolutely. How have I got then here a strand of natural Jedi red? Your all your Christmases have come once. I didn't steal it this time either. I was actually allowed to you have this. No, when yeah. You said, oh. oh, you can use it, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> natural jedi red which is being these kind of carts and and i'm talking of, i can go mogok um there's a ruby roscoe i've got a ruby um powerpoint haven't i do you know the ones where it's talking about where we're trying to find the heir to the mogok ruby and the reason why i'm asking for this not is to reference the gemstone i'm not making any compar uh, comparison whatsoever the re the reality is jedi red spinel um it, you you can't has got a purer color a pure and natural color but i'm looking for the pieces of jewelry with the. i mean let's do it though let's do it just flick through this website uh, this is about this is about uh rubies rather than your spinel but flicking forward it's more the pieces of jewelry beautiful smooth rondelles used here 
Wow. Don't think we are working with a cut that's not used by the likes of Cartier. Cartier are using that cut. Also by, here you go, Cartier again. Oh, Smooth cool. rondelles. I know they're ruby, and I know yours is spinel. Some might even say your strand's rarer. Okay. You're not just getting that, though. You've got the most gorgeous Egyptian turquoise. Four and a half carats in this beautiful 16 by 12 millimeter stone. You also get the punctuations of turquoise color in your seed beads. How beautiful are they? They're 11 0 delicas. And something that we rarely ever see <laughs> is this is genius. Yeah, except I can commit sacrilege with this in a minute. <laughs> I, I think I know what you're going to say. It's not. You're the designer. You can do what you want with your jewellery. I'm just going to pop that down for a second because you also have this amazing mount. Perhaps the introduction of such mount? I've never seen it before. I, I, I've seen them before when we've had um, some big rough cut stones oh. to mount and because this makes it easy to do it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's called a huggy claw pendant. Yeah. I love that. And um, it's for said size so it's going to fit your egyptian turquoise 925 sterling silver obviously you can reduce your claws if you wish or you can create a design feature out of it i mean this kit just keeps on giving doesn't it it's pretty cool it's it's a pretty amazing kit yeah. the sterling silver huggy claw pendant the egyptian turquoise cabochon with certificate your beautiful turquoise sea beads but the star of the show absolutely and i love the fact that hannah was like yeah i'm pretty lucky to have worked oh, with this I couldn't jedi it. red natural spinel yeah. which is not currently being mined it's irreplaceable right now even if we were here at 79.99 you don't have to take my word for it look the gia gemological institute of america said themselves most commercially sought after color is red. It's the, it's the color of spinel that they put on their website. There it is. There it is. Don't have to take my word for it. Pinks, mauves or lilac colored spinel, also attractive. Some bluish colors can be intense. Lovely, absolutely beautiful, but it's all about the vivid red. Look, the vivid red color in these spinel specimens from same location that uh, you're sourcing from right now equals the finest red color in any gemstone. How incredible. As it's, it's just mind blowing the fact that, the fact that we've got it is amazing anyway. The fact that I can use it in a kit is even more amazing. And the fact we can do crazy things like that with the price, because I'm sure that's just, <laughs> it, that's lower than I thought we were going. We're at 49 That's amazing. Let me read you another section. Here we go. The GIA go on to talk about how exciting and collectible this opportunity is. It might have been misidentified. Yeah. That's the reality. It wasn't a master of disguise. We misidentified the stone. It's actually rarer than most rubies and sapphires out there. Color. Some spinel colors are more rare and valuable than others. In general, red spinel is the most desirable, followed by fine cobalt blue. Then the vibrant hot pinks and vivid, vivid orange stones. Violet and bluish colors and purple or lavender stones tend to be less attractive and less in demand than others. Well, I think that's, uh, you know, that's a bit unfair. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, yeah. But... Red is the most desirable. Yeah. There it is again. Are you ready? You get the, the, the amazing sterling silver pendant mount. You get your certified Egyptian turquoise, 16 by 12 millimeters. You get the sea beads, and I'm just gonna pop these down for one second if I may, because for me, this strand on its own is an incredible, any, any outside of this kit, Hannah, here at Jewelry Maker, this would be forty nine ninety nine, which absolutely. is absolutely yeah. amazing. I mean, that's, that's incredible value for that strand. You want own, and you get everything else. <laughs> yeah. We well, yeah, we heard Jake say a few moments ago, didn't we? You know, um, the province of gemstones, the fact that they are natural, all elevates price tag. This is natural. It's from the best province in the world. We're going to do something in, uh, just amazing. Ridiculous, quite frankly. 
You know, even if you're thinking, okay, I, I don't know how, you know, I love Hannah's piece of jewellery, but I'm, I want to just keep it really simple. You could pop this onto a slider bracelet. I, yeah, I did think that, actually. I've, I've, um, I've, I've got one. I was just thinking, so this is just one that I had in stock, and I was thinking, if you put that, literally just put that onto there. Yep. You wouldn't even need all of it, just a section of it, onto, onto just a sterling silver slider. That would be... Like such a classic piece of jewelry, wouldn't it? But so striking because it's it's properly red. It's the perfect example of red spinel. We are not even stopping at forty nine ninety nine. Fiona, Susan, Shona, Muriel, Janice, Pauline, Anne, Susan, uh, Susan Tina, London Maker, North Yorkshire, and Elizabetha. Hello to you all. I, I listen. I love every single one of the components in this in this amazing kit, but I. Sh we should not be able to source natural Burmese Jedi red spinel for twenty nine ninety nine. I swear there's something in the water today. I, there must be something in the water. My goodness me! If this doesn't sell out, I, I, I haven't showed, I haven't spoken about necessarily the jewellery editor, which I do quite frequently. I haven't sp uh, sort of lent on other coloured gemstone uh, uh, suppliers. I haven't looked at publications like the New York Times. We've literally gone from, gone to the largest institution in the in the world. Yep. In, um, in gemstones, coloured gemstones, and they have said some spinel colours are more rare and valuable than others. In general, red spinel is the most desirable. There you go. That's exactly what you are getting right now. And it, £29.99. That's incredible. I can't believe we've gone that low. <laughs> we could, we could, I could chew your ears off. we have to blame Jake for it, for the excitement. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. 100%. <laughs> You know, amazing. We had quantity of this, plus it's Mogok. I know, I know. I can't, I just, I'm honestly, I'm mind blown. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, now, Hannah, absolutely amazing. Keep dialing through for that kit. We have got another kit to bring you as well, which is quite very different. Talk yes. us through these pieces, yeah. actually. They are very yeah, different. This one. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to do something quite different with it, um, just because um, sometimes when you when you have kits, it, like you can think, oh, I have to make this style of jewellery because that's what the, the designers made. So I thought I'm going to go completely radically different. Like it with the other one. I like the idea um, of Hannah going radical. Yeah, I've <laughs> gone radical. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and and I just thought I really like. Um, Things that are a little bit quirky, a little bit fun, and a talking point. And the fact that you've got this amazing gemstone, I thought, what, what can I do that makes it different yeah. and stand out? And I thought, okay, I've still added some of the pearls in there. It's the same strand as the, as the other one. They were just beautiful, and I happened to have them. I thought, because I'm using this spinel, I, I'm, I, I Why just not? justified using that kind of quality of pearl. Um, but then I thought, right, well, I'm going to see what else I can find. And in my head, I wanted a multi-layered something gold and came across these, I think they're called Ouroborealis, yeah, is it? Yeah, Ouroboros. Um, Ouroboros, is it? So, so it's like the serpent eating serpent. its tail. And it got turquoise in its eye. And I thought, that's it. That's where I'm going. I'm going to use turquoise as, as a little accent, but just a hint they're of it. They're lovely. Um, to tie it in. So I, I've literally, I've, I've just, I've got loads of, of layers, loads of different um, cool. sort of things to look at. And then this findings pack that... that um, kind of is in the kit as well has you got just keep so delivering elements of it we'll bring this kit up yeah. in a few moments time um just amazing it is available on pre-order right now kit make sure you're checking out on um the amazing a new hope love that um well, it, I, I, i've watched the star wars oh. uh, we did a star wars marathon with my my uh, 10 year old for christmas and then um it was his birthday recently. oh so didn't you have the lego so we we've just built the Millennium Falcon. All, I say all three of it is it was a family affair that, um, and so yeah, I've I've been making myself a little TikTok, but I haven't I haven't put it on because I didn't know whether to That's put it awesome. on there or not. But he's he's so proud of it. My brother's incredibly jealous. Um, I think Mark was as well, wasn't I, he? he guest designer. You know what? Up. There were so many uh, adult males who yeah. were jealous of the fact that we we've got this Lego thing, and I was thinking this is so cool because now I've got Jedi Spinel, so I'm kind yes. of in the little world of Star Wars at the minute. Oh well, to, <laughs> again here. So you're making this piece, yeah? Um, yeah. So um, I'm actually the demo I've got is actually with seed beads because um, that like this this is the technique, and then this is literally just wow. Threading. But um, what I did do was that when I um, cut the strand, I used the biggest ones. And and I started with the biggest ones nearest the pendant and then graduated out. And then the smaller ones, um, you can keep and put it on a bracelet or something to go with it. Okay. Um, Amazing. But yeah, so you only, only need a little bit. So, um, yeah. Take it away. 
So the, the thing that I was going to say that was sacrilege is this is sterling silver and it's designed as a mount in its, in its, like, you know, its own. I think so, I know what you're going to do. So what I started off doing is I, I, I put that there and I thought, right, what shall I do? So I spiralled these in and then I folded them up and I got what looked like a little face to me. So it looked like eyes and then nostrils with the, with the swirly things. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll go with sort of like a, a dragon head or something yeah. like that. And then because I'd faffed about with it too long, I over I overwork hardened it and oh. broke it. So I thought, I've only got one sample to work with. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cut the prongs off and go with something else. So I've gone with a, a brick stitch bezel mount instead. Okay. So if it's you beautiful. if you want to, you can just f literally just fold these over and then cut them to the size you want, mm. and that's all you all you need to do. It will hold the stone. Yeah. Um, if you want to be a bit naughty like me. <laughs> well, I you know to be to be fair, that wasn't naughty. Yeah, I told. Actually, gonna just try and remove them. And it's still precious metal. Don't discard yeah. it. Literally. Oh keep yeah, it in no, the keep parts. it. Keep it. But I am literally just going close as I can because I, I don't want um, sharp bits. And then I'm going to work with my seed beads. Also, note that I put my finger over the end of the thing I'm cutting away so that it doesn't ping into my eyes or across the room or anything silly like that. So that's my starting point. Um, then I've got some uh, wildfire thread. You could use Fireline as well or Eslon, I suppose, or Ceylon, anything you want, really. Um, and then I'm going to tie that on so I get it to a point where I can do a double knot. And I'm going to bring it back up to near the bale. Try and, try and tie it so it's near the top somewhere. Get that bale the other side, like that. And then one for luck, as you do. And then I'm going to start doing um, a technique called brick stitch. So using delicas, they've got the, um, the sort of the, the flatter edge to them. So you get like this little wall being built. So I've got my needle on the other end. Um, I think that might actually be a 12. I usually use a 10 or a 12. Um, I'm going to start off, I'm going to pick up two of these. And I'm going to thread it all the way down. And then I'm going to take my needle behind the um, frame and then I'm going to come back up through the second of those two beads. Has it gone through there? It's trying to loop over the top. That's not a good start. There we go. So what that does is secures it in place. So the first bead will look a bit weird. It will try, it'll try and go sideways. Don't worry about that for now because when you come back to the, t the front, you join them together and they sit forward from where, when the bale is. Um, and then I'm just going to add on one bead and then add those all the way around. So it will take me a bit of a, a, bit of a time to go around several times. So I'm just going to show you, again, because we haven't got... Um, enough pieces to do stages with. I'm going to go like this. So you, each time you thread the needle from the back of the frame and back up through the bead you've just added. And then you can get into a bit of a rhythm with it. So it's quite a long piece of thread because I'm hoping to do it like in one hit rather than having to add more. Although if you do run out, you can, you can add some with a weaver's knot. I also have to be careful not to punch you with my flailing arm. It's all as, good. As, as I sew, I'm it's trying. It's all to, good. I've got to, reflexes of a cat. I'm trying to sew up rather, <laughs> rather than sideways. <laughs> there you go. I can just. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe I've got reflexes of a cat, it's like what happened to Elle? Well, she sat next to Hannah while she was sewing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep going because. It's, I actually need three rows of this to, to actually make the wall. So each time it's underneath and then up through the last bead that you've added. Oops, there we go. So again, add one more. Try not to punch the presenter. <laughs> up through from behind the frame. 
That's right. You can have a match in black eye with little Tiggs. Oh no, what she done? Oh, she took a no she we because we stayed at Grampy's on the weekend. Yeah. And of course, um she's not in a cot anymore, so she 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 was like, I sleep in a big bed. And of course she took a nosedive off the bed, didn't oh. she? So she had a little black eye. Oh bless, bless her. her. That's really hard. We've just been them. Um, They're robust, though, aren't they? Yeah, they do sort of bounce, but it does make people ask questions, and then it's a bit worrying because <laughs> you feel like people are, what's happened to that child? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think they will take a tumble at some point. So we've been having the, the debate with Will, my son, about whether or not we lose the cabin bed and put him into a big grown-up. He wants, he wants a double bed, and I said, are you sure? Because, you know, he's got this really cool little setup at the minute where he's got a kind of a den with uh, fairy lights and stuff and a, and a cushion underneath the bed and he can hide all of his secret stuff. I said, if you have a proper bed, no you, secret, you, no you secret lose the den. Cabin, yeah. yeah. But there's method to his madness because he's, he's after turning our, our uh, playroom in, into a gaming room. Well, yeah. This I say playroom. It should, it should be a study. It's a, it's a small box room and it's full of toys, full of stuff. But um, yeah, so this is looking beautiful, Hannah. You know, just literally wrapping the silver. I mean, it, it does look lovely, but I mean, I, I can almost hear people like Claire maybe wincing or, <laughs> or you know, for, not for, at all, for attacking that lovely sterling silver. But yeah, as I, long as you don't throw it in the bin. No, well, if you save it and then melt it down, you can use it for other things, can't you? Like the. Um, what was the casting show that they had a while ago? Was it sand casting? Sand casting, and we had cast. And cast themselves yeah. came. Yeah, didn't they? So, uh, I tell you what, while you're doing that, Hannah, so we're not breathing down your neck, yeah, no, do you want me okay. to introduce the next kid? You can, absolutely, because um, this, this is basically, I've got to go around. Um, You've got to go all the way around. And again. And then, and then I've got a smaller bead to then cinch it in over the thing. That's fine. Like, no, don't rush. Um, I tell you what, pass, me, pass your lovely piece of jewellery over, so yeah. we're not, um, so we're not pressurising you right now. Go. How amazing is this? Hannah spoke about this. It, yes, it's um, she was she was right. It's a serpent that's basically depicted throughout antiquity. It's been around for literally thousands upon thousands of years. It's called not Ouroborealis. Or a Boris. Or a Boris. Yes. Okay. So it's a serpent-like creature uh, depicted eating its own tail. What this is symbolic of is the circle of life and rebirth, and so oh, yeah. And it's, I see. it's not just Chinese culture. This has been around through many different sort of civilizations, if you like. I absolutely love these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Plus, you're not just getting the one. Where's my tweezers gone? Here it is. So if I actually hold um, hold it up, you can see you've got the jump ring as well, corresponding jump ring. There it is, textured all the way around. Is, is it just me that is getting a very Cartier vibe from these? Oh, my gosh. I, Thank I, you I, very I, much. I, I, I've got that, <laughs> that wonderful Cartier vibe. So you don't just get the one, you get three of your Ouroboros with those turquoise eyes, as you were just saying there. Um, so three of those. Then, also going to show, you've got these beautiful star earrings, which I love these. Aren't they pretty? I don't think you need to do anything to those. I think they're yeah, lovely as they are. They're, they're very cute, aren't they? Really sweet. So you get a pair of those, which are lever back earrings. Can you see that there? There you go. So they're your lever backs. Amazing. Then you're also getting not one, I'm sewing up so I don't come out at you, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> Not two, but three of your beautiful chains. How nice are they? And they, by the way, uh, are 18 millimetres in their size. So Ouroboros plus your, those, uh, those amazing lever back earrings with the star detail. Plus, look at these. Hang on. I will hold them up, don't worry. How lovely they are. You've got a lovely rubbed over setting. Um, inside these are yeah, cubic zirconia studs. There we go. You get two of them um, and they are your connectors, but you could absolutely just snip away one of those uh, jump rings if you wanted to turn them into pendants or charms. So you're getting two of those. Amazing. And we're still not done. It'd be easier for me to show you on your piece of jewellery, Hannah, wouldn't it? Because you just sure, put yeah. all of it in there. Um, and you're getting this lovely, again, star connector. 
How nice is that? And this is the kit that just keeps on giving. You've got some of your jump rings, essential jump rings. You need those to attach components. And you also have some more amazing red Mogok uh, spinel. How amazing is that? A full 38 centimetre strand. The one previously granted, they were bigger individual stones, the smooth rondelles. It's all down to what you're looking for. Um, but what a kit. You know, the fact that you're getting all of these lovely components and the end result can, can look like something like this. I mean, Hannah, that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You've put just a few pearls in there. That's all. That's it, that's it, really. A few pearls and, and, and just, um, yeah, join, join things together. Cut some of the chains to, to be whatever size you want them to be. Um, you don't have to stick with the fact that they're, they've got um, fastenings on them already. You can, you can remove that and switch them around so that's, it's interchangeable. And Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, also, that, that spinel strand is, um, is ombre, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, because you've actually got your pinks to your reds in this strand as well. Yeah. Um, and again, it's totally, totally and utterly natural. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's absolutely amazing. Three of the Ouroboros motifs or, or connectors. Um, two of your cubic zirconia rubbed over connectors. You get the stars. You get the jump rings. You get the beautiful uh, lever back earrings with the little stars just here. Um, you're getting three of your chains and a full 38 centimeter strand of natural, um, natural uh, Jedi red Mogok spinel. Amazing. Back to you, Han, if you're ready. Brilliant. Yeah. So I've kind of, I've sort of jumped ahead with the step up. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. So when, when you get all the way around with the first one. Um, you will, you will then go, instead of adding another gel, another seed bead, you go down through the first um, bead that you added in entirety mm. and then up through the last one again. Then, so that, that joins the, the two edges together. Then you stitch, um, you add two of your um, seed beads again and then you stitch sort of through the, the, the stitch that, that bridges the two beads. So you'll create a stitch on top of your beads and you literally, it tucks underneath it and then you pull it, that through and go up through the last bead that you've added again. So I'm at that point where I can go up through that one. And as long as you've stitched underneath that stitch, this will then start making the next row. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, it's quite... And then I'm gonna, so I've added another bead and then I'm gonna look for the stitch on top of that row going to pass the needle underneath it so the bead will stay on the one side your thread comes through and then you go back up through the same bead that you've just added and what happens is it will sit directly on top so when you're stitching normally it will it will naturally sit flat but what we want it to do is is, is come around and, and sort of shape around that um, cabochon so as you add them you, if you gently sort of encourage them upwards they'll sit on top of each other rather than beside each other so I'm just going to keep going with that one. So the next row is going to be all the same. So you pick one bead up. You always start with two and go through the second bead. And then when you finish a row, you go back down through that first one and it ties them all together. And then every stitch after that is just one bead under one stitch. And then you carry on. It's, this, it's the same technique. So it's very, it is repetitive. It's the same with most seed beading. It's the sort of thing that you get into a rhythm and you can sit and do, like, you know, it's kind of, it's, I, th I always think that like, seed beading is like a mindful activity. It's one of those things that you can sort of lose yourself in. But um, Delicas have this lovely way of, um, because they're nice and um, straight edged, you, you almost get, I don't know, it's, all, it's almost like a um, sort of a fabric finish. If it you does, do a, if yeah. If you do a flat yeah. piece. Um, but they're very, they're very sculptural, very structural as well. So they, they, they they're very. We don't nice. see them that often, do we? No, not often. I mean, they're they're, they're considered, you know, kind of creme de la creme, really. I think there's, I know um, the Beadworkers Guild. Quite often, you, you see a lot of people will, will make sort of three D sculptures, and um, people like our lovely Monica mm -hmm. and Alison will do like incredible designs with, yeah. with them, delicas, and you can you can really sort of go three D with them, which is you know kind of why I like them I suppose <laughs> yeah they are lovely yeah but yeah so it's um just a repetitive stitch you keep going around you keep adding one then you stitch underneath the the stitch that bridges the two beads beneath it so pick up one through there 
and then come back up through this one. And you see how they're sitting on top of each other? They're sort of like, it's like brick, like, like well, it's called brick stitch because they, they sit together like the bricks in a wall will. So one bead will sit over the join of the two below it. Still trying not to uh, flail at you. <laughs> thinking the wider shot you've got quite a long reach as well haven't you I, I have yeah that's why that's why I'm sort of like I can see you sort of half flinching every time I because <laughs> whoop here we go <laughs> if I was oh, still out joking. there I would I would actually catch her so yeah if you hear me wince then you know oh what's I pulled it out shot there we go sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't want to actually um connect that would not be that would not be no, pleasant no, no. yeah <laughs> Pierce the ear for you while I'm at it. <laughs> I mean, I am going through that midlife crisis right now where I keep having my ears pierced. Well, I've done that. I've, I've got three now, but I think I'm, I'm gonna, only I think on I, two. I think I'm going to stop there. And they find it very bizarre that I only have one ear done. It's because I'm not allowed to have these done. Wow. I, you know, I can do a bit of showing off now. So that the lady, Be Becca, who did my ear, uh, my ear piercing, um, she keeps grabbing all the bits of my ear, different bits of my ear, saying, oh, you've got a lovely this, you've got a lovely that. It's perfect for piercing. I could add this, I could add that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, they've got funny there. names, haven't they? What's this bit, that little wibbly bit there? What's that bit called? Anyone know? I don't know, I don't know. But I was, I was told that I'd, I tra I'd got model ears. <laughs> Is it the tragus? <laughs> tragus Tom's got that bit done. I was Some, like, oh, no, like I don't know if I can do that bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, have you had your tragus done? No, no. I've just, I've just got like three. So I've got like a little sort of constellation of sparkly studs, nice. which uh, that that'll do. That'll do me. I think. That's enough. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Well, I'm glad it's not just me going through yeah. a midlife crisis. Then. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> My neighbour's toying with the idea of a, of a tattoo, and I said, I'm not that brave. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. Yeah, they're not too bad. No, it's all good. Am I all right? I'm aware this is very... No, this is mindful, Hannah. OK, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go as quick as I can without knocking anybody out. <laughs> or sewing you to something. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it's quite pleasing, actually, to see it building up because, you know, you get, you get this little shape of appearing. And I don't think I've ever actually seen this onto some sterling silver before. I think it is actually... Using a frame, bit... yeah. So it, I, I guess that would probably help people, I guess, because it's that, it, you know, it's that foundation. It do, yeah, I always say, it, like, when you're doing seed beading, the first two or three rows are usually quite unruly, a bit wibbly, and you have to just sort of go with it and, and trust that it's going to work. Um, and then once you've got that sort of foundation line, it's, it's easier. Mm. Um, but with this one, you're working onto something solid in the first place. Um, so yeah, they do, they do sort of behave themselves much more than a, 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 you know, a freehand one would. Unlike us. Yeah, well, yeah, but they've never behaved, I don't no. think. <laughs> no, definitely not. Mind you, when we've got Jake in here being naughty as well, I think we get away. Well, this is we? true. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is the thing. Every time, you know, like 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 Wayne did this morning with your early bird, get it gone. Yeah. You know, we, we just use that as ammunition. That was really cute. That, that was the one with like little starfish type. Those pearl earrings. Pearl yeah. earring connectors. And then yeah. there's the lavender. That David gave us permission to do that. Oh my gosh. And then we Amazing. had yeah, Jake's show. It's all ammunition. You know, store it in the bank. Definitely. <laughs> I hope Aww. you do, Ross. I hope you store all of that in the in the bank. What they, when what? they when they criticise us for doing low prices, you can go. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Didn't you on the twenty eighth of February, twenty twenty three, at such and such a time, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> you did this and you did that. Uh, apparently, pretty much, well, pretty much every show, I would say, Ross has just said he goes upstairs <laughs> and, and, and winds there and he says, like, why did you do this? Why did you do that? You know, there we go. It's in the bank now. Good. I can show you that step up here. Um, so I've got to the point where if I add another bead, I'm going to have too many to then join myself together here. Okay. So I'm going to go down through that, the top edge of the first bead of that row, but only that one. So I haven't added a bead this time. And then I'm going to come up through the last bead on the top row that I added. And that sort of makes that continual loop. Something felt weird there. Is this almost zipping up then? Yeah. Because you're jumping across. Except, you? except you're going upwards instead yeah. of acrosswards. Mm. 
And then, so at that point, you probably want to start sort of um, putting your cabochon back in and then sort of manipulate the, um, the gem, the, um, I keep wanting to call them the gems, the Delica beads around it. Yeah. So I think on the actual pendant, I think I did three rows of the Delicas and then, let me just check that. Yeah, I think I did. And then, a, and then a fourth row, but I don't know if, I don't know if I've got time to do that. I might well, you can, if you want me to do a product and then we can come back. At any point you want me to do something so you can crack on and then come back, it's up to you. I mean, I can, tr I can try and do it without and if it, and if it doesn't stay held, then what I would recommend do another row. is then do okay. a third okay. row. But um, it's, it's the same principle, except this time I've just added some, um, just some clear 11-0 um, ordinary seed beads. So once you've done your little zip up, um, ideally with a third row of delicas, and then you mould this in, into place. Um, you can hold it there if you, while you're working. You can take it out again for a while, but I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if it'll let me do that. So I'm just going to, again, tuck underneath the stitch that bridges the top of the two beads that you're next to. In fact, I might be one over. I need to go under there like that. So we're adding two and then we're going to go back up through the second of those two. Okay, and then because these are not delicas, they will react differently. So you can, you can cinch them in as you go. So again, each time I go around, I'm just going to pick up one now. I'm going to look for the next stitch that bridges the two beads. Is it that one? And then I'm going to tuck that through there. I'm hanging on to the cabochon so that it's, it's sort of pushed into the, the, you know, the basket, if you like, of beading. And you add one and you sort of cinch it as you go. Okay. And I'm going to carry on round in that manner. So I'm going to pick up one, find the next stitch, thread it through, and then come back up through the same one. Just caught the tail from where we started, get rid of that. And it will naturally sort of... Corset it in. It, it does, it cinches it in. So I'm gonna keep going. It might, it might be enough to hold it, it might not. I would recommend three rows of the Delicas before you do this bit, if you're doing it at home. There you go. Whoops. How beautiful is that? And it's amazing. And then with the red Jedi, uh, red, yeah. Red so spinel, the, sorry, the Jedi red spinel. The, the red spinel with the with the with the turquoise, I think, is fabulous. And yeah. then I've just used it sparingly, but obviously because it's quite a, a valuable commodity. But I didn't realise we were going to go quite so low with the, um, <laughs> the kit price. Absolutely. Is... I mean, both kits were amazing, weren't they? Twenty nine ninety nine. Do make sure you check them out. Um, yeah. Well, we'll let Hannah keep continue. I'll carry on. Let you carry on. Yeah. Um, yesterday, for those of you that weren't able to tune in just yesterday, um, we had, please consider, this is totally and utterly natural. This strand is, and I said it then and I'll say it again uh, today, that's the best yellow type AJ dye I have ever seen. And I'm not just talking about here at Jewelry Maker, I am talking collectively across the market, to be honest, um, because with jade, the, the descriptions are very literal, aren't they? Mutton fat jade, for example. You've got um, imperial green probably is the most romanced. You've got a piano black, we often, or, or onversite black jade eye, or um, moss in snow. They are very literal in their descriptions. This is, and, and I was like, my goodness me, it's like egg yolk yellow, you know? Egg yolk yellow. That's the best yellow strand I've ever seen. Do you all agree with me? It's stunning, isn't There's it? There's not a percentage of yellow. There's not like a, a whisper, a suggestion. That's what we normally say, isn't it? Whether there's a slight hue. This is definitely undeniably yellow and it is natural. Now, I brought this strand yesterday. A couple fell back into stock for whatever reason. How many do we have? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ross is saying, no, 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 Elle, this isn't, the, this isn't that one yesterday. That did sell out. This is from that parcel. It's actually a size up. Oh, my word. I'll say it again. It's the best yellow strand. It is. That parcel is the best I've ever seen. Would we agree? Does anyone disagree? Because that... 
That color is all mother nature. All mother nature. If you're wondering about the difference between the monitor here and the studio, you've got to remember I'm under floodlights right now. It, 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 look, it, even, it, it drowns everybody out, literally, under multiple floodlights. The reality is we will be looking at, uh, looking at it. Its saturation will be like this. That's one single light source. It's the daylight simulator. So that's what you will be seeing when you get this home. Three amazing collectors are going to get this. It is the best yellow jade. I, uh, that, that parcel, by the way, that, that acquisition is the best yellow jade I've seen. Because, you know, it's not, it's not ooh, a lemony hue or maybe just a slightly warm presence. It's yellow, isn't it? Proper sunshine. Sunshine yellow. There are three available. Two of you already have it in your baskets. We're going to go straight down to that price tag. At £1,999, that's amazing if we were stopping there. If you are on social media, follow the likes of Mason and Kay. Follow, uh, uh, go onto their Instagram page. Have a little look at and see if there are any. You know, w w they do have yellow jade on this uh, on their booth and in their jewellery. They're lovely people at Mason K, and they, you know, it was lovely to. I know some of our chi uh, team were chatting with them when they were over at Tucson the beginning of the year. But they have the odd little tiny suggestion of yellow jade eye. They don't have 80 carats in one amazing piece. This is one of the rarest colors. Two remain. Who's going to be successful in getting hold of this? What? What? £149. That's phenomenal. These are bigger. Hello, Caroline. Lovely. This jadeite looks like natural honey. Stunning, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. Such a sweet yellow color. We are so over allocated, it's untrue. There are two left, that's it. So I've got Suja, Maker, Cambridgeshire, Wiltshire. Suja, you got yours, well done, lovely. Lund, gone. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Awesome. I mean, that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Oh, so I've, uh, that, that parcel literally blows me away with how beautiful this it is. This whole show today, is, like, there's been so many amazing things. <gasps> it's just like, is it real? Is I it know, happening? I know, <laughs> it's been absolutely incredible. Um, you can still get hold of the kit. I can tell you both of these kits are actually getting quite limited now as well. Um, oh, it's, it, it, that auction sold out in just the right time, didn't oh, it, Annika? Perfect. We're back to yeah. you now. I'm, so I'm, I'm coming back round to, to the front. So as you can see, I've, I've sort of, I'm try, trying to encase it in. Um, as I say before, I would, I would normally do three rows of the Delicas, but in the interest of time, I've just done the two. Um, so I'm just continuing until I get to there, but I've got an idea to try and cinch it a little bit further. Um, so once I get back to the top here, can I get one more bead in there? I don't think I will. I think I'm going to have slightly less um, beads than the row below because I'm trying to cinch it in. I'm trying to hold the, that um, cabochon in place. Okay, so you're going to have to drop down on numbers. Yeah, so, so, just, so it tightens. Just, just by one or, or two. So if you do the same thing, so you go down through the top of the first bead that you added on that row... And then you can come up through the underside of the last bead. I probably could fit one more bead in there, but I'm trying, I'm trying to pull them together like that. Like that. So that should be slightly more secure. And then what I was thinking is I could probably just run along all of those stitches again. So you literally just pass the needle underneath the stitch and pull it tight and then go to the next one underneath that stitch and pull it tight. And all that's doing is, is helping to cinch it in towards the stone. So I still, I still think it probably would benefit from one more row of the Delicas before you add your other seed beads in, but you get the Lovely idea. Though. And it just reinforces that front edge and pulls it in a little bit tighter. Hang on, so are you going Oh, I thought you were going under the cabochon then. No, 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 just under the, that, the, so you get a, a row of stitches um, between the beads on the top edge and I'm literally just sort of weaving all the way around. Yeah. So, because I'm just trying to pull it in slightly tighter. So almost, almost halfway around that last edge. And then, oops, just under the stitch. And then because I'd got this turquoise um, 
cabochon, on, I thought, well, it's, it's a good idea to have a little bit of the turquoise in the actual um, necklace itself. So as you can see, I've used the, um, the turquoise to punctuate either side. Yeah, it looks lovely. With the spinel. What a beautiful To tie piece. it together, yeah. An amazing piece of jewellery. Thank you. Um, what an amazing price point, honestly. Ticking yeah. all the boxes today. It's fab. It's coming all the way round. Nearly there, nearly there. Checking the time. <laughs> so, got a few more stitches. <laughs> An interesting flailing technique so that I'm not knocking anybody out. <laughs> Obviously, it's because of the length of the thread I'm using as well. So, you get back to the front like that, and then um, you can just sort of make sure it's all in and, and secure. And then you can just work your thread through um, some of the other beads until you come to the back and then just tie it off and then cut it. And then that's all you need to do really. That And then that, it should hopefully stay in place. Um, you can kind of go on like a diagonal line if I can get and go through the one bead. You can sort of see it as it goes through that delicate bead there. And I'm working my way through to the back again. And that delicate bead there. And then you could probably tuck it underneath and tie that off to trim trim them away. So you just you just end up with like a, a little encased cabochon, and then you and then you literally use the the Jedi either side. I did think about adding some onto the actual um, cab, but to be fair, I quite I quite like the fact that it's just a hint because I think it makes it more striking. It's beautiful, Hannah. It's absolutely amazing, and that's a lovely demonstration. Thank you. <laughs> well done, you. Um, okay, last auction, finale of the day. How do we oh put that cherry on the proverbial cake? <laughs> How about with some natural Taipei red jadeite? 5.5 millimetres in their size. Again, I go back to what I was saying about the yellow jadeite. Seriously, it's not a suggestion. It's not a whisper. It's not a tiny proportion of each of these rounds that has that. I, I described it uh, the other day, didn't I? Cherry tomato red. Yes. It's, it's what they see right that, now. That it's is. cherry, cherry tomatoes. tomatoes. That's the kind of cherry tomatoes that, you know, that, that are really delicious. They're really, the, the slightly more expensive posh ones. Yes. <laughs> it's that perfect, that perfect, perfect Lovely. colour and saturation. This is, I mean, some would even say the rarest of the rare colour. The reason for that is because naturally jadeite, um, the red never forms within the boulder. You know, if you can imagine, say you discovered a boulder of jadeite, that in itself, whatever the colour is inside, be it green, be it white, be it black, be it yellow, be it whatever, lavender, whatever, um, it's rare and it's incredibly valuable. Now, because only, and I don't know, I'm rubbish at maths, but maybe, I don't know, two, three percent, probably less than that, depending on the size of the boulder, I guess. But the skin of the boulder is the only area of that boulder that actually oxidizes, which is where you get this color. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you our should be price. OK. I love the red jade. Beautiful. I, d I love all the colors, actually. Yeah, it's stunning. I've got it and I've teamed mine with um, the black and the white jade. Oh, nice. Long line necklace. Striking. It's just, it's just yeah. gorgeous. £199. It is natural. It's not dyed. Do you know, hang on, just, uh, something's just dawned on me that I've never said before. I was watching um, a channel, not Gemporia, not Jewelry Maker, um, a, a, a competitor who brought jade. It wasn't jadeite. They didn't specify. Um, which straight away, red flag number one. Then they didn't say, um, then it was, it was neon in its color. It was green, not red, but it was neon in its color. Red flag number two, is that natural? You know, um, and I actually phoned just out of curiosity, me doing a little bit of detective work. Yes. Um, it wasn't jadeite. It, they was using jade as an umbrella term. Yeah. It was actually a quartz. It was actually a quartz that they had dyed. Oh. They dyed that color. This is natural. We should be at £199 because it is the finale auction of what has been an absolutely amazing morning stroke afternoon. Well done, everybody. And the show, uh, you know, honestly continues with our amazing sister channel as well. This is finale auction deal. One of probably the rarest colour in all of the jadeite world. And that what? Ross. 
That's not just a cheeky 10, 20% off. Jadeite forms in boulders. The majority of, uh, of jadeite will be in your greens, if you like. A minuscule proportion, literally the skin of the boulder, where the boulder oxidizes, achieves red color. But even then, to get that amount. Um, hello, gorgeous Mark. Oh, Ellen, Hannah. Aww. You're both so beautiful inside and out. Thank See you, you Saturday, yeah. Lots of love, Mark. Mwah. Isn't he amazing? I love him. We yeah. love our Mark. We love you, Mark. I can't wait to see you, lovely. So it feels like <laughs> ages. Feels like absolutely ages. We're going to have a wonderful morning, um, as always. And I've seen your pieces of jewellery as well. Incredible. Um, make sure you check out. That's an absolute steal of a deal, isn't it? But what a show it has been. £99 <laughs> only. Tina, London, Elizabeth, Sheila, Sussex, hello to you, new customer, Mary, Stella, Terry, hello, my lovely in New Mexico. Uh, Monica is joining me on the Friday. Mark, as you've just seen, is joining me on the um, Saturday. And then is it Claire? I think I feel like it's Claire. No, Claire's Thursday, isn't it? Oh, I've gone blank. Alison. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have a little look. My, I've, I've slept since then. I think then. it's Alison. I think it's Alison, yeah. 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 <laughs> have a lovely afternoon, but do not go anywhere. Make sure you tune into our amazing sister channel, Hobby Maker, because Sarah Davis is with Shares after this.